Alright, welcome back to RPG Quest, and we are back to game number 73, which is Dragon Warrior 4. So, uh, yeah, let's get right back to gambling, which is where we left off. Try to get some of our some items there from the uh, casino. I'm sure we can come back here later, but... Eh, I want to try to at least get like a meteorite armband. So let's do that, and then we'll go from there. Just gotta get some lucky draws a couple times. So, it's gonna be a gambling stream watch. Next five hours will be spent at the casino. Yeah. Let's hope not. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Continue a quest. Set the timer. Alright, so. Let's go buy some chips. <laughs> Start gambling like crazy. Are we rich in no time or completely broke? One of the two. I still don't put the uh, save point that far from the casino. <laughs> Alright, let's buy... At some point buying more than 100, I mean... If I lose on the first tent, I'll just... Reload. I need, what, 4,000 to get the Meteorite Armband? So let's try to get that. Okay, get some lucky draws and poker. Easier said than done. Hmm. Almost a... Yep. I mean, game like crazy. Is there anything worth keeping, really? I mean, if I get really lucky and get, like... It's gonna be pretty much a reload here. Oh man, so close. Pony had a jack. Right out. <laughs> Give me a lot of reloading here. So you get a royal flesh, that's all I need. <laughs> yeah, if I get a royal flesh, it's pretty much, you know... I'll go double or nothing and lose it all. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm sure the odds of getting Royal Flesh is like... One in a billion? I don't know, what are the real odds of getting Royal Flesh with the... Uh, mind you, there's a Joker in this. So the Joker definitely helps a bit, but... Oops. Yeah, helps if I get a gem. Or, uh, let, me, uh, let me grab these coins and I'll go save. That way I don't have to rebuy coins each time. A lot better this way. So I'm sure we'll be doing a bunch of reloads, so let's save ourselves like a couple seconds each time. Lucky draw, lucky draw. All I need is five of a kind. That's possible with the Joker. I wonder if there's only one Joker in the deck, or if there's more than one. Nice as multiple Jokers. Which is way of just max betting all the time. <sighs> Again. Almost a straight. Come on, straight. Oh. oh wow. It's gonna reload there and it's like, oh, I got a flush. <laughs> uh, no. Let's go save here. I was about ready to. I was just ready to reload. It's like, and then did it. It's like, what? Oh, flush. That chapter is best chapter, yes indeed. How's it going, Sylvia? Could've went double or nothing there, but it's like, ah, uh, you know what, I just won 400 coins, you know, I don't want to lose it all again. I'm a sixth of the way to get the, uh... Get the meteorite armband, so... It definitely is, yeah, but... <laughs> I want to get at least a little bit of buffer first. So on my luck, I'll, I'll get a an ace now to choose a higher card than the ace. It's like, thanks game. 
Yeah. I think one double or nothing and that's it. No, at least I can I can play a couple rounds before, you know, reloading. Ugh, this is all crap. Is there anything we're keeping here? Like maybe if I got really lucky and get a a seven and a ten or five. Oh, exactly, yeah, Joker is amazing. Like, usually you'll have something with a Joker. Again, we have, like, cold of crap here. Flush. Oh, wow, got 300. Okay, so this one I'm gonna obviously go double or nothing. 50% chance, alright. Yeah, it's doubled again. I mean, we're only back to where we were, so... Oh, this should be easy. Yes. I guess Joker always beats anything. Uh, fine, one more. Oh, nice, another four. Yes. <laughs> do we do, do it again? Do we do it again? Uh, one more, one more. <laughs> Son of a bitch, Nate. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm not taking... Uh, no, I, I can't go anymore. Go save after that. It's, there's way too many coins to throw away there. I lost. We're almost at the at the meteorite armband. So I've got a good buffer, so I'll, I'll take more chances. But hell, oh, if we can get the uh, slime shield, slime metal shield there, and that's what fifty thousand for that. That'd be really awesome. But. Exactly. That's the plan. <clears throat> Come on! Royal Flush! <laughs> Royal Flush is like instant save. Is that good? <laughs> I guess it must be at that price, right? Really? I guess that makes sense. I mean, <laughs> metal slimes are pretty much invulnerable. Or babble, I guess. We should get bet more than a hundred. Getting total crap. Like, there's <laughs> nothing we're keeping in here. Let's just deal again. Like, ah, uh, <laughs> you have a chance of getting a flush. You have a chance of getting a probably the best chance of getting a damn flush than anything. What's with all these crappy... Oh, flush. Ooh, nice. Yay for flush. Alright, double or nothing for sure. Yes. Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> well, there goes 500. Only way of beating that is with a, with a Joker. Crap. Went on twenty five hundred and then I'll reload again. Okay, nothing worth keeping. Two pairs. Let's go for a full house. Well, this one we're definitely betting. As far as we can go. Two. <laughs> oh, come on. Seriously? A two? <laughs> like, what are the odds of getting a two on that? Come on, game. Alright, let's just reload here. <laughs> At least that one wasn't much. I didn't lose much on that one, but still, that's just <laughs> slap in the face, man. Imagine doing that on like, you know, 3200 3, gold, and it's like, you get a 3, it's like, oh, well, I got this for sure, and then you roll a 2. That would be, that would have been scary. 
What I should do is give you the card first, like give you the, the card you need to get higher then, and then give you the option. <laughs> so you can risk it. That would really be, be really nice to have two jokers. Three of a kind. <clears throat> Definitely doubling. Doesn't matter which card I, get, I take, really. It's all random, right? Five. Come on! Okay, good. I was gonna say, what happens if you. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> One ace. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, uh, well. Flush. Damn it. Roll flush. Nope. <laughs> just a pair of queens. A pair of queens should just give you your money back uh, without giving you uh, the chance of double it or nothing. Ah, almost a straight. <laughs> Crap, just all over the place. Let's keep an ace. <laughs> Joker. Um, <laughs> Joker with nothing else, like, <laughs> don't even have a, another pair or anything. I got a Joker even worth keeping for. You got a graphy hand when you came in, uh, win anything with a joker. Alright, this is my turn. Oh, come on. It's a really bad start. Oh, wow. <laughs> my, my finger's on the reset button. I just, I just need the meteorite armband. Wouldn't say no to metal, metal babble shield, but meteorite armband. What else is there worth picking up? I'll have to, I haven't checked it since the last stream. All I know is meteorite armband was pretty nice looking. Other than, of course, the shield, but that's gonna be a kind of a hard one to get. So this for sure, this would be really nice, but unlikely. I'm not sure what the Mirror of Raw is for. Staff of Jubilation. Wizard's Ring, that could be handy to have at least one of. I don't know what this does. And neither do I... I'm assuming this is like a snap, like a usable snap of some kind? No idea what Mirror of Raw is for. Sounds kind of familiar, though. It's not like, uh... Wasn't that an item in one of the previous games to... turn the princess from, like, a... Uh, dog or something like that. Wasn't that it? Okay. Yeah, the Wizarding, I know that, that one's a really nice one. Of course, knowing my luck, I'll probably break on the first use, but... Really handy to have that. Yeah, exactly, I remember that. I remember it being like, uh... Yeah, straight, nice. I remember it being uh, the one to, convert, to tra transfer the princess. But I don't know if it does anything. Okay. So I won't bother with it. Definitely the meteorite armband, if I get some amazing luck, the uh, the shield. And of course the wizard ring, I mean, it's only 500 bucks anyways. 500 coins. Should have that, but if I get some lucky rolls on this one. Alright. Another good card. Ooh, barely. Mm. Do I keep going? I'm greedy. Shit, that's a bad one. Oof. Hmm. 
Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much garbage then. Yeah, I won't bother with it. <coughs> Oops. At least now I've got enough of the meteorite arm band. I should get a couple of them if I get... Two. I should get one for the entire party. Get four meteorite arm bands. Gotcha. In other words, yeah, pretty much useless. <laughs> it's not like they would put a quest item in, in a casino. Force people to gamble to get a quest item. That'd be, that'd be pretty much a uh, N Nintendo ban right there. Alright. So we got enough for at least one armband. Let's go for... Let's go for at least two armbands. <laughs> Let's go for the shield. Shield or nothing. Yeah, it makes sense. That's why it's like sounded really familiar. Ah. That's true. Yeah, good point. Because uh, you could just exchange money for it, right? It's, was it 10, 10 gold per coin? So, so it cost me fifty. 15 or half a million gold to get the uh, shield if I wanted to do it the hard way. Uh, let's go for a straight. Wow, almost <laughs> very close. Oh, it goes up, really? I guess, like, yeah, probably in chapter five, uh, in chapter three, oh yeah, goes up 200 times, wow. <laughs> I'm assuming, well, I know chapter three, you're, you're playing as a merchant, so I guess he probably has, like, a lot of money. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> makes sense as a merchant, right? <laughs> uh, there's, like, nothing worth keeping. Full house. Damn it. No, this is definitely getting doubled. Well, tempted to be doubled. Let's go all the way. That was not. It's a quick end. Joker, nothing else worth keeping. Not close to any sort of flush or anything. Pair nines. And nothing else. Three of a card. Going. Damn it. <laughs> Joker. Ah. Yeah, it's like no way of winning that one. <laughs> it's like pick a card, any card. Yeah, none of those would ever win you. It's crap. It's designed to fail. <laughs> well, that was the worst one. Oh well. Royal Flush, come on. You can do it. Two jokers. Ah. That would have been awesome. <laughs> like Metal Battle Shield instantly. Uh. <laughs> I really hate when these like draws that have absolutely no like nothing. 
this one, I mean, go for a flush, I guess, I don't know. Well, she got two pairs out of that. I'll just reload here. I mean, best case scenario, I can get back to the amount of money I got, but... Alright, let's just... I was gonna buy that meteorite armband I was going to buy and... Come back later for more stuff. Chapter 5, I guess. Or maybe Chapter 3, if we find a way to make infinite money. <laughs> I don't want to spend too, too long here, so let's buy a uh, meter and armband and a wizard ring, because why not? Ah, let's give it to your healer. this thing does. To use that in battle or something. So maybe it's some sort of usable item, maybe slows the enemy down or something. Alright, what do I have? From ring in my inventory. Because I never sold that. Thought I'd pick another one up somewhere. I'm curious how much does that thing even go for? I was going to say, if you, if you can sell it for, uh, let's see, it was worth 4,000, so yeah, if you can sell it for like 40,000 gold or something, which I'm sure wouldn't be a thing, you can get your coins back, but no. Probably like the original game where you have to use it to equip it. Yeah. I got double speed, yay! Alright, so. so. We never get in the castle yet. Yeah. <laughs> No point in buying those. Straight down the corridor, come to a big building. It's the Coliseum. Let's go to the Coliseum. Should save first, shouldn't I? Eh. Uh, no, it wasn't this door, right? It was the the yellow door that we could go through. The Coliseum and the terminus held. Fancy music. Enter the tournament. Take the left stairs. Just watch. These the ones on the right. Just to watch it. These are the ones. I can't go into the left stairs, can I? One of those registered can enter the tournament. Obtain permission from the king. <laughs> yeah, probably. Who's the, who's the second guy at the poker table? There's a lot of people here. Holy crap! I'm having me so noisy. I wouldn't fit like that. I wouldn't fit like that. I wouldn't fight like that. No, not that way. Yeah, go like this. You're blocking my view. I'm sure ne Necrosaro will be the winner. Slime the audience? Where? It's like playing where, Where's Waldo. <laughs> oh, you're right, all the way up there. <laughs> it's easy to miss that, I don't know how you spotted that. Alright, let's 
Let's go see the king and let's go enter the Colosseum and kick some ass. I wonder if we can. Wouldn't it be one on one in the Colosseum? We'd be able to bring our party members there? Probably not. Yeah, I didn't notice any of those sprites anywhere else, so... Go straight down this corridor, like, kind of, yeah. We made some special sprites just for the, uh... Just for the Coliseum. It's dedication, man. Mm -hmm. That exit we saw on the side might lead somewhere. I thought it would just take us, like, outside of the, uh... The zone, but it seems like the zone still goes further this way. Oh, it's not. <laughs> oh, just brings us back here. That's weird. I wonder if there's an exit on this side. Get up those stairs. Or bridge, whatever. <laughs> stairs, bridge, same difference. Well, there's no door on this side. Unless it's secret. Secret stairs anywhere? No. Came to see the king. So proceed through this door. King is upstairs. King is here is rash and does whatever comes to mind. He worries everyone. <laughs> Best kind of king. Monsters began appearing in Endor recently. The king started determined to attract the strong. I know who's stronger than everybody. Enter the tournament. Watch out for the man called Necros Necrosario. Ne Necros Necros Necrosaro. There you go. He's immensely strong and utterly merciless. He's a necromancer. It's just a hunch. Get back here. Determined winner will marry the prin our princess. Sympathize with her. Well, she is a tomboy, so maybe, <laughs> maybe she's into that kind of thing. Pray that the princess will end up marrying the man called Necrosaro. Into the castle at night. You must evade sentries. I guess we have to enter it at night. <laughs> Or something. <laughs> I know, right? The king would never be able to spawn it. Search. And now we're blocked. <laughs> Damn NPCs. <laughs> oh. Watch out for Necrosaro. It's cool they actually make NPCs walk up to you. Did she, did she go through that door? How many things to watch? How busy? Okay. Was it her that was? Huh. Ah, Alright, never mind. <laughs> Guess she walks through that door. I've never seen an NPC walk through a door before. Let's go visit the king's chambers. security guys have here. Yeah, I didn't even notice that, but like, it's like, I'm sure there was the NPC that was in that room with the well, and now she's in this locked room. It's like, what? <laughs> the only way that could have happened if she went, if she like, opened the door. That's something that you haven't seen up to this point in, in RPGs. NPCs actually, you know, open doors. <laughs> Have to wipe the table clean. Wipe, wipe. Pretty cool. It's the King of Endor's chamber. The king has made a terrible promise. Would you listen to the princess's story? No. I'm sure, it's long and overly winded. Nikrasar, one unlucky name. That seem like yeah, it doesn't seem like you can read books in this game. 
My father proclaimed that the tournament's winner will marry me. The winner is a woman. I will be required to marry. Or will you? Please enter and win the tournament. Princess Elena, I envy you for being so free. Welcome, the King Sent team told me about you. I admire your concern over the Doom world and you're embarking on a journey to prove your strength. I have a request. Win the tournament. Tell you the truth. I'm regretting what I promised. Poor Lynn, I won't get to marry the princess. Now let's go save. She'll get her asses kicked. Although now that we have the... Uh, well, all that it does is increases our speed, right? Does that make us harder to hit? Or that just increased our... Like, make us so we can attack first? <laughs> it doesn't make us harder to hit, then... I mean... It takes just as much damage. Probably want to bring some herbs, though. <laughs> oh, true enough. <laughs> it's like, sir, you said I can marry the princess, but you're a woman. Yeah? So? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'm assuming I'll have to fight alone, so I want to bring some herbs with me. Anybody have herbs on them now? Let's go buy some herbs. Uh, where's the item shop? Is it? Yeah. Additional herbs. She has any magic, so. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can handle this fight, or if we need to go grind some experience first. Princess Elena, the best of luck to you. Shut up, don't talk to me. I'm terribly sorry. The jittery... I'm jittery before my fight. There's no one in that direction. Oh, <laughs> he moved. Bastard. This is an item shop. Oh, just, it's just... Iron Claw. Can I use that? Apparently I can. Is that better than the chain sickle? Hmm. Well, I save, so I can always just reload. I wish I would tell you... It's one thing they haven't done in this uh, version yet, is to show you what you have equipped and, you know, whether it's an upgrade or not. I'm assuming... Uh, I'm trying to remember how much my uh, my current weapon was worth. Oh, let's try it. Equipped. Oh well. Significant increase in attack. I'm terrifying. Necrosario's strength is beyond her comprehension. Ah, don't have a safe. Nice. That's the thing, unless you know, it's just... I guess she's she's kind of like the punching and kicking kind of person, you know what I mean? She likes to, to scratch out people's eyes, I don't know. This is the shortcut to the outside of the castle. Use it if you're in a hurry. Wait. Oh. Stairs. Duh. <laughs> it's like, where's the uh, tournament? Princess, I'll cheer you on from here. Best of luck to you. 
Dun dun dun. Welcome, Princess Elena. You must defeat five opponents to go on to the final match. Necrosario is the only one who's defeated five opponents so far. Good luck. Yeah. But you can use some other items as well. Hun. <laughs> Hi, Hun. They get free heal between fights. Oh, I wasn't even fully healed. What the hell? <laughs> you know, it would have been a smart idea to actually fully heal before I started this. Ah, uh, whatever. If I just reload. <laughs> like if we had a bunch of herbs. Nice. Good start. <laughs> Just kick his ass instantly. <laughs> Why does he have a treasure chest? Like we're just stealing the, the herbs off his corpse or something? <laughs> Defeated second. No. Yeah. It's pretty cool. You really thought this, this part through, which is pretty cool. Another woman. How come they weren't uh, trying to get her to, to win the the arena? Another thing I noticed too, like the the Colosseum fights were going on while the king and the princess were in the castle. Only now that they show up, before that it's like they just they just didn't care. Now it's like all right. Ow. Oh, that uh, armband isn't really helping us in terms of speed, anyways. Damn it. She's out of MP now. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> she had enough for one more ice bolt. Oh, that hurt. Unless we're getting medicinal herbs out of it. So each one you got in medicinal herb, I guess. She apparently is, yes. <laughs> Let me just drag their corpses out. They're new. He's beefy. Run! Be the guy to get a critical hit on. Ah, uh, I gotta go. Gotta go for it. Damn it, we're dead. <laughs> All right. Sorry, how are you? I'm so sorry I didn't win. So you can use medicinal herbs even during battles. Yeah, well, it would have to out uh, do the damage that the person's doing. Unless you don't lose any of your gold or anything like that. Just gotta redo the fights. Alright, this time at least we're fully healed and <laughs> going in. Alright, let's just fill our inventory with medicinal herbs this time. Really good to get a crit on that last dude. <laughs> Back we go. Yeah, I think with that meteorite armband. <laughs> I spent all my luck in the casino. <laughs> I 
This guy never got a hit in last time, so... We get a critical hit on the last hit. Probably she doesn't get a heal more off. Crit. Damn it. Let's get a good hit there. I know. No. Cheater. Healing. Out of match. Safely use some medicine herbs. Come on, get a good crit. Good crit. It's not a crit. It's the opposite of a crit. It's a non crit. Like using an herb in battle, best case scenario just gives you an extra turn. <laughs> <laughs> Use the nerve too. Come on, get a crit. <sighs> it's my last medicinal herb. <laughs> That's fantastic. Going to the last fight with like no health. You get a good crit. If I can get a crit, maybe I'll get lucky. Great. Is there a trick knowing which one of these is real? Is there like a sprite difference? Am I just randomly choosing these? I'm trying to see if there's any sort of differences between any of the sprites. Don't see any difference. It's just like total luck. Okay. I'd resurrect a dead character. At least he didn't turn to ash. So just like, <laughs> pick one, anyone. Let's hope you get lucky. Well, I'm restarting this fight. <laughs> Come on, I have a chance. If I get a critical hit on like one in four chance. Got another chance because he's building up his strength. And I'm dead. <laughs> ah. 
got lucky in him twice. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get one crit in that entire fight. In, the, in like, the entire series of fights. It's a slap in the face. No. Oh yeah. Still bad, but <laughs> as bad as losing the character completely. Again, come on, get some crits this time, Lena. What am I doing? Keep doing the wrong door. Well, as long as you get a good bit roll when you level up. Get some good crits on the uh, fourth guy. That's the thing. Fourth guy is the one that I can't kill without healing halfway through the fight. Why did he go faster? What the hell? Why is he faster? I have like double speed with that. Uh... Really bad luck here. Come on, crit Vivian. <laughs> Throw him in the uh, the pile of corpses in the back room. And she heals. Don't know what attack for some reason. And now she's out of magic at least. That's good. Now I got the claw, which I'm assuming is the best weapon I can get uh, at this point. waste another herb here. It's got like half value for it. <laughs> Come on, crit. Damn it, crit. Crit. Damn it. It's not critting. Does 19 damage. This is sucks. You got like one crit in the entire like three three attempts. That's kind of rare, but <laughs> be nice to get it on at least one of the uh, one of the fights. You know, I did it on the on the second on the second guy on the uh, first attempt. You're really lucky, I'm lucky on the second guy, he got a lot of hits in. So reason his speed was higher. Might just have to go out and like, uh, grind a little bit of, maybe one more level. I'll try one more time, and if not, I'll go grind, grind a level or two. Can I keep on and go to that door? 
At least I'm not losing gold by losing here. <laughs> but um, I am losing gold by having to rest up and buy more herbs, but that's next to nothing compared to the amount of gold I'd lose if I died out in the wild. Never worth a shot. <laughs> I'll probably never hit them, but a good way to get like a level or two. Oops. Didn't really want to use an herb there, whatever. Let's print out just just get five hundred sheets of printing paper and just print out five hundred uh, <laughs> five hundred sheets. That's all. That'll be enough to map out the whole place, hopefully. Why does he have faster speed than me? Oh, come on. I do some guard thing. So that's when they guard. <laughs> they do nothing. Take a little, uh, you do a little less damage to them, but that's about it. I know, right? Obviously you're just knocking them out, because they keep coming back. You'd think they would have given up by now. Need some, like, ice protection. There we go. <laughs> Critical hit. Just need that on the second guy. On oh, third guy, I should say. Fourth guy, whatever. <laughs> Critical hit on this guy. No, I might look. I'll get a critical hit on the Yeti, but he'll. I'll be, I'll be hitting a Mirage. One crit. Damn it. Never lucky. And he hits for twenty. He hits for twenty again. Like what the hell? Come on, game. It's like hitting for the maximum damage each time. Team, stop trying to kill me. Cheater. Crit. No. Never lucky. Well, I'm the last medicinal herb. It's all or nothing now. He's gonna hit for 18, you watch. 20, that works too. Alright, let's go get some, uh... Let's go get some experience here. Yeah. Samsung is just pain in the ass. Let's go get some XBs. Try to get another like level or t at least one level, maybe two, depending on how close we are. This guy tell us how much level we need? No. Doesn't save either. I guess I could just take the uh, shortcut. It's right up here. Paralyze the skeleton. Good job. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> be funny if Elena leveled up there. No, it's pretty. But really, one fight. No, not that lucky. Like this forest here, you're saying? 
Oops. Should use a snowstorm there. I'm gonna kill them all. Ow. Thanks, game. Piece of crap game. It's a magical sort of paralyze. Just, just believe it. Maybe you turn his like bones into stone and it becomes too heavy to move. Probably some like magical tendrils that just binds them together. There's ways. Damn it, Bray, how many how much money have I spent like reviving Bray so far in this game? Like 5k? It's nuts. Now she gets a crit. <laughs> Thanks, game. Didn't need it, but whatever. Oh no, it's night time. Run! Ooh, Metal Slime. Oh, good. Didn't run. Nope. 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 <laughs> and now it runs. Now, especially now that we actually did some damage. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Hey, Kemson. I guess it would be. Well, it's, it's more like it's made mer mercury or something, right? <laughs> That's why it's like super dangerous. You get so much experience because, you know, we get mercury poisoning from them. <laughs> and I gotta love the delay. Thanks, Twitch. Yeah, on uh, Bray I do. He's got Venomous Dagger. I, got, I think, I'm assuming the best weapons I can get up to this point. Best money can buy anyways. <laughs> Unless like some of their like lower quality weapons or, or lower price weapons are better, but... I picked up all I can pick up. <clears throat> Good old Snowstorm. Didn't inspect the snowstorm in the middle of the desert, haha. -ha. I 
missed one. What the hell, guys? You're supposed to kill everything. Nighttime doesn't really last very long in this game, doesn't it? I uh, talk about nighttime. I forgot to go uh, visit the town at night. Should do that. See if there's anything special there. Damn it! This spell is nasty. I was hoping I'd get my in off before they got theirs off. Gonna miss sex. <laughs> Be the best kind of sex. Gonna miss sex. I am a lot of healers. I right, barely know what to do. Watch him resist all of this. Go love AOE spells. Yeah, that always sucks. <laughs> I, you know, I really hate games that, that make antidote spells, like mid-game spells. You get poison from like the first creature you encounter, but you can't uh, cure it without like antidote potions until end game practically. <laughs> it's like, what the hell's with that? It's so destructive too. Depending on the game, like some some games, I mean, care less about. And some games only does. Like, for example, Might Magic, right? Poison Might Magic only takes effect when you're trying to rest. You don't you don't take damage uh, in battle or outside of battle. You just take damage when you're trying to rest. But in other games, like in JRPGs especially, it's pretty much <laughs> every step you're taking damage. So you want to get rid of it as soon as possible. Neither have I, so it's going to be... So far I'm enjoying it. It's nice that they give you like kind of the different chapters, you get different tastes of all the characters before the, they put you together in Chapter 5. Next one's supposed to be uh, from the manual, next one I'm playing as a merchant or something. I don't know how the hell they're going to do that, but... Am I going to be, am I gonna be tending a shop? <laughs> Gotcha. That makes sense. Ah, level 14. Got some extra strength, which is nice. Some more agility, some vitality, luck. 11 extra hit points. Eh. Keep fighting. Get everybody up to level 14 before we tempt the uh, Coliseum again. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it. Just, just from the description in the manual, it sounds... Definitely sounds different. <laughs> That'd be interesting to try out. Paralyzed. Nope, no paralyzation. And there goes all our defense. <laughs> I mean, might as well be naked now. I want to at least have one metal slime that I can kill. Yeah, three different groups of enemies, no thanks. I love that spell.
heal his ass before he dies again, because he's good at doing that. I'm critical hit, critical hit. Uh, it's not a critical hit. And even if it try tried to attack us and missed. Damn it. Every time we get a hit, that's when he runs off. First round we always miss, second round we hit, and then he runs off. How much health do they have? Like four? I'm assuming they give like about a thousand experience. Like the uh number two. Yeah, it's pretty standard with metal slimes. Babbles usually take have, have a lot more, but uh, metal slimes usually you gotta get four good hits in, which is always hard. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's pretty, it's pretty standard across the series usually. Metal slimes, anyways. Of course, guarantees that they'll always run after you get three hits in. <laughs> That's how it works. Chris, level up. <clears throat> I can't finish a Dragon Warrior game without beating at least one Metal Slime. You know, that's, that's, that's one of the extra goals in the game. Must complete one Metal Slime. Oh yeah. I'm assuming there's a way of knowing which frame you're using. You know, it's probably like a cue of some kind. Some sort of animation cue or... Alright, come on. One, right, didn't run. Two, come on, two more hits. I'll hit him once and then he'll run. Guaranteed. Oh, nice, critical hit. Very nice. Wow, 1350, wow. That's a really good one. And treasure chest. Metal Bible Sleeve Shield. A golden barrette. What does that do? Is that like armor? That was a really nice crit, too. Yeah, that's what I figured, yeah. Well, it's not much better, but hey, I'll take what I can get for that fight, for that arena. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> never gonna get another, uh, I'll never win another casino round again, I'll never... I'll never get another crit in the in the uh, Coliseum. My entire luck is is shot. <laughs> Probably. I will try to get one more level. I'm, I got to be pretty close to the next level, so might as well do it.
Come on, level 15. Need another nice metal slime. Sweet, sweet metal slime. You're new, my de not my defense. And of course he goes for Bree, because why not? Come on, one more metal slime. We've already defeated the one we needed to defeat to, to make this a true Dragon Warrior run, but... I mean, nice, nice way to get to level 15 quickly, anyways. That much? Yeah, probably not that close then. <laughs> That'd be less than that. Yeah, maybe not then. <laughs> Might as well just run back to town. Oh, unless we get lucky with this metal slime. Critical hit, critical hit. <laughs> that was not a critical hit, that was a, that was a critical fail. Yeah, they probably don't want you like grinding experience too much. I don't know how close the end of this chapter is, but I'm sure they don't want you to like get past a certain point, so they probably make the experience like exponential after a certain point. Oh, never mind. Experience. <laughs> Level up. Alright, so 15 should be plenty now. For agility. Oh, I mean 11,000 11, total. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> makes more sense. I was thinking 11,000 experience from level fi uh, 14, which have been like, oh, that's going to be a lot of fights. Um, good vitality, luck 6 points, and 17 points. Wow. I should be really good for that fight now. If I can't win the fight with this new helmet, two extra levels... I don't know what to say. Some room for the uh, all the stuff we're gonna be carrying. All right, let's go save. Attempt number. What? Four, five at the arena. Oh, we're just gonna blow through all of them. Watch this time we're gonna get a crit on every single one of them before they even attack. And we'll, we'll get uh, a crit on the Yeti. First attempt on, 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 on the true non miraged version. <laughs> yeah, no. Not my luck, I'll, I'll just keep hitting mirages. Which is pretty likely, I mean, 75% chance hitting a Mirage each time, so... Now they're not hitting a Mirage, just... Pretty damn low. I wonder how many hits he takes to kill. Move out of the way. Almost went in there, it's like, yeah, I kind of need herbs, don't I? Get back here. Oh, come on, stupid merchant. Can I dual wield iron claws? All the enemies be metal slimes now. <laughs> I know, right? Especially the arena. I mean, that, that's like, w what place is the best place in, in the world to sell these metal, these medicinal herbs? The one place where you're gonna need to 
use a whole butt ton of them. <laughs> That's right, great critical hit on the like last hit that would have killed him anyways. What a waste. Yeah, probably. Makes sense. <laughs> Just want price gouging at his uh, at his expense, I guess. a different world, right? Nice. That's right, use those really expensive spells. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Use all the really expensive spells that did the same amount of damage as like, the non-expensive spells. and Real smart. Okay, so leveling up uh, so it doesn't really... There's no like randomness involved. That's what I was wondering, like, you know, like when I level up, is it like a random thing? Because that kind of sucks if it is. You can have like a really weak character at the end compared to somebody else playing, and you can have like a super strong character. All right, going strong. So going to the fourth one, full, well, full herbs, but one. Watch me get a critical hit on the first attack in this one. This would be awesome. No, no critical hit. At least I'm um, hitting for harder and he's hitting for less now that I have this golden barrette. He's holding for a good five points less than he was um, the first time I, I fought this guy. Gotcha. Nice. <laughs> That's a lot better after two extra levels. Significantly better. And plus, you know, that extra drop that we got, which is really good. No, uh, I wasn't planning to prove true or false, but <laughs> it's always one of those things that's in the back of your mind. Like, am I just, like, getting my ass kicked in here? Alright. This guy. Damn it. Fireball. First guy. Damn it. Let's just attack the first guy all the time. It's completely random and doesn't matter who you attack, really. You just have to get really damn lucky. 25% chance of hitting the right one. He's bound to be in the first position someday. Or never, you know. That's a possibility too. You'll never be in the first position. She hit him. Yay. C or D? Yeah, you're probably right. He does seem to be in those positions a little more often than others, doesn't he? Nope! <laughs> that was the wrong option there. Luckily he missed. There isn't D there. <laughs> I gotta use an herb after this. Oh, it's B this time. <laughs> Seems like B and D are pretty common, actually. 
I haven't seen him... I've seen him in A once. Yeah, it is pretty crap, isn't it? A. <laughs> Son of a bitch. If it was completely random, I mean, you'd have like a... 25% chance to hit him, plus you have to... You know, see. And he can catch you all the time, which is... B. <laughs> it's just never D now. Never the one you want to hit. Never, it's gonna be D. Damn it! See, now that I stop trying to attack C, it's like C like 50% of the time. Again, he's C. Yeah, seems to be C a lot of the times. It's gonna be D now, guaranteed. Damn it! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Finally, Jesus! Only had him what three times? <laughs> Took like 50 rounds to do that. Beat five opponents. Congratulations! Final match is next. What next? Bring Necrosario now. What Necrosario is missing? Hmm. We can wait for him forever. We can't wait for him. I declare Princess Elena the winner of this tournament. Yay! Princess, good going. Princess Elena, congratulations on your victory. <laughs> King's like, screw it. <laughs> I'm just gonna name her the the victor. This is Elena. Thank you for waiting. All right. Get me uh, my honeymoon suite there for the princess and myself. Your father, the King of Santine, would be proud of you. Perhaps you should return home and let him know you're alive and well. No. <laughs> no kidding, right? That Yeti's a pain in the ass. Thanks to you, I won't have to marry someone I despise. Princess Elena was a man. What am I saying? Please forget what I said. Alright. She's in, boys. I'm just gonna go back to. And I guess we're gonna go home, and the whole place is gonna be burning. It's gonna be a ruin where the castle used to be, and then, and then it's gonna be like, no! And then I'm gonna go on a mighty quest to defeat the person who destroyed the castle. Hey, look at that, I already guessed. <laughs> you know, these plots are just way too. too predictable, right? It's pretty much like a RPG trope. <laughs> like whenever you're told to go back home, there's, there's usually something bad going on back home. Mm, not really. <laughs> I think it was a pretty, pretty much a trope whenever, like, it existed, right? It's been a trope since RPGs were a thing. I mean, that, that kind of story existed, like, in books and that well before RPGs were a thing, so... It's basically been a trope since... since... since the beginning of time, for the most part. <laughs> yep. And that... That knight who just died in front of us was just part of the surprise. It's so quiet. Where's all the music? Da da da! How strange, what happened? Hey kitty, what are you doing up here? You're supposed to be on the roof. Meow meow meow! Well, true. I guess as a kid, but nowadays, just look back. It's like, yeah, this is this is kind of expected. Where's everybody? Hello, is anybody here? There's no reply. Daddy, daddy, where are you, daddy? How strange, what happened? 
Anything over here? Nothing. Let's go see the old dude. He's on here. Let's go raid his drawers. What do the dreams of the King Santine mean? The mysterious Necros Necrosaro, why did he suddenly disappear? What befell the people of Santine? To be continued in Chapter 5. We're going to solve these mysteries. Princess Elena's party embarked on uh, something or other. <laughs> End of chapter two, Princess Elena's Adventure. Now we lose all the cool stuff we had. Until next time. Start off this point, we saved. Yes. Now we get to go play as the merchant. The arms merchant. Kaloon. This is Luck. God, these names. Lakanaba, a small town far north of Endor. Main to name Taloon lives in this town. Works for someone now. But his dream is to become the world's greatest arms merchant someday. Wake up! You must go to the shop soon or the boss will scold you again. Darling! You're up at last! Here's your lunch! Go ahead and head west. Don't be a sleepyhead, okay? Have a nice day. Mumble mumble. See you later, daddy. Yep. She's the waifu. Praise to the waifu. Oops. Door. There's no door in there. Yeah, considering these are probably the chamber pots. <laughs> Which is, you know, a nice place to have them in the middle of the bath in the middle of the kitchen, but I don't see a bathroom anywhere in this house, so. I mean, these are the chamber pots downstairs. Oops. Arms of War. I don't think I've seen that movie. Oops. Right. Search the damn pots. Yay, yeah, medicinal herb. We can sell that for eight gold and make a fortune. Why do I keep going to the door? No. <laughs> I don't know, there's little suspicious patches of grass. I'll sell you this herb for a million gold. Six gold, well. Wow. They're selling that for four gold in the other place. It's a good way to make money. I'll sell you this lunch. Seven gold. Oh, that's right, the sell for any gold. I was thinking it sold for four gold for some weird reason. Luna, I'm old and my limbs are getting weak. I'll pay you to take me to the house of healing, will you? Push me. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Where is the house of healing, anyways? Gotta find that first. Over here. Go an old man. Make you guys don't step on the grass. <laughs> Whoops. I'm gonna get a fine. Finally here, thanks. This is for you. Two gold pieces, alright! I'm rich! Son was a fool to leave the town. He never writes. Wonder what he's doing. So is this like the the game that uh, the uh, was PS2 game or something like that? Was, or PS1 game that was based on the yeah, or was PS1 or PS2? Or that the name sounds familiar. Torneko. This was based on him. Yeah, turn out the last hope. 
So I'm assuming that's based on this guy. Gotcha. Must be a pretty damn good chapter then. <laughs> Does Torneko is like Japanese name or was it just as like Taloon Torneko or whatever? Come to the town of Lakanaba. See it's Lemon. Didn't have to greet you. <laughs> Thanks. Scammer shop. Can't afford anything. Yeah, you think the merchant would have like a little more money on his person? Instead of like nothing? Okay, Torneko is his first name? Or is it like Japanese where Torneko is his last name? <laughs> Do you want to talk to my husband? He's working now. Come back at night. Alright, I'll come back at night, at night, lady. I'm sure your husband still won't be here. Ha <laughs> ha. Have you heard of the Iron Safe? I guess that the Iron Safe might be in the North Cave. Protect money even when you're defeated by monsters. Ooh. That'd be good. Good point. Hey, come into the shop, quick. Stand there, customers will come to you. I'll pay you on commission, so work hard. I'll be downstairs. It's a weapon shop. Yes it is, ma'am. A weapon sell. Will you buy it? Uh, I, don't, I don't have any money. Sure. Sort of malice. That you know. It's great. How much is the sort of malice worth? It was definitely worth a lot less than that. A bad thing. <laughs> I'm assuming I should I should have bought that. Sure. Buy everything. Gotcha. So usually when they're offering a price, that's actually the price that you should be selling it for. <laughs> it's not like they're just trying to like rip you off. Cause I don't know how much. Copper sword, sure. I already have copper swords. Why would I want to buy another one? True enough. <laughs> Sell them here. <laughs> Seems to be just like a button matching thing, just keep pressing OK. So they're gonna be like, uh, I'm waiting for something to be different. Like, someone's gonna be like trying to rip me off, like the tournament. The price is, uh, you know, 100 gold or something like that. But. Seems kind of. Seems kind of pointless. <laughs> I don't want to buy a club for 22 gold. <laughs> I have like tons of clubs. Fine. Damn it. <laughs> 
Well, I'm selling a bunch of clubs. <laughs> Any point to this? <laughs> this seems to be like really pointless. <laughs> I know, right? It's your day job. <laughs> I don't like this day job. It seems like there, there's no. Deviation, like nobody's trying to rip me off. Nobody's, you know, like nobody's coming in saying, oh, "I'll pay you, you know, 15 gold for this club," and then like I, I press yes back accident, You know what I mean? Yeah, you sold the sold the chain sickle. Oh yeah? And then they'll, they'll give you a better price? <laughs> I've worked retail before. But usually, you know, it's listed, right? No. Fine. It's worth more. Aha! <laughs> Wait, you raised the price of the boomerang is 385 gold. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, Taloon. Oh. Yep. It is. Haha. -ha. Ripped him off. <laughs> Ripped him off by three gold. Nope, went up. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. Nope. Nope. Yep. <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> this be the worst work like game ever. went up. Yep. Damn it. <laughs> well, it does happen, but <laughs> imagine if you don't sell this stuff, then... <laughs> hell no. Why the hell would I give him a discount? Kept on arguing, but like whatever. I'll sell it for a few hundred. Sure. <laughs> I let it go. <laughs> oh, price went up. Oh, run up. Nope, oh, one up. <laughs> Pretty funny, right? What if I say no for this? Is a weapon chomp? What if I can get a better deal? I already sell so like copper swords. So <laughs> I have an unlimited supply of copper swords. Why would I want to buy one from you? Buy it this time. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I kind of, well, I kind of figured. I guess you, you can buy it yourself if you don't sell it. Yeah, exactly. So you can buy stuff if, um... No, what up? Yes. Damn it. <laughs> Why don't these people like to be ripped off? <laughs> yeah, that's right, I don't know. No, what up? No. Fine, you can have it for 30 gold. Get in the er day early. No. Get in the day early? That's just wrong. No. <laughs> Does it go until you, like, give up? <laughs> oh, yeah? Gotcha. What a shop, hauling must I wait? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, I'm sorry. Yay. <laughs> exactly. You know, we, we went through the, uh, the casino, now we're going through the... Spend like five hours in this. People try to sell me stuff I already have. I'm trying to like make some money. I'll just... Oh, there we go. It's getting late. You guys just didn't sell enough stuff, now he's like... 103 gold pieces. Yeah. I'm rich. Said nobody ever. Just have to do that again to, till I can afford this sort of malice for 3,500. This will take a while. So the world won't end. Without the world, you won't have any business. South, if you get the item safe, won't you? There are big castles called Endor in the south. He'll make a lot of money there. I see you want to be the world's greatest armor merchant. You need to gain experience in fighting too, because armor merchants should know how to use weapons properly. Two gold each time. What you want to own a shop? You should go to Endor and buy one there. And you can call for your family. Nice to have a dream, eh? What does a shop cost? Too much money? This is like playing, uh. Game. Atelier series, almost. The earlier Atelier series, except you know, you're not actually an alchemist of any kind. Yep, Endor with the Ewoks. Some ATAT -AT or ATSTs hanging out the, and down there. You get some tree logs to crush them. Dog in the backyard is my son's. He only plays my son. I keep him caged. <laughs> Man, keep him caged. Like, surrounded by, like, poison swamp and a jailer's door. Like, holy crap. <laughs> Poor dog. 
that cage is like animal cruelty, man. <laughs> Yeah, probably. It's probably a pit bull. Come home, Daddy. Yes, I've been a good boy. I grow up while I work as hard as you and let you let you two live in comfort. Thanks, kid. Go home. You work late today. Rest well. Good night. Oh, darling, it's morning. Here's your lunch. Have a good day. I never ate my lunch last day. I should have sold my lunch. <laughs> I had a chance at selling my lunch. Talk to the waifu yet. Get something? Work hard, smack. Assuming that smack was a kiss, not like a slap across the face. <laughs> exactly. You said he wanted to talk to you. Call that a shop? That's more like a pad on the pavement. Oh, my limbs are getting weak. I'll pay you to take me to the house healing. Sure. <laughs> Another two gold. We're we'll rich in no time at this rate. Let's not push him on the lawn this time. <laughs> Maybe because we pushed him on the lawn we didn't get as much gold. Let's do this the hard way. Let's see if it changes anything. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, I have to. But I can't not push him on the lawn. It's the only way of actually, you know. So I can't climb here to push him. So you have to push him on the lawn, no matter which way you look at it, unless I go the opposite way. And then I'd still have to push him on the lawn. First thing I thought, and like, oh no, it's probably a kiss. <laughs> like, work hard, smack. It's like, what? <laughs> what did he do? Twelve gold pieces. It went up. <laughs> and next, next day is gonna be like five thousand gold pieces. <laughs> That's right. Here's a customer. All right, I'm gonna buy. Can I buy a sword of malice for? Damn it! Oh, you won't give me a discount. Where's, where's the employee discount? So we have to keep doing that until I have enough money to buy the sword of malice. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Start of the day. I wish I could buy it for thirty-one fifty. Yeah, true enough. But do I even have a weapon? <laughs> I didn't realize. I don't even know how much, uh, like, what my inventory or my uh, equipment is. gonna raise the price but can't even afford the 30 gold. Block the door. What a shop. How long must I wait? What is there any point in talking to people? No. Chain sickle, oh, whatever. I go downstairs. Yeah, 
yeah, it's probably, probably not a good idea to go see the boss if the shop is open. <laughs> probably, right? Usually if they, they don't like give up right away, they usually want to buy it, especially if they... Third wave now... No, price went up. No, price went up. Fine. Really? All that time, all that grandstanding, and you didn't even have enough to buy it? Stupid bastard. Mmm, sure. Let's get rid, of that, get rid of that one. So I can buy another one. No, I already have enough copper swords. Try to sell me something I have unlimited stock on, that's just... Stupid. Stupid business. Well, the price went up. Fine. These chinsicles are... <laughs> they went a lot faster than the first day. 102 gold pieces again. Damn it. It'd take a while to make money this way. Let's go outside. Let's do some grinding. I'm like completely naked. <laughs> what kind of monsters do I fight out here? Ooh, new music. I love how like every character, or every chapter has like their own kind of music. It's probably a really bad idea. <laughs> Run away! Very bad idea going outside without a weapon. So, is there anything new to say? Nothing new to say. You guys suck. Oh, that's cool. So, I wonder if this is the first game that has, like, kind of, uh, a character theme music. Each character has their own kind of theme, and... That's pretty cool. Lots and lots of monies. Oh well, man, let's push you to the... Uh, no. <laughs> Won't be able to get him out of there anyways. I'll try to check if there's anything in here. That as you may there. That's why I married you. Of course that wasn't the only reason. Tee <laughs> He's got a pretty big bankroll, if you know what I mean. Wait, we have to go push the old man. Me. 
Nice, last time was 12 gold. The first time was 2 gold, the second time was 12 gold. Does this does it go up to 22 gold now? 7 gold? Where? Or determines the price if it's totally random or if it's just Come on. Move. 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 Oh come on. Nope, not this way. Oh, stupid NPCs. I swear. NPCs in Dragon Warrior are the worst. They don't take a hint. Visit this place. Raid right his pantry. I know, right? I think Final Fantasy, if I remember correctly, they like if you, if you kind of pushed into them, they would like move out of the way faster. But Dragon Warrior, they don't care. They just it's like they just do their own thing. You're trying to move past them, they're like meh. Yeah, try moving towards you. Nothing. If only had a jailer's key. If I say no there. <laughs> I guess eventually I do have to quit this job. Nope, price went up. says anything different. <laughs> he's like holding a spear in his hand. What the hell would he want a club for? <laughs> but how long do I... <laughs> this is like the third day. I'm trying to make some money here. Sell the Sword of Malice if they offer me like 4,000 for it. <laughs> Fine. Like, it's not like raising the price of the club is really gonna do much. <laughs> yeah, probably, right? Who cares about gambling when you can just own a shop in this game forever? Let me try this here. <laughs> what are you? What are you? Show them to me. Fine. No. No. <laughs> Alright, so... You can't sell armor all of a sudden? No, already got tons of those. Just come in here, trying to sell me a sword of copper sword. No, already got some. Why does everybody want my sword? Mm. No. <laughs> That'd be a nice commission there. I'm sure somebody will eventually sell me another Sword of Malice, right? 
wonder if I can ever, like, ask for a cheaper price if I say no. for the host, Santo. <laughs> yeah, it's for open, right? No! Damn it! Fine. Stay over yet? Hey, what's up? Walk out of the shop. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll never make money this way. I'm supposed to become a, bil a gillionaire. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> I'm really tempted to just try selling this at... I'm doing it. Nice. <laughs> Should be a really good commission there. Nice. Alright, now I just need to... Uh, so I think it's the best way is like, buy and sell sort of the malices. Yeah, exactly. So if I, so if I buy swords of malices and sell them for like, a good chunk like that, that's gonna be the best way of making money quick, I think. Try using my lunch in, uh, in that shop. Maybe that will do something too. Buy it anyways, buddy. <laughs> I forgot to push the old man again. Ah, whatever. All these poor people. Sell a bunch of those at cost. No, where do you have a bunch? <laughs> Bastard. Coming in here without enough money to buy something. Come with another sword of malice now. <laughs> sure. Boomerang to sell. Hmm. 
No prisoner. Why are people trying to sell me clubs? <laughs> I'm assuming I have unlimited stock and like the stuff I started off with. Yes, that's a great deal. <laughs> you know, broke ass people come in here with less than thirty gold. Didn't you just come in here? Who can't be equipped with a club? <laughs> Isn't that like one of those things that everybody in the game can be equipped with? It's gonna be a long game, isn't it? Oh, price went up. Usually when they say like you're kidding, it means they really wanna buy it, so damn it. <laughs> I assumed wrong. Sucks. Fine, whatever. Just buy it and get out of my shop. Trish mid eggs. I'm gonna use my lunch. Cheap bastard. Come back here. Oh, already got tons of those. <laughs> Nobody's ever gonna come in and sell me another sword of malice, are they? Nope, price went up. Fine. No, don't sell me a club. Yeah, it seems like as soon as you make at least a hundred gold, that's when the day ends. So you need to make at least a hundred gold, and then the next day kicks in. Unless, of course, you sell something really good, like this sort of malice, and then you obviously make more than a hundred gold, but... Absolutely minimum is a hundred gold. But now I gotta keep working until I get another sword of malice in the shop, because, you know... I sold the last one. How much money do we have now? 870. Oh, at least I got some money. I, I can buy the thorn whip. I can probably just go do some fights outside until we... Probably faster make money using fights than it is to work at the shop. Plus we'll level up our character as well, so... But, I gotta keep working the shop till I get another Sword of Malice. Yeah, I, I can check and see what, uh... Wait. Who knows if you gave me any money? <laughs> Reading chat and something's like, oh yeah. 
Finish pushing him. As long as I have a weapon, but... Either way, I gotta get another sword of mouse in the shop, so... can't be equipped with a club. Oh. There's no point in really saying no, because really all it does make make the day go by faster slightly, but you have a chance of uh, chance of not making money. I mean, I guess if it's an on an item that you can't normally that your shop nor doesn't normally uh, carry, like if it's, uh, it's like the boomerang or something like that, or anything that you normally get, then at that point it's probably better just making. Oh, or the, the chain whip. <laughs> I realize that well, you had one of those. And it's probably just better try to make more money off of those. Stuff like copper swords, like whatever. For the ten extra gold, I'd make. It's better just making a guaranteed sale than. Lose note. Chain signal, try to sell that for a good price. Price went up. He sort of really wants this chain sickle, doesn't he? Yes, it went up. Damn it. <laughs> Keeps coming back in the shop. Uh, Throne I already have. I don't know if like all the stuff is limited inventory or everything like the, the stuff you start off with has like maximum inventory or unlimited inventory because it doesn't tell you how many you have so it's like will I ever run out of clubs or like copper swords That's what I figured. Those ones might just might as well just sell at the price. No point in trying to up the up the cost. Just, you don't know, run out. But stuff that's like limited inventory, you might as well make as much money off of them as you can. Since they don't come in often. It's not like you'll ever get rich on selling clubs anyways.
the way I see it, if you try to up the price by 10% and then pisses off the customer, then you lost out on the money, but... There's something like chain signal. Damn it. This seems like a pretty low chance of people buying at a raised price. And as soon as you make at least 100 gold, the day ends, so... Just here. Fine. <laughs> well, most of the time they don't have enough space in inventory, they don't have enough money. Well, for stuff like the base stuff, yeah, but I mean, if it's stuff like uh, the chain sickle, which I only have one in my inventory right now, might as well sell it for as much as I can. For the base stuff, yeah, like, I don't even bother haggling on the base stuff at all. I'll never see another Sword of Malice, will I? <laughs> I saw two. leave until... They've got a weapon now, but I should have gone outside and did some fighting. We're going after going to work. Ooh. Well, I found two so far. After I, I said no to the first one. Literally the first guy going in, uh, Try to sell me a sword mouse, I'm like, nope. <laughs> Cause I forgot that was wasn't a cursed item. Come on. Come on, kid. Seriously? <sighs> Thank you. Then same day I got another one. Then some guy bought it for like, you know, ten percent above the uh the price, so <laughs> made a good chunk of money that day. I made five hundred gold instead of the usual hundred. That was a that was a good sell, but <laughs> I'll never get another one. But considering I got two in the first day means it's definitely possible to get more. And until I get another one, I'm not gonna move on, so sure. Everybody's buying stuff today. Man. The day will be done before I even uh, have a chance to buy a sword of malice. Wow. <laughs> that was the fastest day ever. Let's go outside and do a little bit of combat. I 
some XP's. Yeah, exactly. That's what I've noticed. As soon as you make 100 gold, day's over. The only way of really making more than 100 gold is to sell a sword of malice, because really, I mean, if you if you sell even a thorn whip, uh, let's see, you buy it for like 400 and something, you sell it for 500 something. So you know, selling a thorn whip is, is good, especially if you sell two. But even then, you're still you're not making much profit, even if you sell it like a you know the increased price, right? Like, odds are you're going to be walking out of the shop with like a maximum of uh, like 150 gold if you're lucky. Unless you're selling the Sword of Malice. Wooden hat. And level up. Nice. Alright, day is done. Now equip that hat. Nice. healing item each time. <laughs> so I think that's going to be the best bet, just to uh, grind some XP after after the day is done. Until I get another Sword of Malice and I can quit my day job. And I go concentrate only on grinding XP and getting money that way. I'm sure I get money a lot faster by... Uh, by, by attacking things and doing this daily grind. Get out of my shop! Go into the shop without enough money to buy things. I wonder if you if you buy an item, does that reset your uh, your commission for the day? So if I buy if I buy like a chain sickle for like four hundred and whatever, is that considered like part of my commission? And of course, you know, obviously if I resell it, then I make it back and then some. But Sort of malice. Nobody's coming to sell things anymore. I guess I pissed everybody off by telling them no when they're trying to sell me things. Now nobody wants to sell things. Gonna make him wait for a bit. <laughs> More willing to buy when you know they're willing to stay, right? I wonder if they can like line up. No, no lineups. Did they give up if you wait, make them wait long enough? Nobody's coming to sell things. I don't think anybody today sold anything. Uh, 
I thought the casino was going to be long and boring. Oh god. Make it end. Shouldn't have given away that, uh... You know, make, made some good money out of it. Now, where did I buy that? <laughs> you know, I made some money off of the... The Sword of Malice there. It's still... Long ass, uh... Long ass day. I'll never see another one. What if you, happens if you say no there? Can't be equipped with this. We want to sell it anyways? No. Who would say that? It seems like if you're not waiting at the counter, they're more likely to buy. I don't know. That's just me, but... Yes. I already have those. Damn it. <laughs> you just come in here and you couldn't afford a club for 30 gold. Must have been your twin brother. One shot. Hmm. Broadsword. You can sell that. Sell that in the shop. Is that better or worse? I'm sure that's worse. I cannot equip. To... Hey, Chris. Welcome to Shopping Simulator 1992. <laughs> well, that's a it's a matter of viewpoint. <laughs> Very boring as hell right now, but I'm just trying to get another sort of. I have to go to the next town and buy a shop or something like that. It's probably the thing I'm supposed to be doing. But don't want to leave till I get another sword and malice back in the shop. So I sold my last one. Praise. All right. I told you. <laughs> How did I miss that? Oh, okay, so it just shows you if. Uh... Oh, nice. Oh, that's worth a lot of money. What drop that broadsword? Man, that was worth a lot of money. Should sell that. I'll sell it to the shopkeeper and then be able to sell it again. But it shows you if something has a special effect or whatever. It's kind of cool. Since, of course, the manual doesn't actually have weapon stats and that, so at least that'll give you an idea of who can use it. And Well, that's pretty easy to find out, I guess. But, uh... Oh, it's almost daytime. I should be going back to, uh... the bed. Sleep for very long. Like, what are you doing? Out this late. Get to bed. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, can be handy in. Trying to just it doesn't give you the stats of the weapon or anything like that, but at least it'll give you an idea of what it is, first of all. Like, well, shows me that uh well, let's try it on this thing. Give me a medicine. This is it gonna be used once, if it's multiple use. How much shops will will pay for it? It's 
but I saw this bronze sword. Can I sell it to another customer, I wonder? It's not going to almost afford a sword of malice. <laughs> it's one of that, that sword will be in the shop's inventory now. Sucks. I would have thought that bronze sword would have been in the shop's inventory for like 2,000 gold. I can like make a lot of money off of it. But not that lucky. Sure. Add that to my shop list. Stop trying to come into the shop with that room for, for these items. Like, we never see parties coming into the shop. It's always, like, single people. <laughs> It'd be funny if, like, one of the uh, parties you've, uh, you played as, like, comes into your shop. Oh. Selling that for maximum profit. Already got unlimited stock on that. Back to buy the thorn whip or the uh, chainsicle. You want to stop for a day? No. Get back to work. Got nobody waiting in the counter. You can stop the day before it's done, but obviously you don't get as much commission. Never get another sort of malice. Yeah, sort of malice, but you need to have somebody to sell it to you. I've already had, uh, I've already, well, the first one I gave up on because I didn't realize, you know, it was, the, it was the, literally the first transaction, and uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell this, the point of this little thing was. Second one I bought and then I resold that, like, uh, at a markup, like a higher markup, because I figured, hey, you know, it makes money. I figured I'd see some other ones, but I haven't seen another one since. I kind of want to, until I get another, like, I don't want to give up this mini game. Until I uh, I get another one sold to me, so I can buy it, <laughs> so I can buy it myself. Like now I have, I found that broadsword which gave me a good chunk of money, so I can't quite afford it yet, but I'll probably be able to uh, buy it eventually. But of course, nobody wants to sell one. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to sell another sword of malice ever again. Ray keeps trying to sell me these thorn whips and clubs and things I already have.
Killer really wants this weapon, doesn't he? Fine. Never see another sword of malice, I swear. Give me like three more hours and then I'll finally see another one and I'll get greedy again and sell it. <laughs> yeah, no. Next one I see uh, it's staying unsold. Smell salesman by day and ninja by night. if you like let it go into the day again like can you can you go back to the shop and start you know doing the shop thing again or do you have to rest I'm assuming you can't you don't have to rest I mean these games usually let you play for as long as you want just don't get another free uh, don't you go don't get a healing don't get another lunch I imagine I wish I remember with drop the broadsword because that was a really nice drop from whatever amounts to a really easy enemy anyways. 1500 gold was like, wow. Locking the door. Waifu. That's why we don't get to keep the lunch from the previous day. It's stuff in one of these. Oh yeah, old man. <laughs> Gotta push him for like a whole ten gold, give or take. Totally worth it. This kid's gonna be in the way again, isn't he? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, kid, you made me lose track of the old man. I love how they make it so it's impossible to not walk on the grass, not walk on the flowers. Seven gold. <laughs> now it's crazy. I saw two sword of malices on the first day, and how many days has it been since then? Like six. <laughs> Haven't seen another one since. It's like, uh, why did I sell that one? Should have waited until I had like another one show up before I sold it. Sure.
my weapon sales. Oh, that, that's true. But it's not like you, the day really finishes until you get 100 gold anyways, so... So technically, you know, it doesn't matter how much... how many people I pissed off, but... In the end, the day was still... I still made the same amount of money. Oh, the other days since then have been a lot faster. It's <laughs> probably it for the day, no. I definitely seen a lot less people coming to sell things though. Thanks yeah, so for the false Satyrian. Let's go level up more. You know, I haven't saved in a while. To really do that. <laughs> Where's the? Uh, eh, I'll do that when I come back. further from town. Let's go get the iron safe. <laughs> Do that at night. I don't know how hard the enemies are in that cave. Probably not easy. Helene doesn't seem to have uh an order. I was hoping that would be another broadsword. Must have been like a really ultra rare drop from that broadsword. I got lucky there. So considering like super weak enemies had it. The enemies is upstairs. A bad feeling. The button you want to push it? No. <laughs> I know what that button does. Me to push buttons. Nice. Already bought one, but nice. Hmm. Guess I have to push the uh, button there to go past this spot. Let's do it. Wee. I should have really saved before going here, because that was kind of a one-way thing. I'm about to lose half my gold, probably. Yeah, let's not push that button. What the hell? I haven't seen any encounters, I was going to say. I haven't seen any encounters in a while. Because the monsters aren't getting any harder. The only thing we have is for healing those are lunch, so kinda gotta be careful. Oh nice. <clears throat> those uh, gophers were having a uh, an adult night. Exactly. Lunch from the waifu. Probably like old and decrepit now. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's worthless. Let's find out. Some gold. Garbage.
Do you want to find an iron safe too? I think that rolling boulder has something to do with it. Uh, great. <laughs> it's the best lunch ever. It's waifu's lunch. There's probably some, like, onigiri in there, and some oct octopus sausages. You know, we didn't have an encounter for like a whole lot of time, now we're getting like a million encounters. Even stumps are tough, aren't they? <laughs> Sorry, should bring that guy upstairs. Hey, you want to join our party for a second? Uh... Alright, you know that button right there? Yeah, yeah, just push that, you know. Nothing wrong is going to happen. It's going to be like, uh... It's going to be like watching a movie. Well, that was pointless. <laughs> I'm assuming that boulder kind of blocks off the uh, hole. Hmm. This is no button there to push. Ah, oh, crap. Does it chase us? Ah, <laughs> oh, crap, it chases us. <laughs> the wrong way, didn't I? <laughs> it just... Should have been the other one I used. Oh crap. Babble. Luckily we have an antidote verb. Obviously, I have to go down the other path, so it probably chases us whatever direction we go. <laughs> Damn it, not another club. I'm sick of seeing clubs. Definitely chases us. Um, so how do we Let's chase us this way? Okay, so we have to go down this path, turn here, go down the other path, and then just so that's gonna be the the way of doing it. I knows what to do now. Can't roll backwards. <laughs> this is why you can get encounters on this. Uh on this level, because I've got an encounter here that would probably mess up the scripting. Crap. Oh. Just gonna be important for something. Or not. <laughs> Safe. Mysterious object. What an awesome object. No store is likely going to be able to praise the value of this. It's invaluable. Oops. Okay, 
It's just having your inventory. Wait, I have the thing right there. <laughs> Aww. Let's like drop it off and then bring the thing in here. Wait, how do I? Discard it? How do I... <laughs> I know, right? It's probably like three days past. Like, where the hell were you? Wait, how do I... Honestly, I need to have something on that... There, but I can't drop the safe. Oh, there we go. Let's travel in search of treasure. Return the treasure stolen to this place, and the exit may appear. Okay. Yes. Now I can drop that stone. There we go. Now we're good. I knew that stone's gonna be for something. Wait, I didn't bring it far enough. Yeah, I need to bring it forward one more square. Plus, I can't push it. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't think the game would just force you to, uh, to like reload. It'd be kind of a slap in the face there. It's not intuitive though. Success. I think I just like mugged us. <laughs> like kinda yeah. I, this thing's an iron safe. How the hell am I carrying an iron safe? What's my strength gonna am I like a million strength here? Like I got nine strength and I'm lugging around this hot, heavy iron safe. It's pretty impressive. Even if it's like a tiny safe, it's still like a good, you know, ten pounds. So if I die now, like, <clears throat> I don't lose any money, so wouldn't dying just be like a quick way back? <laughs> Should just die and try it out. But I wonder if it's like a one-time use item, or if it's if it like stays in your inventory forever. Because if it stays in your inventory forever, then dying is not really a thing anymore. I mean, sure, you, you lose the progress you made in, in that level, but... Crap. Good. I don't want to get poisoned. Although, well, I'm going back to town anyways, but... Poison would be bad. Still nighttime. <laughs> well, not sure about still nighttime. Nighttime again, I guess I should say. I don't know if time changes when you're in, in a dungeon or not. I think it only changes when you're out in the overworld. Obviously, it doesn't change when you're, uh. Yeah, what the hell? Copper sword? Yes. Let's drop this club. Crap, stay time! Run! Oh no! Well, I guess we're going back to work. <laughs> Didn't have any time to rest. Yeah, we've been up for like 24 hours. Almost buy the uh, 
be sort of malice if we ever <laughs> get one dropped off. I should be able to because I, I can sell the... I can almost sell it because I, I have this chain sickle which I can sell for 400 and something. So a little bit of money extra and we can buy the sort of malice if we ever get one dropped off. Actually, well, the money I'd get extra, I'd get just during the, uh, during the work day anyways, so. Of course, at that point I'll be broke, so I'm sure I'm gonna need money for other stuff. Try to buy a shop in the next town. <laughs> I love how people come in with, like, less than 30 gold. Got plenty, thank you. Uh, shopkeeper, uh, you should really be able to sell the stuff that you sold to the uh, <laughs> shopkeeper too. Bring in like the, the most expensive sword in the game here and then sell it to the shopkeeper, resell it to somebody else and make a commission. <laughs> That yeah, makes sense, but you mean commission, obviously, from selling it again. I'm not sure if you get, uh... Do you get, like, 100% of the commission of, like, the difference in price? Like, the, like the, the thorn sword... Well, probably not. You probably get half of it. Because that's that thorn uh, whip sells for 150, and you sell it for 200, so obviously it's 50 gold there. You probably make half of that back as commission. Otherwise, I'd, I'd sell, like, one whip, or like, two whips and the day would be over, so... Oops. I'll preemptively talk to them. Ten percent? Right away. Well, let's see, because I know when we sold the Sword of Malice, and obviously we sold it like at a at a, uh, a like a higher profit. Like uh, I'm assuming you sell it for 10% more when you increase the price, and we made 500 gold profit uh, that time. So let's see, let's say we're at 99 gold already. That means we made an extra 400 gold for selling the Sword of Malice, and if we sold it 10%. Uh, do the math here. One second. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not 10%, because there's no way I would have made 500 gold on it. I'd probably math it out. So it normally sells for 3,500, and then uh, we sold for a 10% uh, increase of so 3,850, and it would normally sell at, uh, or we'd, we would have bought it at one quarter, or, uh, three quarters of the original price, so 3,500 uh, times 0.75. So it would have been 11, 5 by 2. And yeah, that wouldn't really make sense. Still wouldn't have been 10%, though. 10% would have been 122. So it's probably about. Uh, my guess would be about 20% profit. Yep, that's the goal of the game now. Or not 20%, sorry. We, we, we make about uh, 33%, 35%. It's definitely not 10%, because if we made 10%, we, we only would have made about 100 gold from that um, sort of malice. There's no way we would have reached 500 gold. But if we made 50% of the of the uh, the difference, then we would have made 600 gold off of it which would have brought us higher than, than uh, 500. So even if it was the only thing we sold that day, we would have made 600 gold profit, right? So so the only thing I think of is uh, we're making one quarter, so probably 25% of the, of the cost, which would have been about 300 gold, but even then that's still not enough, so probably about 33%. One third of the, uh, the profit goes to you. Yeah. 
even then that like it doesn't make sense. Like for for the amount of money we made off that sort of malice, it's, it's it has to be. There's no way it was in 13 percent because because the the difference in price between the price I, I bought it and the price I sold it was uh, was 12.25. So even like at 13 percent of the unless it's 13 percent of the full price. Like that, that would make sense, because if if you're let's say you're, you're selling for, you know, thirteen percent of the f like if you're if you're getting commission on thirteen percent of the entire price, I'm just looking at, at the actual difference in prices, like the actual commission of like the the difference in prices. But yeah, if it's if it's thirteen percent of the full price, that would make sense. So if you're if you're taking just like thirteen percent of that, uh, oops. Then you had made 455, so that, that'd be right on the money. <clears throat> but I was just looking at the actual difference in price between what I what I bought it for and what I sold it at, because that's really you know how much you would make off of that that weapon. Of course, the game facts just has the, the the percentage of the of the actual. The original sale price, I guess. So it looks like if you sell it at a discount, you're still making almost the same price as, uh, or same amount of commission as if you sell it at a full price. It's kind of weird. You make a lot more if you sell it at a premium price, but. Seems like people uh, don't really <laughs> buy it at a premium price too often. Sort of malice, please. <laughs> exactly. You watch, like, 100 hours into this game, we're still at the shop. <laughs> Trying to make him a er, million gil or gold. Keep forgetting these. This game calls it gold. It's not gil, damn it. It's not Final Fantasy. Stop showing up in the shop without enough money to buy what you're trying to buy. <laughs> yeah, the best chapter. <laughs> Hopefully, it gets better after this. <laughs> Buying something they already have. You know, I don't lose money. <laughs> it's like, why would I want to buy that? What? Wait, what am I? Oh, I'm hitting cancel, that's why. I'm like, why are these guys walking away? It's on the wrong button. Well, it's the second most enjoyable after playing poker. <laughs> Lots of money playing poker. Come on, RNG. I just need one. I just need a sword, damn it. Should be it for the day, probably. No, nope, not enough. Alright. <laughs> Alright, that should be enough. I just need a sort of mouse to show up. One day, one day it will. Yeah. Probably at an hour, hour fifteen. Oh, yeah, I forgot to save. I haven't saved in a while, have I? Especially now that I picked up the uh, the iron safe. It's probably a good idea to do. I can do that right now. Bring this guy over there at the same time. Make some change. 
Maybe, maybe he'll give me a free Sword of Malice for pushing him this day. How's it going, Drippy? Stepping all these flowers. Ha 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 ha. It can't stop me. No police in this world. And the guardsmen in this world don't care if you, like, walk into the king's private quarters. They'll just stand there and stare at you. It's good to be in Dragon Warrior Town. Oh yeah. Save. <laughs> How much is he going to sell that for? Oh my god, he sold it for... cost. <laughs> Sword of Malice, please. Please, gay thanks. I still need one of those. No. No. Yep. What if I just walk out of the shop? <laughs> did save, so let's try it. Oh, they're still there waiting. <laughs> what if you go outside and like fight some some fights come back and <laughs> see what happens. Let's go random like leave for like a lunch, you know. <laughs> yep. All fringy. It's, it's all for the, uh, for the, uh, for the profit. Alright, let's see what happens here. If they're still waiting in the shop or not. Oh. <laughs> hey boss. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's like nothing happened. I guess he has to do... You have to like murder somebody to... Uh, to get fired from this job. But you probably lose any commission you got like previously though. Me, sell me a damn sword of malice. Yes, please, sword of malice. Damn it! Ah, boomerang out by too. I don't care if you buy the club or not. Doing this thing until I get this sword. Whatever. Don't get any money off the uh, club, anyways. Try to get as little money as possible until I uh, get another sword. No. 
I'm not in this for money, I'm in this to buy things. <laughs> Get out of my shop unless you have a sword to sell me. Get out of my store. Let's put a sign on the front. Now buying, uh... Now buying Swords of Malices only. <laughs> Should get that, that dog that's, uh... Oh man. <laughs> Don't actually want to sell it. Fine. Do some combats. Let's go check out that other town. Maybe we can reach it for night, uh, for daytime hits. Let's see what the uh, hubbub is about the the other town and the shop we can buy. See how much it costs to get all that stuff. So I don't think I'll ever see another sort of malice ever again. Foxes who like to trick people live around here and watch out for them. Oh, really? What does the fox say? Chiller, you want to dance with me? Just don't tell my wife. <laughs> Wait. Doesn't that sell for like. 1500 in the other place. <laughs> Cypher stick, what the hell? What the hell, that guy just ripped me off. <laughs> Told me a cypher stick calling it a, uh, a broadsword. What the hell, game? Seriously, just ripped me off. <clears throat> Not sure if that was a bug or. No kidding, right? Like, <laughs> like seriously? What a rip off! Where's the better business bureau when you need it? Stay in this village to yelp yelp. <coughs> Oops, I caught a cold. I'm Dagardi, an architect. Okay, I'm Dagardi, an architect. <laughs> I thought it was like a typo for a second there. It's like this girl won't let me go. Decided to marry her and stay in this village. Ha ha ha. Traveler, are you lost? Really want to have a good trip. I know, right? That's the bad. Why don't you stay here tonight? Sure. Stay from some random stranger's house. Uh oh. Wait. Okay, we didn't lose our items. <laughs> That shop only, or that town only shows up at night. Yeah, I said gaming. Doing good. Slugging, slogging through the, uh, <laughs> through the merchant's quest of this game. Like end up in the middle of the field after we woke up. <laughs> Just luckily we weren't missing any kidneys, but okay. it's 
really weird. <laughs> Try it. Yes. No. Hmm. It was really odd that we ended up in like a field in the middle of nowhere after we slept there. Really weird. I guess that's the only way out of here. So it's like some sort of village that just never lets you go until you sleep at the old man's house. No kidding, right? It's like these are all like foxes that are tricking us or something. Yep, definitely Twilight Zone. <laughs> That's what I was wondering about this whole like lost thing. I didn't try to like leave the town regularly. <laughs> now I know. Is there anything in here? There's any like, special exit out of here? So it's in the town that we can open up a shop in anyways. Uh... So the monsters haven't gone any harder. Well, it's almost better if they did that we can start getting better experience, but... I wonder if this is like the only character in, in this chapter. Here there are foxes around here who trick people. Duck, get rid of them. Alright, so I have to rescue that dog, but I need to get a key to get to that dog. from Lakanaba. Eh? man from Lakanaba is imprisoned in the castle. To speak to him, you must evade the guards. <laughs> Nothing left to sell me. What? This guy doesn't want to sell me armor. Open shop looks like... That is a real broadsword. <laughs> Buy an iron spear. Nah. It's gotta be something here. Or a secret path some kind, no? Hmm. Suspicious. Path that goes like a long path like that that goes to nothing. I don't know. Unless, unless there's something in there only at night or something. 
Oh, that's a wall. <laughs> like, why can't I walk onto that path? It's like, duh. It's a damn wall. And a Von Malo Castle. level. 17 experience. Almost there. Indoor is a wealthy country. Our king is determined to conquer it. Can't get to Endor because the bridge is broken. The guardie and architect should be able to repair it easily. Alright, so I need to get the dog to chase the foxes away, which then the guardian will be free and he'll be able to build a bridge so I can go to Endor, meet the princess. Short of armor in this castle. How about selling me some of yours? Hmm, I wonder if they sell, I wonder if they sell for a premium. Probably does, actually. Good place to buy and sell, I guess. If we did they sell armor in the last uh, last town, I don't remember. They'd probably buy it for for more than uh, you can you can, or they probably buy it for more here than you can buy at the other shop. I mean, this is country's prince. Assuming you're a traveling merchant, I have a favor to ask you. Meet me at night in the uh, weapon shop's backyard. Okay, prince, you shouldn't talk to such a lowly commoner. Leave now. He wants to have a, a night meeting in the backyard. I don't know if I should accept that. Go to south of here. I went there once before the bridge crumbled. I met an old man there who wanted to sell his shop. Alright, that's where we eventually need to go. I'm sure if that's the goal of this chapter is to buy a shop. Alright, so I gotta avoid the guards. This is jail! You can't talk to the prisoners, leave! Alright, so every time they go there, they turn. Oh, there is a petty thief. I think he's from Lak Lak Laknamba. What? How can you see me cross the screen like that? That's cheating. Frame perfect because that guard just looked at my way. Hey, Talon, it's me. That's right, I'm the son of Grandpa Tom. How stupid I was to get caught and sent to prison. No more thieving for me. You're a merchant, right? Would you get me a wing of a wyvern? Yes. So I gotta do that. I don't know what me being a merchant has anything to do with that, but you know. If I wasn't a merchant, you, would, you wouldn't ask me for a wing of wyvern? A wyvern, or whatever. Where's the guardie? Isn't he back yet? Can't invade Endor until he repairs the bridge. Uh, is there an item shop here? Yeah. Hey, how does he know my name? <laughs> I guess, you know, being a merchant, I probably went to other towns, you know, I guess that kind of makes sense. So 
what I'm probably supposed to do is wait here. I'll make it up to you when I return to my town. Yes. Go back to the other town, I guess. Nothing else to do in this town. And if I get some armor, I'll make sure to bring it here. Probably for a profit. What sure else we could do here? Just is the bridge broken. Oh yeah. Nighttime. I talk to the prince. <laughs> I just remembered. What the hell? <laughs> That's random. <laughs> An item shop. Uh, nothing. It's an armor shop. That'd be good. It's apparently you can counter merchants in uh, this chapter. Prince, Prince! Oh no, where is he? He's just chasing me for a second. Oh crap. <laughs> he's holding a flute. I think he's trying to say something. Run away! Fine, let's talk to him. Well, here you are, it's me, Prince Reed. I'd like you to go to Endor as soon as the bridge is repaired and hand this letter to the Princess of Endor. She's already married to the other princess. I'm counting on you. All I can do here for now. Oh no! He tried to heal himself. I probably my family's probably wondering where the hell I went for the last couple days. I'm gone for like two days. I think I'm dead in the ditch somewhere. Strength, 3 Agility, 3 Vitality, 1 Intelligence, 5 HP. Go that way. place bought leather armor for like 200 and something, so you definitely make a profit by... Let's go 
upgrade my armor. <laughs> Bring armor to the other place to sell for profit. Letters using up space. Let's go make one trip with the uh, bronze armor here. Pretty sure they were buying armor at better cost than. Uh, than they were selling it here. So I'm almost sure it was 200 and something dollars for the. Uh, Two hundred something gold for the for the leather armor, which is sold for one hundred eighty. So I'm assuming I'll probably make like I don't know nine hundred gold from this. Uh, this bronze armor. Because I'll get I'll get a full inventory of bronze armor and like sell. Nope, the random shop. It's just a random thing, like have an item shop in the middle of nowhere. Alright, so we bought it for 700. Alright, so we make about 100 gold selling it. It's not bad. Sell this leather armor. A lot better than uh, <laughs> it's a lot better than making money at the uh, shop, anyways. Still want to buy that uh, sword though, so I still have to do the, the mini quest to get another sword. But money is definitely that's gonna be the best bet there. It's probably find. I'm assuming uh, there's a point where you like when you get to the next area, you could probably buy armor that's even more expensive. And just make a couple trips and sell for like two, three hundred gold a pop. Well, this money's not really a concern. Favorite uh, chapter? Uh, probably the princesses. There's the casino. <laughs> Leather chain, really? Yeah, but you gotta remember you have limited inventory space, right? So. Yeah, I'm sure maybe in later chapters, assuming this thing still exists. <laughs> did I equip that leather shield I picked up? Oh no, I never did. Eh. Oh, sorry, I never bought one. Eh. at night. He'll mumble something about, like, treasure being kept somewhere. Nope. <laughs> uh, there's no armor seller in uh, in that city. The, when you go to the armor, well, there is an armor seller, but he doesn't have any armor to sell, so... <laughs> what happens if she tries to give you lunch and you have a full inventory? Luckily, nothing. I suck if, like, one of your items is deleted and replaced with lunch. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not like I need money right now, anyways. So I just already have enough money to buy the, uh, the sword, but I need I need one to be dropped off. Is the only thing. Trying to sell me non sort of malices is is <laughs> Turbo Button. Down after the thing. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Kids are always coming in buying weapons. We're like, eh, it's fine. Sometimes we say no when they say I can't be equipped with it. I'll try that next time. Come on, sort of malice, anybody? I didn't realize they were that rare. I got two in the first day. Like, oops. Ah, I forgot to. Want to try and say no there? Of course you don't have enough money, you never do, kid. Fine, whatever, I can care less. I've got an infinite supply of copper swords, oh, whatever, I'll buy another one. There we go. No. I knew it. <laughs> Sorry about there, did you, anyways. No, I don't want the date in. No. It's gonna be a long. Watch me spend another like four hours here just <laughs> try to get another sword of malice. Maybe the rarest sword in the game, rarest drop in the game, and we've seen it twice in the first day. I, I just got a false sense of, of it being, you know, common, <laughs> and it's like it's rare as hell. Damn you, game. something. Ah. Any good purchase of the club. Well, nobody's coming to sell things, they're just buying things. When this is like payday for everybody. They already all have their money. Sort of mouse. Ah. Whatever. Come 
not sword mouse. Damn it. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Send me a damn club and see if I care. Spend my money. Turbo control would be really good, except, you know, oh, on that comes up the menu after you, uh, if you just hold it down and it's just, you, you could eventually, like, AFK and just, people would eventually come into your shop, but then you'd just be wasting so much time between encounters by doing this. <laughs> That's right. Have a snooze, hold down the turbo button. <laughs> yeah, it's just better just doing it manually. There's no way my luck I would hold down the turbo button, and eventually somebody would uh, sell me a sword in Malice, and then somebody would buy it right afterwards, and I'd screw up. Get out of my shop, you broke peasant. <laughs> you know what a really good way of making money is? Be to sell me a sort of, uh, sort of malice. That'd be a great way of making money. And you can buy that club that you that you wanted for 30 gold. You can buy all the clubs you wanted. Damn it. <laughs> another day without another without a sword. 119 gold. Yay, I'm rich. Give it another two days and then we're just gonna give up on the damn sword. It's like, screw the sword. You're just turning a frame skip on to like maximum. <laughs> Unfortunately, that'd be cheating. If you want cozy, this is cozy. Just standing in front of a counter all day, selling things and buying things. It's about as cozy as you can get. <laughs> and how's it going, Technonome? And people come into my shop without enough money to even buy a club. Convinced these uh, NPCs are coming in to like hoard huge amounts of weapons. They're probably supplying like the, the terrorist movements in this game, and I wouldn't know. So I'm just selling them all the weapons in the world. Sort of malice. Anybody, anybody, please. Yes. Damn it. Club.
90 minutes. That's too many minutes. <laughs> That's right. Didn't that kid come recently and buying a club? He's used it. It's bloody. I find Dragon Warrior games in general, like, you usually you can sell, resell weapons for a pretty good price. Most games, you're, you usually get about half of the money back that you, uh, that you paid for it. In this game, it's like 75%, which is pretty high. It always makes me wonder, like, <laughs> these things are used, like, to hell. Like, you kill, like, thousands of creatures with these weapons. They're probably dull, rusted, bloodied weapons, and... Can sell them for almost the same price as he paid for them. Like, how the hell are these shopkeeper shopkeepers making money? <laughs> True enough. Gotta love doggies. Still too cold here to, to walk my dog out. Door dog for the most part. That's not what I want. I don't want a ch chain sickle. I want a. <laughs> That's one more day. I'll give up on this sword. By the time I by the time I get the sword, I probably finish the chapter like five times over. So it's probably just a waste of time trying to get the sword of malice. Although most likely it's probably uh, hard to get a better weapon for him. 125. And I got two in the first day, that's the worst part. <laughs> I, I didn't realize it was that rare, because, you know, I got two in the first day. It's like, I don't know, whatever. The first one I gave up on. Had I picked it up, I probably would have sold one of them and then just kept the other one for myself. Right, I mean, it's a first day, I got two, so... Try one more day after this, after, like, saving and resetting, and see if that does anything. If not, so I'll give up on it. Either way, I probably need money to buy the shop in the other town anyways, so... So if I spent all my, all my money on the, uh... I can, I can make some trips back and forth and um, sell some armor, but... When you say like 125 chances out, like whenever they, they they sell you something, or is it just like 100, one out of 125 of like having the person coming in wanting to sell you something and that something being uh, the sort of malice? Because it seems to be pretty rare that they even want to sell something. It's 100, 125 chance when they actually want to sell you something, then god, never gonna see a Sword of Malice ever again. It's like a 125 out of 1 in 10, if that. And I saw two in the first day, like, what the hell? Had I not seen the, the first two, I would never not seen one period, and I wouldn't even know it existed. 
now they ex I know they exist. I want it. Well, technically, we're not we're not the the world saviors. The other people that were in the other chapters were we're just a merchant. But every world world savior needs a merchant, right? Yeah, this is on uh, Nestopia, or, well, Nestopia U UE, I think it's called. Like, the, it's just kind of a modified version of Nestopia. Seems to run a little bit better. Damn it. <laughs> Stop selling me things already I don't want. What's the odds of the club one and two? to the end of the day here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so let's go rest. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try. I'll do like a hard reset on the Emu. So the first day, first day I did this, I had like two of them, so <laughs> so maybe it resets like the uh, the RNG or whatever, reseeds the game or something. Before I do that though, I need to go uh, visit the guys up here. Yeah, right there. With the puppy. Tell him it's me. It's Tom's son. Thank you so much for everything. Yes, I'll reward you. What? You just want to borrow the, my dog Tov? No problem. He loves to hunt foxes. I'm sure he'll be a great help. Bow wow. Tough always obeys the loon. Is he part of the party now? No. Reset here. Hard reset. Dog is still with me. I wonder if I bring him to the shop, maybe he'll he'll sell me more stuff. Oh, it's a puppy. We'll give you ten swords of malices now. Somebody's selling something. Everybody's buying something. <laughs> nice as that. Of course, I'll just make the day go by faster. Talk of the dog's ass. Oh. Club. Let's 
I wonder if I keep the dog there, will the uh, owner be able to... Because usually the owner comes from below, right? To tell us, like, the, the day is done. So if the dog's in the way, I wonder what happens. <laughs> does he come from the top, or does he, like, just give up? Clubs and boomerang so far. Not that gambling was hard. <laughs> it's much worse than gambling. It's like trying to get a royal flush. Merges with the dog. It's just wrong. Alright, well, that's it. So. Well, I won't bother again that sword. So let's uh, go chase away some foxes. Kill that merchant. Bow wow. No help, I hate dogs. It's too late. My supernatural power is <laughs> I just rested unlikely. Yelp, yelp, I'm sorry, please let me go, I won't play tricks anymore. No. So cruel, forgive me, no. <laughs> I love games that give you like a uh, false sense of choice. <laughs> this give you two options, only one of them works. Otherwise, we're just gonna make you force, we're gonna force you to take the other option. It's armor and appreciation. Yes. Buy lunch. Full plate armor. Undergardy, what happened? When I woke up, the village was gone. That's right. I'm supposed to go to Bonmalo Castle. I have to go now, excuse me. Bah, figures. Yes, I can sell it for a loss of profit.
Nice. Well, we're rich now. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm assuming the bridge is built so we can go to Endor and buy the shop or something. Let's kill the Guardians. Came here and repaired the bridge in no time. Now I can buy Endor. Ha ha ha. How dare you. Uh, where's the... Where do I save again? <laughs> this place. Oh, there's a... Uh, oh, probably up here. There's a house of healing somewhere. Monsters we see in this area now. Probably like a lot tougher. Lethal Gurpers. Not lethal enough, unfortunately. Bridges belong to everyone. Oh, wait. This is the castle. Let's go gamble. But let's not. <laughs> let's have the king's permission to own a shop in this town. Not easy to get his permission. Most lethal things there was there. Train myself to cast some spells. How about hiring me for 600 gold pieces for five five days? What? So can, like hire people. Should you come here for the uh, silver statue? Sure. Show him a certain old feature at great price. Silver statue somewhere. It's in the cave. Which cave? So you find a silver statue and sell it for lots of monies. People disappeared from Santim in the West. What happened to them? They died. Casino? What the hell? I'm a soldier of Berlin. I came here hoping that the person I've been looking for might be at the tournament. It's over and the casino also seems to be closed for a while. No, not the casino. I want to gamble all my money away. Hey brother, how's it going? Are you making money? That's good. I'll keep trying. Ignore the rosé. Collect antiques. I hear the silver statue exists somewhere. I want it. I don't care what it costs. Well then! Kitchen! I'm gonna make a trip to this random cave. Look, a shooting star. I hope it's not a bad omen. Did you make a wish?
Thanks for the fall, Chill Magic 420. Damn it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he doesn't have the key. The other guys had the key. Deeb's key. Yep. Can go this way. I see the monsters began appearing because of the ruler of evils about to revive. Da da da! He's standing right behind you! No! Oh yeah, this guy had. He wanted to sell a shop, right? Asking if the shop downstairs is closed, and an old plan to retire after selling it. So, anyone who has the king's permission wants to do business and wants to buy my shop? I have this dog. This dog go buy your shop. Why is this dog still following me? What the hell is he good for? He's gonna die, isn't he? He's gonna be like... be a casualty on the... Uh, Evil King's demise or whatever. Let's go see the tournament. At night. Damn it. Blocking off the tournament. You're not allowed to enter. Leave. Fine. Never. It's my dog. <laughs> it can't have him back. I'll name him Fluffy. Come to the castle so late at night. It can't allow you to leave. Or to enter and leave now. What if I don't talk to you? Run! Sneak, 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 sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak. How long ago there's a sword called the Zenthian Sword. Whoever possessed is able to send this guy. You've already talked to that dude. Great guards in this place. Just like walk up to the king's chambers. All I need is this key and I can like go murder the king. <laughs> clean here, clean, clean. Luckily I don't have the key and I can't murder the king. He and the princess are both asleep. <laughs> he could care less. Some random guy just showing up in the king's king's throne room here. It's like, eh, we're just sleeping. See you later! There is... Who the hell sleeps like that? Yeah, same stuff they said, uh... When I first came here with the princess. This guy says anything different? Nope. Maybe they'll update their speech. Can't keep up with this woman's silly talk. I think Nis Necrosario disappeared from the tournament because he had more important things to do. I'm sure Necrosario would win the tournament. Oh, women. And their silly talk. Oops. <coughs> There's definitely a door here that... Whenever you have like, a black thing, you always know that there's a door. So this door in the middle, we need a key for it. So let's come back here once we have the... I don't know, the final key or whatever the hell it's called in this game. Alright, let's go see the king. I wonder how much it's going to cost to buy that business. I'm thinking like... Like 10k, probably. Just probably have to grind some money, including going to find that silver statue. Probably have to do a bunch of runs of armor. Etc, etc. K, 
Okay, meets with all types of people. Watch your manners in front of them. Came from Lek Lekanaba. That must mean the bridge was repaired. Prince's letter. Dear me, uh, Princess of a Should I be reading this? <laughs> Many days have passed, and I have yet been able to tell my father about us. For still, my father is planning to be planning to invade Endor. I must stop him. Please inform your father of this and Oh read. I have to tell my father. Father. Exactly. I heard the news, Mia. You do not need to worry. Talun is is the name, isn't it? Did you take the scroll of the King of Bonmalo? Please hurry. Alright. It's not the time for us humans to be fighting each other. I'll prevent the war and I'll give you permission to own a shop. <laughs> yeah, that's one hell, of a, one hell of a quest to get a shop in this town. Hey, yeah, you want to uh, save the world? Then, then I'll give you a shop. I'll, I'll let you uh, build the shop in my in my uh, town. It's, it's just a small thing you have to do first. Buy some more. Uh, bring some armor over to the other place so I can make some more money. <laughs> it's my dog, and I'm keeping him. And have it forever. I guess they're just jealous I have a dog. Nah. <laughs> it's too long a walk back. Wait, I'm going the right way. I think I'm going the right way. <laughs> Stop healing them. with clubs. That's why this game really wants me to uh, to get another club. He's not buying that as uh, the same price he was buying it before. Maybe the more armor you sell, the, the less they pay for it. Because this is worth 700 before, now it's worth like 656. Like 700 to buy it, or to sell it, I should say. Or no, to buy it. And last time he gave me 796 for it. It's a good thing I didn't buy some extra armor to sell. It's 
wouldn't have made any money, probably. How much does that uh, iron apron cost? Fifteen hundred? Let's see how much he uh, buys it for. Barely pays me more than what it was worth. So. That would have sucked. <laughs> we bought a bunch of that. And been like, oh, here's 23 bucks. Alright, let's go dump off this dog, because you guys don't want me to keep the damn dog. <laughs> oh, puppy. He's wagging his tail as happy as, as all things can be there and just having an adventure. There's one joy in this world. Instead we're going to return to his, his cage that he can't escape, surrounded by poisonous uh, swampland. Evil bastards. Yeah, if it was more useful, that's right. He just stands there, does nothing. Probably goes hide in a corner whenever we uh, we fight and we handle an encounter. Oh, the dog like slept with us in her own bed. It's cuddling up to the bed. No. Fine. You have your damn dog back. Good boy, Tom. Now you can go back to your cage. <laughs> sort of lock the port puppy up. Poor puppy. Now he's stuck in the life of standing in that cage. Never to see light of day again. Slimes are dropping good stuff. Oops. <laughs> True enough, but most of the houses that small are like double or two story, and the second story is like ten times the size of the first story because of. Physics. It's like this place, you know, the, the shop upstairs is, is puny. You go downstairs and it's like huge all of a sudden. I mean, sure, it does the basement, so it could be, it could easily like reach out bigger than the house, but that'd be kind of strange. Fine, we'll do one more day work. Come on, weapon. Thank you. 
wonder if the, uh, if, if them selling an item or whatever is predetermined, like, as soon as they come up to you. Like, I wonder if, let's say, you made a save state. Like, obviously, I, I won't be doing that. But if you made a save state before you say yes when they're saying to sell an item, if they'd always sell you the same thing, or if it's just randomized at that point. So I'm gonna try out. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure this game's probably been tasked, so... <laughs> One of the tasks of this game is, it's probably like super, super low. Nobody's going to sell things. Go buying things. I hate days like this. Did this just for a reason. I wanted to get a super awesome mega sword. But right now we're not really having problems killing anything, so. But I want to go get that uh, silver statue, and I imagine that's probably got some like tough monsters. See the other king. Give him his letter of proclamation. <laughs> is there an item shop in this town? Yeah, there is. It's by a wing of wyvern, just so we don't have to walk back to the damn place. Killed the guard, yes. I guess I gotta read it to him. Dylan reads the royal scroll. Dear friend, King of Bonmalo, please listen to what I must say. It appears my daughter Mia and your son Reed are in love. They don't have to marry now, but I do look forward to their marriage. The King of Endor. Oh, is that so? If my son Reed marries the Princess of Endor, he'll be the next King of Endor. Won't have to invade Endor. I appreciate what you've done. I'll dispatch messenger right, messenger right away. You can go now. Hooray! Okay, buy the shop. <sighs> 
Loon, welcome back. You received the message from the King of Bon Malo. Thanks for your help. As promised, I give you permission to own a shop. Hooray! Nope. Not much be like a hundred thousand gold or something stupid. But that dude did say he'll give us anything, he'll pay any cost for that silver statue, so... I'm sure we're gonna be forced to go get that. It's probably gonna be like a super massive price. I can almost afford that. Oh, not almost. No! 35,000 gold, eh? I mean, we have what? <laughs> Nowhere near that right now? Yeah, 35,000. That's gonna be... Statue time. Alright, let's see then. We'll go find out that cave. It's north somewhere. I know, right? I'm sure he's trying to ask a little more than the normal. These monsters are tough. He's got, he's got to afford, uh, you know, years of uh, giving tips for people to, to push him over to the healer's house, so... All you're doing that is racking up 35,000 gold, that way he can do it forever. <laughs> Cost of living in, in Endor is pretty expensive, you gotta get a treehouse and everything. I'd say talun has got pretty high agility or something, because stuff misses him a lot. Which is good, because he doesn't have much health. Is that the key, or is there something else up here? And we do have pretty good armor, mind you. And the best armor I can pick up at this point. Oops. No. <laughs> One shot that guy. Meant to attack the duck bill there, but. Well, that sap really hurt us. <laughs> Sorry, Pupper's going nuts here. Alright, now which cave was it? This one or the other one? Things poison. Oh man. <laughs> Can't handle two healers. Jeez, how the hell am I supposed to kill that group? Get a medicinal herb. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I see what's in this cave. Did I go here with the princess? No, never been here. Begin digging cave to uh, go to an eastern port town, owning a ship and retrieving all the treasures in the world. But I ran out of money and I'm getting old too. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so I'm thinking the goal is to make the shop, and then eventually make enough money to pay this guy to be able to dig across, and that's probably the. And then we'll get we need even more money from there to. Do something else. <laughs> right, this guy. This stuff is kind of getting hard, so you need to hire some of those guys at the uh, at the inn. Wait, 
kill the other guy with 14 damage attack, and I can't kill this guy with 15. It's just bullshit. This will take a while. Just to get a lucky first attack, it's pretty much the only way. That's probably a really bad idea going in here. You can barely handle the stuff outside. Up inside is going to be nasty as hell. Yep. Run away! <laughs> so we can get that statue without killing anything. Yeah, we build her. Is it Elf, Elf Rover? Elf Rover? At least their uh, dodging is insanely good. Experience? Hmm. Let's see we mopping up that water. I think it's just our, our armor. We just have really damn good armor. These things, like, if they even do hit me, they hit me for one damage. Adds up, but... <laughs> Is there a ship in here? Random thing to have a ship. <laughs> Man, armor is way too good. Dragon Warrior 4 uh, came out in North America. Dragon Warrior 5, 5 and 6 didn't come out in uh, North America until the, uh, the DS uh, remakes. But uh, 1 through 4 were all released on NES in North America. Well, I guess there was no Dragon... There never was a Dragon Warrior... Uh, five and six. I guess there were releases Dragon Quest when they came out, so... <laughs> just like, fell down a hole with a ship and the ship is still intact. We don't need other party members. Talon, Talon is like um, is invulnerable. It's awesome armor. Give that piece of crap club. All right, so I probably have to find a hole that falls on top of that thing. Light throw things can cast spells. I'm sure that goes through my damn or my uh, armor. So let's concentrate on anything that uh, can cast spells. Has Elif Rover ever done any damage to me? I don't think I've seen him ever hit me once. Oh. 
see, that can hurt. <laughs> Crap. Well, we just died. <laughs> well, sorry, we don't lose any money because of the, uh... The safe, right? Does the safe get... No, the safe doesn't get destroyed. So it's unlimited use, yay! <laughs> I guess this game really, like, this this uh, chapter really wants you to make money, so... <laughs> making you die and lose half your money would kind of go against that. That would really suck, especially if you're trying to save up like thirty-five thousand and you lose half of that. Like, holy crap! That would that would just that would just wreck your shit. <laughs> yeah, killed to a uh, a metal slime of all things, right? <laughs> that's like that's like the worst thing to die to. No, uh, this this game is uh, totally separate from the uh, from the previous three. The previous three are part of a trilogy, um, and this one here is like completely different world, different people. Uh, it's, it's a completely separate game. I, from what I understand, uh, I've never played them, but I think five and six are kind of part of this game as well. Like there's they're kind of part of the same world as well. Could be wrong on that. But the, the first three games are definitely tied together. Like the second is a uh, sequel of the first, and the third is a prequel of the, of the first, so... Yeah, with the Blaze spell. I, I totally forgot that they could cast Blaze, so... <laughs> Grammy Nazis are gonna come for yourself. Thousand gold, only uh, three thirty thousand to go, and that guy must hopefully gives us a lot of money for that silver statue. I'm sure it's designed to give you like, you know, plenty of money. Because I can't see any other way of making that much money. Like selling armor. Holy crap! Oh, that's right. That guy uh, casted. Sapped and <laughs> Our armor gets lower, then we become puny and we become like as weak as a child here. Uh, use this medicinal herb already. <clears throat> Chicken! That reminds me, I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna grab uh, something real quick after this. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in a minute, it's gonna go pop something in the microwave and can I get hungry? <laughs> something my stomach just grumbled as soon as that chicken showed up, no no uh, lie there. It's like yeah. Alright, I'll be back in like one minute and I'll be pop something in there. Right back.
for a minute. <laughs> Pop the microwave, let it cool down a bit, and we'll pick it up. Alright. Yeah, the guy kind of sap is not Got to prioritize those duck bills because sap is nasty. Where's this cave? I can't get a treasure chest. So you're not trying hard enough. Is there anything above there? Nope. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be holes above us that let us fall. <laughs> Good try, guys. Good try. Stop spell on my non-caster. Smart fly. See that fly has a lot of help though. Or rather it seems to have a lot of armor. It'd be really nice to have a really good weapon right now, like, I don't know, some sword of some kind. Set my timer. When I go get the food, I'll just leave it running. I should kind of even it out. Water, so there's got to be some something that'll create holes, which make all the water fall in, in the bottom, and then we'll probably be able to use the boat to go to those chests and everything. And I'll probably end up drowning that dude that's down, that's down there as well. Just the bonus. Grab the food, I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Uh, I got a full inventory, don't I? Hmm. Oh, we'll see what's in there. Morning Star. Mother hmm. Is that better than what we're using? No, it's unequivocal. Alright, I'm gonna mute the mic for a bit while I nom nom. <laughs> Yeah, if only it was that easy finding 35,000 gold. Find a lot of stuff though, I'll probably have to run back to town and uh, <coughs> sell this stuff. I don't want to go too far, like too much deeper. I mean, all this, all these weapons that are probably worth decent money here. What the hell? <laughs> Couldn't read what the hell that said, but somehow the bat just disappeared. Killed himself somehow, I don't know. <coughs> We have an absolutely full inventory here. So let's go back to town and sell this crap. <clears throat> Especially since monsters seem to drop a lot of chests in this uh, in this chapter. Chests with some decent gear in it. Nice money-wise.
Actually, I didn't, didn't check if I could equip those spears. I'm not sure if those are better than the, uh... I think, I think those are better than the, uh, chain whip. Damn it. Ah. <clears throat> no. It's better. Upgrade. Since we can't find a damn sort of malice anymore, we'll go wear whatever the hell we can. Nice. It's kind of handy, actually. It saves me from going all the way back down. Thanks, random merchant. I don't know what the hell you're doing in a poison swamp, but hey, whatever. Some herbs. Whatever. Let's go back to the other town now. <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> I was originally gonna go to town and rest and pick up herbs, but I didn't even think about buying herbs off that dude. Whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's, let's not fight this guy. Blaze Ghost is nasty. Fair enough, fair enough. But see, we were not carrying an inventory full of stuff to sell. Wait, what did, yeah, we just <laughs> sold our entire inventory. Never mind. <laughs> I'll just shut up now. We got the best armor we can buy. Which is why repair is invulnerable. Oh, weapons. <clears throat> Let's buy two of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Where is the weapon shop in this town again? Right now we're using Iron Spear, we can't use this. I'm using Abacus of Virtue. I'd say we can't use it, so I'm assuming. I mean, he is a merchant, right? So an Abacus would be good for a merchant. I don't know how the hell you'd use it as a weapon, mind you. It's better than Iron Spear. Apparently, apparently that's the same thing for a lot of people. It's different, that's the thing. It, it, it's definitely... You know, the whole, like, selling thing and, you know, kind of making money to, to buy a shop. It's definitely different than the standard kind of go around and try to kill the big baddie type thing. Which was just a refreshing change, right? So I think a lot of people would agree with you. Just, just it being that different is, is cool. Yeah, it would be nice, right? You just stuff your items in there. <clears throat> be nice to have like some sort of uh, magic bag or something that can store more than eight items. Yeah, I, <laughs> the worst thing is the first day I, I was at the shop, the, the first person came in tried to sell me a sword of malice. I was like, uh, I wasn't sure if, if you know, prices and that fluctuated. I didn't, I didn't even know. That that it was a rare item, so I said no to them. I know, stupid thing, right? And then, uh, <clears throat> later the same day, somebody sold the uh, Sword of Malice. I figured, okay, well, it's not that rare. I mean, two people on the same day sold it to me. Or tried to sell it to me. So then, uh, later on, like, I, I... Just for the hell of it, I, I tried to upsell it. You know, like, 
you know, when somebody says, you know, oh, it's this price, I said no, and then they gave you a higher price, and I said yes, and, and they bought it. <laughs> and since then, like, I tried getting another Sword of Malice, and I tried, I don't know, ten days worth of things, I just gave up, I was like, screw this, I'm never gonna see a Sword of Malice again. So that, <clears throat> so I kind of screwed myself over there, I didn't realize how rare they were, and I got really damn lucky during the first day, apparently. So that kind of sucked. <laughs> Otherwise, I could have bought, could have had a, like, I'm assuming the best weapon you can probably get during this chapter. Unfortunately, just kind of shot myself in the foot there. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm still doing pretty good. <laughs> True enough, but it's always nice getting the best weapon you can get. It's more of a slap in the face that <laughs> I lost out on it. I mean, I'm pretty much, I'm not invulnerable with the armor I have right now, so... Unless something casts magic, uh, anything that, that does regular attacks right now does nothing to me. I know it's sad because I'm seeing the one-shotting everything in this dungeon, which is nice. <coughs> I wonder what I'm gonna give up. Mm, no. Goddamn clubs. Alright, I got that treasure. Thing up here. Sandmaster. He sounds so badass for a little earthworm. Duckbill for can sap me. Cause then they can kick my ass. They have no armor. <clears throat> Holy treasure chests. I don't know why things are dropping so many treasure chests in this chapter. I'm not sure because it's, it's you know the merchant chapter or it's just does he have like really high luck or something? Like I don't know why. <laughs> There's so many treasure drops. It's like a seven. It was definitely not luck, so it's gotta be just because of the uh <laughs> It's because of the this chapter. Wizardry hype. Yeah. Not for a while, thank god. <clears throat> not for a long while. Yeah. Don't poison us. We don't have an antidote herb. Good. No poison. Thanks for the fall area for brains. Yeah, the fancy stars, uh, sandworms are nasty. Yeah, I wish I could just use the herb. Like, you find an herb, what do you want to do with it? Use it. <laughs> Why am I throwing away without using it? Just top up my health. But no. What is there? What are you doing? Get, get, get away from my treasure chest. Tough question, right? Wizardry 4. Thank god that's not released in English on the console. <clears throat> People in North America were sensical. <laughs> they, they knew they didn't want that kind of crap on consoles. Uh, damn it! You stole my treasure. Give me my treasure back. A short while ago, water suddenly poured down from above. I almost drowned. Survived that ordeal and got to the treasure chest. Sorry. Where, where did you get the ship? That's what I'd like to know. You almost drowned. Was there just a ship that suddenly appeared beside you? Like apparently, it's the worst of the well, the wizard games in, in uh, wizard games in general are like really difficult, and Wizardry Four is apparently the worst of them. So <clears throat> it's like they're CRPGs. They're all kind of first person dungeon crawling kind of things. <clears throat> so. It's like a super difficult, uh, super difficult game out of like a super difficult series. So yeah, it's it's kind of one of the hardest games out there. 
God damn it, man. He stole all my treasure. I'm taking your ship. Damn it. I can't take a ship. <laughs> Stole all the treasure, didn't he? <clears throat> exactly. They were fine keeping it on the PC and didn't want it on their own on their own consoles. They knew that people like me would be doing this kind of like <clears throat> RPG quest in the future and didn't want to give me any more ag aggravation than what I already have. <clears throat> Wizardries, yeah. But sore. That's worth a lot of money. I don't need two medical. inventory system is really annoying in this game. It'd almost be a good idea just to have one of the uh, one of the characters you can hire, assuming that you can fill up their inventory with stuff. If, if you could uh, bring those characters over and you can actually use them as mules, <laughs> then it'd be worth it, but <clears throat> if you can't uh, equip their stuff, then or can't uh, put stuff in their inventory and Take it back out, then that'd be the worst thing possible. <clears throat> I wonder if there's gonna be a boss fight of any kind in this place. Dumbass bad, attacking yourself. Level up, level 10. That we get near the end because it seems like most kind of chapters end around level 15 ish. Well, I guess, you know, five levels is going to take a while to get, but. something. Wish you could, uh... Wish you could appraise things, like, when you're giving the option <laughs> of what to keep. <clears throat> it's like, give me, give me the prices of these first before I can uh, decide what I want to throw away. Uh, this kind of looks like we're heading towards a boss fight of some kind. It's definitely gonna be the, uh, the statue here, but is it guarded by something, I wonder? As long as the bus doesn't use magic, I'm fine. If he uses magic, I'm screwed. <clears throat> Although, really, worst case scenario, I just go back to town. It's not like I lose any gold or anything. Damn it. I got that treasure. No. I didn't use my herb before I uh, go up there. Silver statue. Although, really, if there is a boss, then I'm gonna say, like, if you can pick up the statue, even if there's a boss and he kills you, you keep the statue. You can go back to town faster. Let's hope the statue is worth like 35,000 gold. <laughs> Enough to buy the shop. Well, how much money do we have right now? Yeah, maybe it's gonna be worth like 25,000. 
the stuff I have in my inventory there, the, uh, the half-plate armor and the broadsword. It's probably worth about, it'll definitely bring me over uh, 10,000. So. As long as I don't have to grind money somewhere else. <laughs> I think. Get a critical hit. Not you. <laughs> talking to myself. Yeah, never lucky. At least we killed the one slime that we, you know, we need absolutely need to kill. You know, gotta have at least one slime kill for a Dragon Warrior game, or else it's just it just doesn't feel right. That's been done. Of course, I haven't found a metal babble yet. That's probably near like end game. <laughs> gotta kill at least one of those too. That's a lot harder. True enough. <clears throat> I mean, you, you. I probably like dropped like more than 600 gold worth of stuff. But that's assuming you can actually put stuff on them. Cause especially if they if they leave in five days, they just automatically like leave your group. And if so, what happens to the stuff that, that's left on them that, that you put on them, right? So it, it doesn't feel like doesn't feel like they they be able to carry stuff for you just because of that. I could just imagine your stuff just disappearing with them. That'd be kind of a slap in the face, you know what I mean? So, they probably make it so you, they can't carry things with uh, for you. place and sell the armor. Deal we can for the armor. <laughs> All right, so let's hope the statue has at least twenty five thousand gold. Otherwise, we're going to have to be grinding some money. Save first in case there's some sort of variance in terms of how much he offers, or some sort of haggling thing you have to do. Uh, 
was he hanging out again? It's in here, I think, right? <clears throat> Wait a minute, isn't that the silver statue in your hand? I'll pay 20,000, no, 25,000 gold pieces. No. That's 25,000 exactly on the dot. Alright, so now we have exactly 35,000 pretty much. We got an extra 1,000 gold left over. <clears throat> so the game pretty much designs it so that you have just enough money at that point. Thought of everything. I'm not sure if it's a coincidence, I just have just enough. But French worked out on like, perfectly there. Alright. Now if we have to grind, grind 60,000 gold, I don't know sure how fast it's going to be to get that money from the shop, but... You do! Alright, from now on you're the owner of this shop. Thus, Talun finally gets his own shop and calls for his family. How wonderful! This is our shop! It's the green dream come true! We'll work hard from now on! <laughs> we haven't been working hard from... from... like up to this point? Like... Like raising a kid. Don't don't put yourself down there, Neda. Let's work together to make this world the greatest world's greatest shop. I love you. Smack. Stop smacking him. I know he likes it, but come on. Yeah, I know, it's supposed to be a kiss. You tired already? It's still early, but do you want to sleep? No. Hey shop and you bring in the merchandise, okay? Can you speak to me over the counter, and I'll take the goods you bring in and put them up for sale, okay. So to go find things and then sell them. Yes. Iron save. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> Alright, so I gotta go find stuff. Well, that sucks. <clears throat> so, what do I just have to go around and... Punches plus ones. Alright, so where do we go to fight now? Like, we have to, like, just kill things until we get enough uh, items? Like, find clubs from these things. <laughs> hmm. What if I buy stuff at other shops? <laughs> That's probably not a good way of making money, I'm sure. Tell him the Telun shop is now open. I'll take all you sixty thousand. Here in the shop. I'm gonna take a big order from me. I want you to collect weapons and armor for my soldiers and deliver them to the people downstairs. For seven broadswords, seven suits of happily. Oh man! <laughs> you know those things we just picked up and sold recently? Yeah. Seven broadswords and seven suits of half plate armor. It's gonna cost a lot of money. Those are what, like. It's like 3,000 gold a pair. Seven. broadsword. plus half plate armor. But no, no cash advance, no. No cash advance, cheap ass king. Mary <laughs> Reed, it's like a dream. When is your name? Is it not? Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Meh. I guess I gotta go grind stuff until so I got enough money to buy that, that stuff. <laughs> These guys 
guys even sell this stuff? 1200. <laughs> so I need, uh. Sorry. So I need. No plate armor. Thousand four hundred for that. Those broadswords are what, like fifteen or like two thousand almost. <laughs> Not kidding, right? <laughs> hey, where, where are broadswords sold? Magnificent treasures are in a cave with many terrible monsters up there. Charmies, good now. I went through that cave already. I guess I can return there, I mean, unless there's another cave somewhere else I can go to. Let's go this way, I guess. Oh, nothing here. <clears throat> I've only found two bronze swords so far. One thing I can think of is that we... We, we can sell, uh... Something sorry. I'm gonna give it some noble heart to save this world. Um... One thing I can think of is that... We, we gotta find those swords as drops. half plate armor we can buy. I'm trying to think if there was any shop that sold broad swords. Maybe the weapon shop in the other, uh, castle. Fast. Oh, it's always canter. You better go back. Oh, sorry, dog's going nuts. Well, I guess we're going back to that uh, dungeon. That's a <laughs> Unless I found any uh, anything worth anything, at least the monsters seem to drop decent gear. But it's gonna take a long time to get enough money or enough uh, equipment. We need 8,400 gold just to buy the half plate armor that the king wants. Unless maybe every time you 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 give them something, they'll give you some money. So if I if I deliver one, let's say they gave me 2,000 gold or something like that. Then I can buy another one, and so on and so forth. So, maybe I just need enough money to buy one. I'm gonna stop at the other place just to see if they sell, um... I don't remember if they sold weapons here. Like, um, broadswords, I should say. Only other thing I think of is that we have to have some stuff in our shop, and then our shop's gonna build money, and... And we buy and sell automatically while I'm gone. So, I thought, so, so if if we need to buy everything, we're gonna need. Uh, assuming we don't get any money until we can actually sell them, we're gonna need twenty-two thousand four hundred. I did the math right. So we need twenty-two thousand four hundred gold. So I'm hoping that our shop makes gold over time. But I'd probably have to bring some stock first, so... So let's go to that uh, cave and try to make some stock. There's an easier way. I don't know, it's gotta... Uh, I'm assuming through the shop, but... So we, we probably need stuff in the shop first.
<laughs> we got we got some clubs to sell now. Yeah, I've noticed slimes, like even in the starter area, there was some stuff that uh, dropped broadswords, but. I mean, I might as well grind experience as well, so. Best place is uh, to grind it up here. I forgot to drop off the. Uh... Wouldn't have in a club now. <laughs> Let's go drop those off in my shop before I go too far. <clears throat> I'm gonna start dropping things. Smart woman, just mark up everything. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I'm assuming the end of the chapter is probably like once you, uh, you get the 60,000 needed for the, uh... Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you, random healer. Gotcha. I don't know how much money it, like, generates. Like, I don't know. I'm assuming it's, like, a, a time thing. Like, you just have to go back there after, like, a day or something like that, and then... Because our inventory is just so limited. Once a day, yeah, makes sense. Inventory is just so limited. Now we can carry three things in our inventory, that's it. Well, this is a good place to run. I think we've, we've gone like. Are four pieces of armor and weapon plus the iron safe, so we can carry like a maximum of three things, which is total crap. You think if he'd be going out to get items, he'd he'd buy a mule or something, you know, like bring something that'll carry more stuff with you. money she brought in. So the broad sort of sound. Yes. I mean, if she can sell it for 3,000, then uh, right there, you know, I can just buy another one and then I still have a thousand gold left over. Stuff dies pretty quickly as it is, anyways, so it's not like uh, you need to kill them that much faster. 
Oh yeah, well, you would have to be because it would be impossible to carry, like, well, not impossible, but, <laughs> well, it would definitely be impossible to carry, like, 14 items, but even 7 items would be practically impossible. Because you wouldn't be able to carry any armor and that. But I figured, you know, might as well, if I can, if I can sell the sword for 3,000, I can buy another one for 2,000 and have a thousand gold uh, left over, so... It just depends on... Like, I, I, I don't know how long these items take to sell. So we'll leave those ones as a test for now. Oh yeah, I know that one. But... So I can buy one for 2,000, right? So if it sells for 3,000, in the end I'm, I'm still making a profit. It's not like I'm going to get another six broadswords in the next... Uh, you know, next couple minutes, so... So we'll see if it sells at all, see how long it takes to sell. Of course the problem is, yeah, if, I, if I'm in a dungeon, I'm getting good experience, but I'm not advancing time, so that's probably uh, actually a bad thing. So, yeah, I think the best bet is just to stay outside. Because time doesn't advance in dungeons, so... Kinda sucks. So it's kinda like, catch-22 there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, like, once I get enough money there, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Oh, there you go, I played armor. I just, I'm, I'm just wondering how long it takes her to sell things. That's that's what I'm wondering. Does it take her like a, you know, a couple of days? Does it depend on the item? But without time passing, I could probably just rest and then... Or if just resting will uh, advance time. I could do that. Just buy a whole bunch of stuff, put it in my shop. I'm assuming there's a, like, a limit. In terms of stuff you can you can sell in your shop, it's probably like eight items you can sell in your shop, and that's it. And you can't put another stuff up until it, you sell the stuff that's already in there. That's my guess. I don't want the club. <laughs> I should go to the casino and get a couple of meteorite armbands. <laughs> Sell those for like a massive amount. Go home, Daddy. Yes, I've been a good boy. I'm not that we work as hard as you and let you live in comfort. The kid doesn't change his, uh... Alright. Just want to see if anything sold at all yet. There we go. 57 gold pieces! We sold the uh, sold the the club that we had. So let's just so if we just rest here. Oops. Most likely, but uh, most of the stuff you can't sell anyways. Like the meteorite armband, I know you can't sell. So I don't know if you can put it in your shop, but either way, somebody mentioned before that the uh, the price of coins in this chapter is like 200 gold per coin, so... <laughs> it's basically designed so you can't really use the casino at this point. And it's like you, can, you can't trade your coins for gold anyways, so... Can 
I sell the lunch. So it definitely, so yeah, let's uh, just sell like, I mean, we can definitely sell stuff for more than they, they charge here in town, so this would be the best way here. And I'll just go buy a bunch afterwards, so let's buy a whole bunch of hat plate armor. We'll sell it for like a good quantity, we just have to like sleep a couple times and that'll uh, sell. And we can just, uh, we buy a bunch more and have enough money to buy everything. So let's buy all your half-plane armor. Great. And then just buy more expensive stuff. Iron armor. I don't know if we can have two of the same thing. I guess we'll find out. If all this fails, we're gonna... Oops. If all this fails, we can just uh, hold on to it till the first one sells. And... shop makes money, I don't know. I'll put the herb there so I can get it out of my inventory. <laughs> Seems like it's like two days it takes to sell all the stuff. Except the half plate armor didn't sell, but alright, let's just buy a whole bunch of understand anything you have in your inventory like stays over the next chapter or like chapter five anyways but it's not like you're gonna find anything rare in this chapter for, for the most part like I can't go any further from where I am so Do this couple days and we'll have enough money to buy uh, all the plate armor and uh, stuff we need. Most expensive thing. Is there anything, any weapons more expensive than the uh, that stuff? Oh, I got Abacus of Virtue. I'm sure we can sell that. Yeah, but that's a different thing, right? Because you're. It's not, it's not like. 
you're buying it, it's more like uh, just random enemies or any random uh, people can come to your shop and sell it. And it's predetermined. There's, there's only there's only like four things, four, three or four things that uh, they can sell you that you don't already have in your shop. There's a boomerang. There's a chain whip. There's um, the sword of malice, obviously, and I think there's one more thing. I don't remember what it was. That's it. I mean, so you can't get any any special items other than that, as far as I can tell, unless it's something that's ultra rare. More abacus, abacus, abacuses. One more abacus. We'll be rich, rich. So we're making 800 gold per abacus. I we're just like across the uh, across the road from this place, and we're gonna sell it for 800 gold more than they sell it. We've got a cuter shopkeeper, that's why. The waifu shopkeeper. Nothing better than that. just to make sure. Say yes and then cancel, I guess. Excuse me, sir. You mind getting out of the way? Sometime this entry, please. Come on, NPCs. Thank you. Fifteen thousand gold pieces. We're one quarter of the way there. <laughs> Sell everything or oops. Okay, we sold everything nice. <clears throat> Alright, so, so for fifteen thousand we need twenty-two thousand four hundred to buy all the stuff. We're now we're at fifteen thousand, so you know a couple of days of doing this and we'll have enough to buy all the all the stuff to uh Give the king's men. Although I want to have a little bit buffer too, just in case. Uh, I don't know how much he's going to give us to do that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, the, at least the uh, abacus I have. I can buy like unlimited abac abacuses. Oops. I mean, all the stuff I have on myself I can buy in town anyways, right? Iron shield. Yeah, I don't, ha I don't have anything that I didn't pick up in town, so I could sell everything. I might as well just sell the abacus. Abacus is the best, uh, the best thing to sell. So make 800 gold per. I'm assuming I can, I can sell eight things at once. So 
Uh, wait, how much stuff do we have? Yeah, so we have four now, so let's buy another four. I'm assuming that's the most I can have in my shop at once is eight things. Which means I'm gonna make, uh... 16, uh... Do I want to make 16,000? If I sell eight of those, 800 each. No, six. No, 60. Yeah, I'll make 6,400 gold by selling eight of these, which is pretty good. 6,400 gold for free, <laughs> just for, for moving stuff across uh, the road. It's pretty good. It seems like it's not exact anyways, like... Because this... It's nice even numbers, right? 2400. So right now I have... Uh, let's figure this out here. So if she sold everything for 2400... I should make uh, 19,200 gold, right? Buy low, sell high, yeah, exactly. So we'll see how much money we make, see if we make more or less than 1900, uh, 200, 19,200. Yeah, see, uh, I, I made an extra like 4,000 gold on top of what I should have made. So, she's, she's, not only is she selling it for like a lot more than across the road, she's selling it even on top of that. She's like investing money on the side or something. So now we definitely have enough money to buy, uh, all that. <laughs> and some money left over to buy like my abacus again. Sell this lunch. Alright, so let's buy an abacus. Okay, so we need to get seven broadswords and seven half plate armor. Don't ask questions. That's that's the uh, <clears throat> it's the rule of like any happy marriage. Just don't ask questions. <laughs> All right, so I gotta give. Seven of these, so uh, let's make a couple trips here, obviously. The only one's gonna be the broadsword, and you have to run back and forth into the other town. Should just dump my, I should dump all my equipment uh, at the sh at my shop there, so I have more room to uh, bring everything uh, back and forth. Just talk to this king's upstairs, how do I... 
I use it? I have to give it to the king. I have to give it to the people downstairs, but... Deliver them to the, to the people downstairs. Or maybe it's just those two at the, uh... Two at the counter. Go the order and you'll be paid 60,000. There we go. You can buy them in other towns if you want. Do your best. Three suits of hot plate armor. So we'll definitely have enough money after this. My only downside is this, Talun's going to be a little under-leveled compared to the rest of the people in Chapter 15. But that probably means he's going to get experience faster anyways. Running back and forth naked. Who just bought that abacus? So I have to get seven broadswords, which means I'm gonna have to. I can use a, a wyvern's ring to get there, but to walk back, unless I want to make two trips, I'll have to. Uh, Walk back with like nothing but but those swords and a uh, an iron uh, iron safe in my inventory. Yep. I'm gonna take the greedy way and just walking back. <laughs> it's easy to make two trips with the wyvern wings, but screw that. We're making one trip. Oops. Well, that's true, yeah. You don't lose money anyways, so... Well, I mean, I have no armor right now, so <laughs> anything's gonna kind of hit me hard with absolutely no armor. You just have to aim at a specific spot and that'll do critical damage. <laughs> trying to sap armor. I don't have any armor to sap. You probably just sap my like, natural defense and that was it. So 
four suits of armor and we're done. Yeah, they're pretty close. <laughs> Don't think that was like keeping them apart was a broken bridge anyway, so I should make some extra money too for the. Because uh, I'm assuming money carries over, so probably a good idea to make some extra money before I finish the chapter. I'm assuming the chapter finishes when I give the other guy 60,000 gold, so I should really make as much money as I can. So I don't know in chapter 5 it's gonna be, if it's going to be easy to make money or not. I don't know if you can keep doing the same thing with the, uh, the shop or what. 60,000 gold. Obviously broadswords would be the best way to make money, so I can always just warp over there, bring a bunch of broadswords, sell that. How many Swords of Malice did you have? <laughs> did you duplicate them somehow? Or did you get really lucky with, uh, <laughs> with people that, that were selling you swords? I'm going to be doing with broadswords because that's broadswords seems to be the best thing I can buy at this point. Well, that's right. Well, I guess, I guess yeah. I guess once you sell, like once the other uh, merchant sells and swords of malice, uh, he doesn't like you, you can't buy out his stock. I guess only if uh, somebody else buys it, right? So yeah, the swords of malice would sell for what three thousand five hundred. So that'd definitely be the best way to making money. Unfortunately, I don't have that option. Unless I go keep grinding until I get some Swords of Malice. Which might be worth it, really, because Iron Sword, or Broadsword sell for 2,000, so it's almost double the cost, so... Sixty-four, sixty-four. I wonder if we can still go back to the other shop. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. I'm tempted now just to grind until I get the Sword of Malice. Because that, that would be like... Yeah, that's like double... That'd be the, definitely the most expensive thing you'd buy at this point. I mean, Broadsword right now is 2,000. That seems to be the most expensive thing I can buy. The Sword of Malice would be double that cost, so... Let's, let's try a couple days worth of... Assuming I can still do the... Uh, Quest. We still do the mini game. So we'll find out very shortly. It's like you own your own shop and you're coming to work for me. All right. What's up, boss? Back to work. Waiting for you. How <laughs> I many days has been waiting for? We've been gone for like a month. He's like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> been waiting for you. <sighs> Oops. Come on, lucky sword of malice. 
Yes! <laughs> wow, that was lucky. That is lucky. Like, holy crap. I quit! <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Let's go save, because holy crap. <laughs> I know, right? Oops. I can't believe I... Man, I, I think I do use up like every other, every little ingot of luck there on that. First person to come and, s and sell something, boom, sort of malice. Anyway, I've had some pretty good luck in some of these. Like two swords of malice on the first day of this. Uh, I got lucky in, in, uh, in the casino, uh... And lots of, lots and lots of luck in this game. Alright, let's buy a whole bunch of Swords of Malice. Malice-i. We'll leave at least one room for Wings of Wyvern, because... I'm not walking back from here. <laughs> Who sells the wings? This guy? Oops, I guess I gotta wait till the next day anyways. Bye! My home is like deserted now. I wonder if I can still sleep up here. Yeah, I guess that's one way of making... but I mean... <laughs> once you kind of realize that, you know, you can just buy and sell stuff and make a huge profit, I mean... Why would you do anything else, right? The only problem is, like I said, I'm sure my character is pretty pretty underleveled for the... Uh, for the area now. Like, for... for I mean, compared to my other characters, there were like... You know, 12 to 15. This guy's like level 10, so he's a little underleveled, but... That probably means he's going to... Uh, level up uh, faster once everything gets joined together. Unless they all kind of get put down to a certain level. <laughs> lots and lots of gold! Yeah, this is my summer house. <laughs> I'm rich! i surprised there's no maids in there just cleaning the place up. I don't know how that shopkeeper got like a million swords of malice. He must have like an illegal duplication uh, machine down there. Nice. That's a good chunk of money. Well, that too, but I'm gonna get a bunch of gold and do that. Because <laughs> I'm sure the armor I, I can buy right now, and I, when I join, when chapter 5 starts, you can buy, buy a lot better stuff than what I can possibly buy uh, right now, so... so uh, for some reason I doubt you can buy Swords Mouse from that shop once chapter 5 starts.
let's make ourselves like a hundred thousand gold, which shouldn't take long. And then, uh, a hundred thousand gold on top of what we had. Yeah, that's what I figured. Be able to buy all the best stuff. <laughs> I'll be super rich. Gold. So we made fifteen thousand gold from that. <laughs> Not bad. More should coins cost in the casino. <laughs> Casino's not back. Boo. I guess it makes sense. You don't want to have the casino open when you can make like practically unlimited money. That'd be a little too OP there. You can just buy like metal babble shields for everybody. Although, you know, if it, half a million uh, gold would still take a while to crew. Let's hope that was on Wizardry 6. Imagine I just <laughs> a bunch of uh, hostile female natives just kind of showed up in your house. <laughs> That'd be an interesting day. Dear Diary, you won't believe what happened today. So I'm going to do this until I have like 100,000 gold in total, so I'll be 40,000 40, gold extra once I, you know, end the chapter. I'm not going to go forever here, it should take like you know, another like three days maybe, and then I'll have enough, to, uh, a pretty good buffer anyways. <laughs> I can see that. Wait until they release the HD version. <laughs> the VR version. <laughs> Wizardry VR. Now with more jiggle than ever. Always listening. It's, it's always listening and judging you. I can just imagine some weird stuff that would just get spoken out and something is like searching. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. That's pretty much the the rule is that as as long as it's not focused on like 
you know, sex, nudity, that kind of thing. If, it, if it's in the game, it's okay. It's like, but you, you can't spend extra time than what, you know, should be doing that. For example, let's, let's say God of War. Uh, you know, God of War obviously has sex scenes, uh, which you can't avoid because that's part of the, you know, story, right? But if you if you spend time there doing the quick time events over and over, that would be kind of, you know, something you can ban for, but... You know, just doing what you need to do to to get to go there and move on. That's fine. Obviously, there's some banned games, but yeah, for, for any games that have like adult content like that, it's it's, it's okay as long as it's, it's you don't focus on it. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, basically any games that are AO is definitely not allowed, uh, and any games that are obviously on their ban list not allowed. Basically, if you think of it, uh, if if you if you have to question if this game is 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 like a <laughs> is a bannable game, like if there's any sort of like rape or any sort of like uh, you know any sort of like very kind of each content, you know. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much not going to be able to be done. But any sort of just, just because there's nudity in there, there's no problem. As long as it's not the focus of the game in any way. I'm wondering about stuff like, let's say, because I, I know there's, uh, let's say there's some graphical tech, or not graphical, but like text adventure games, like, was it like Soft Porn Adventure, I think, is, is one of them, where there's there's not really any graphics per se, but it's it's kind of like a, you know, it's like Zork, right? But obviously there's sexual content in the in the context. I wonder if that would be allowed on Twitch, you know, there's no actual, obviously the, the game itself is, is an adult game, but... There's no graphics. You're just reading. So I don't know if that would be allowed on Twitch. That'd be kind of like, hmm, something you'd have to ask Twitch about. But I'm imagining not, just because you know <laughs> the name of the game, right? But who knows? Yeah, it's like stuff like that is, is, is questionable. I mean, if the text itself is, is kind of triple X, but the, there's no graphics, you know, that's it's it's definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm sure people have streamed it. Whether Twitch would actually allow it, you know, I mean, they might not. You know, if, there, if there's no complaints about it, they might not ban anybody for it. But it's definitely kind of borderline. You know what I mean? No, exactly. <laughs> It'd be kind of a boring stream. Here, people, read text. You know. But that's just one of those, like, kind of makes you wonder kind of questions. Okay, so it's definitely not... I thought it was going to be like a limit of eight things, but 
It's obviously not, because I can keep giving her stuff. There's gotta be a, like an upper limit of some kind. Sixteen things. And keep buying swords until I, I, I reach the cap. <laughs> well, a game like Soft Porn Adventures, right there, that would, that would people would just click on that because hey, look at the name, right? And they would get young kids be like sorely disappointed. It's just text. <laughs> Because, you know, there's nowhere else on the internet to get <laughs> porn, right? If you're coming to Twitch to, to see porn, then uh, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> That's the way I see it. Three or four pages? Oh, might as well keep going until we're out of money. I mean, we're gonna be out of money soon enough anyways. Only got like 43,000 gold. I can do like two more trips probably and that should that's probably as much as I can do. I know, right? <laughs> they couldn't program an extra like an extra slot of inventory, you know, that they can do at the shop and everywhere else. Damn programmers. Yeah, it wouldn't be so bad if if you didn't have to share your inventory with your armor. That's the worst part, like, your, your equipped stuff takes up, like, half of your inventory, because if you have all four slots equipped, that's half your inventory, and that's not counting stuff like meteorite armbands that can be equipped on top of the stuff that you have equipped. Or stuff like the, uh, the iron safe, which might as well be, like, an equipped item, right? So, <laughs> it's kind of a slap in the face that you're, you're basically, if your character is equipped with gear, which, you know, most characters are, uh, you're going to have four slots of inventory left over for everything else. At the most. That's, that's just wrong. The only thing I can think of is it has to do with the with the save system, right? I mean, at, at this point, I mean, NES cards, like memory in NES cards is still expensive, right? So. So having more storage space for for like the characters. Let's say you have four characters and each have eight uh, pieces of inventory. Um, and then I'm not sure how many items there are in the game, but let's say there is uh, 256 items, right, in total. Probably less than that. It's probably like 64 items. It's not like you have plus one or whatever. So so you need. Uh, Six bits, sixty-four. Oops. I'm sorry. Yeah, so it'd be, so it'd be six. So you'd, six bits for sixty-four items. It's probably more than that. Let's just say you got 256 items. You have 8 bits, and then just just for 4 characters, you have to have like 256 bits, right? Uh, just to have your, your character's uh, equipment. So. so it's probably just like a very limited storage space. So that's the only way I can see it. But I mean, this is this is one of like, the latest games on the NES, so you, know, you would think at this point... It'd be, but then you're, it's probably limited to the NES itself, not necessarily the, the cost of memory. It's probably limited to what the NES can access in terms of like uh, battery storage or whatever. So, yep. So I can imagine too, like when you reach chapter five, I mean, you, you, 
Like, I'm thinking, okay, four characters, yeah, but then chapter five, all your characters get together. Like, I don't know how many characters there is in total. So far, there is, there was, what, two on the, in chapter one, there was three in chapter two, and there's one in chapter three, uh, and then there's at least two more in chapter four, in chapter four. So you're, you basically have a total of, uh, of eight characters. Well, yeah, I mean, they're carts, right? <laughs> until, uh, until stuff started coming out on CDs, that's, that's when the price of releasing these games became, like, super cheap. I mean, you still, you still have the cost of actually making the game, but in terms of, uh, of, of mass producing it, it was a hell of a lot cheaper on the, uh, the PlayStation era than it was on, like, the NES and SNES. You, you can make a CD for, like, five cents. <laughs> Well, probably more expensive back then, but I mean, you know, for probably like 10 15 cents, you can make a CD while it would cost you like, you know, five, six dollars maybe to make a, a, a cart. So. Of course, those numbers just pull out of my ass, so. <laughs> I don't know what the actual cost, but I'm sure it's, a, it's a significantly more expensive to make a cart than a CD, so... And nowadays it's next to nothing because everything's released digitally, so zero dollars to, to make a digital copy of a game. Nah, it's never, never going to be the case. There's no way you're going to... I mean, if you look at the actual manufacturing system, maybe, but even like, even then, like, uh, it, it would never be the case where you're gonna it's gonna cost you more to make a disc than it is gonna to to make you uh, to make you a cart. I mean, sure, you can, the prices of carts have definitely gone down, but it's definitely never gonna surpass or like be lower than the cost of a of an optical media. There's just no way. I mean, optical media is is much cheaper to make in every way you look at it. But there's going to be a point where, obviously, the optical media, like right now, Blu-ray is about as, as packed and tight as they can get it. So, you know, if you want more storage space than that, you pretty much have to go to a, to a, a cart style, some sort of flash memory or something. And like I said, it's basically getting to a point where they're getting closer. Like right now, you know, to make a to make a let's say a game on, uh, like on a 3DS or on like a, a, ch a card, I, sh I should say, on, on 3DS or the Switch or the Vita or something like that, probably costs under a dollar. Most likely, a CD probably still costs like a, a Blu-ray probably still costs like you know at the most maybe you know, 25 cents to make. So it's definitely getting cheaper, but it's still significantly like more expensive to make a uh, a cart. So there's a lot more stuff involved in making a cart than to make an optical disc. Again, numbers are completely out of my ass, so I'm sure somebody can look up the actual cost. But I'm, I, I'd be extremely surprised if, uh, like, extremely surprised if it's uh, cheaper to have like a flash cart or flash disc of some kind versus a uh, optical media. I know, right? Oops, shoot, went to the wrong place. Like, we're, all we're doing is buying, like, his entire... the, the world's entire stock of, uh, Stores of Malices, who just... just happens to have laying around. I'd like to see his basement, see how much crap he has down there, my god. He's got, like, have a million Swords of Malices down there.
Alright, so that should be our last load here. Let's see how much money we make for this. So we started off with what, like 85,000 or something like that? Not only that, he has like a he has some sort of duplicator down there. It just makes a million copies of this sort of malice that he's that he picked up. I'd like to know where he got that. Well, I mean, obviously when CDs first came out, there was significantly more storage space on a CD than like any carts, at least. I mean, you could probably make carts as big as CDs, but they would have been extremely expensive. Nowadays, I mean, carts have gotten big enough that you can you can store like CDs worth of in or DVDs worth of information on them. But even then, like uh, you know, a, a Blu-ray now can hold what 25 gigs uh, of storage space. To get like a you know a memory card that holds that much, it's still kind of expensive. But yeah, you can definitely. I mean, you can, you can have a memory card now that has like 64 gigs without a problem. Something that that is like nothing like that, and you can't get an optical storage anymore that houses that much. So when you get to the point where it's just not feasible to to have games on optical media, uh, then memory card is really the only option if you're going to be releasing any anything physically. And if you're not releasing physically, then that's be one hell of a download. Yeah, and it probably costs like five bucks to manufacture if that, not even. But even then, I mean, compare that to the cost of making a Blu-ray disc, yeah. <laughs> Still much cheaper to do a Blu-ray. And the problem too is, I mean, you have to make something that's going to, it's going to last, right? I mean, is is any sort of like well, obviously most most games that wouldn't be running on like they wouldn't be throwing it on flash memory, you know, they'd be uh, storing it on some sort of non-volatile memory, so it won't like break down as, as fast like a, a uh, flash memory card would. But it's still volatile, like it's still kind of degrade over time. So what degrades faster, like kind of any sort of like memory-based thing like that, memory chip-based thing, or a CD? Or Blu-ray, you know, like Blu-ray is obviously susceptible to scratching, but you know, chips can be susceptible to things like you know, like mass strong magnets pass over them, that kind of thing. So there's there's definitely 146,000. Oh, I think we made some money. All right, so that should be enough here. Let's go fill up our inventory with uh, sort of malices and then get going. Did our money cap out? Or did we actually... Aw oh, man, our money capped out, really? Thanks, game. We made $146,000. No, we didn't. Well, we made $999,999. Ah, that sucks. Oh, whatever. So I guess the most you can... <laughs> ah, had I known, I wouldn't have gone all the way for that. Ah, well. Hindsight 2020 and all that.
Yeah, like I've, I've already turned in like the the stuff. I just have to go. Uh, I didn't realize the money you capped out in nine 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 nine. So I'll have to go give that guy his sixty thousand gold, and then uh, I'll just fill up my inventory of swords here. I did say I wanted a hundred thousand golds. So <laughs> I got my hundred thousand. Oops, wait, not in that club. No, 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 no. Let's just get rid of these clubs. Yep. <laughs> I was looking at chat and I'm like, all of a sudden I see clubs, like, what? So the, uh, doesn't store the last, uh, cursor location. Yeah, but in that game you couldn't easily hit the, the <laughs> money cap. This game, on the other hand, extremely easy to hit the money cap. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hold on to these swords of malices. Problem is, I'm gonna be like losing 60 60k gold by turning this stuff in. But I don't know if the I don't know if the chapter ends as soon as you give them the 60,000 gold, or if you actually have a chance to to do some more stuff. In which case, I might just grind some more money to to get myself nine like 100,000 again. It's like instead of doing good. Don't worry too much about it. In digging cave to the eastern part of town, blah blah blah, and it's uh, I need forty sixty thousand. Here you go, enjoy. Dude, I've received sixty thousand gold pieces. I'll use this money to hire the people and start the excavation. Be sure it'll be finished. Alright, so... Cool, so it doesn't end right away, so... And... Had I stayed before that, I would just... Well, I would still... I wouldn't have had enough money to pay him anyways, so... Either way, I was kind of like... <laughs> screwed, but... Uh, well, I'll do a little bit of... A couple more runs there and try to get... My money pretty high before I uh, end the chapter. I'm assuming I, you have to wait a couple days worth uh, of time before he I can go visit him, and then it's gonna be done. I never played Dragon Quest V. I never played any of the DS ones yet, so and of course I never played the uh, fan translated one either. Nice. All the swords, all of them. I can make a couple trips. Right, when did I sell mine? Really? 
Ripoff Simulator 1992. Yeah, any of those kind of D&D uh, based games, Turn Undead is pretty OP. <laughs> Course, undead creatures are fairly uncommon, but generally they're pretty good. Oops. No, 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 no. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have been able to buy uh, six swords anyways, so... There we go. All our life savings gone. That's right, I forgot that. Yeah, you don't uh, get experience when you use that wizardry. This wiz wizardry sucks, that's why. <laughs> Five hundred twenty-five gold pieces. <laughs> also, this one for five thousand two hundred fifty gold pieces. Like ten percent of the cost. <laughs> ten percent of the uh, the money. All right, this should be enough of a buffer after uh, this here, and then go fill up our inventory, sort of analysis, and then. Assuming once we go see the guy, the chapter ends. Hopefully. <laughs> she finds some strange ways of making, uh, of selling these things for, like, really high prices. I don't know how she does it, but... I don't want to know how she does it. Well, it's not getting smart, really. I mean, the, usually a, a spell that's just erratic, like, just instantly, like, destroys something, they want to make it so that, you know, it's not that easy. <laughs> like, if you think about it, how, how would you get experience from doing that? Like, you just you just pray to the gods, and suddenly the the undead are dead. Like, how would you get experience in like a real world, real, real life sense? Not like you're fighting these things and you know get getting stronger and getting you know knowing their weak points uh, better. You just <laughs> the, the gods smite them. Done. You know. <laughs> This is 6,000. Good enough. This damn lunch. This lunch is such an annoying thing. The good wife keep giving me lunch. I'm sorry, honey, I didn't mean that. No. Oh, fairy water. Arr, arr, arr. Damn fairy water. 
whoever uses that stuff. Lasts for what, like, ten steps? <laughs> Metal slime. She's trying to poison me with mercury poisoning. It's full of rat poison. She wants to get the uh, life insurance. Full inventory of sword analysis. I've got 50,000 gold. That should be enough. I'm good like that. Let's save and get the hell out of here. So the next chapter is what, like, a pair of sisters, if I remember correctly from the manual? <laughs> Damn it, item merchant. No. Go away, item merchant. Digging, digging, digging. Not done yet. See, a casino and Endor reopened. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the casino. Look, sorry, that's me again. It's done. I'll send a message to your house. Okay. So we just have to keep resting at the house until the message is sent. The casino opened. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna be doing? Find out the casino because it's probably expensive as hell. It's a common thing with some other games, but I was definitely surprised the first time it happens. Like, what the hell? You got an item merchant just randomly popping up? What if I keep my uh, coins from? Oh well, I do keep my coins from the previous, uh, from the previous chapter. That's nice. <laughs> well. You know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> well, I just, yeah, I already saved before going over there, so... Alright! <laughs> Time to lose all this money. Queens. Boo. Pair of aces. Although we can get a flush. Ah, I'm gonna go for the flush draw. Probably more chance of getting that than another ace. Oh. <laughs> Nope. 
Well, the guy said he'll send a message to our house, right? So probably it's probably uh, a certain amount of time. Alright, two pairs. Alright, double or nothing. It's a bad start. Two pairs again. Come on, full house. Damn it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, where did these come from? Oh, come on, really? A tie with a two? <laughs> what are the odds of that? Wow, what are the odds of getting an ace uh, on a queen? Going all in with this one, man. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Oh no, not a bad idea. Mm, one more time. <laughs> Too greedy. <sighs> Joker. I wish I had the ace. Wow. Hmm. Come on, queen. Damn it. <laughs> Bush, come on. Damn it. Nothing good in this hand. Wow. <laughs> Went from nothing to two pairs. Yeah, but then uh, they'd have to combine the tokens. It's probably just easier just having it so that you can share the tokens. Wow. If I get 1600, I'll go. Damn it. Come on, 10. Damn it. <laughs> Never lucky. Come on, king and queen. <laughs> it's actually pretty close, but I didn't keep the ace there. I don't know, either way I wouldn't have had... <laughs> I spent all my luck on getting that, uh, the Sword of Malice on the second attempt there. <laughs> on the second, uh, character. So I have no luck left for the casino. There's nothing worth keeping. Yeah. Got a chance of getting a straight, but it's a pretty low chance of getting a straight. Go on flush. Damn it. All crap. Even worse crap. No, I think there was a card that was different. Oh, nice, full house. Come on. Double. That's a good card. Mm, double again. Double or nothing. That's a crappy card. Shit. <laughs> wow. That was lucky. That, I mean, still crappy... That's like the worst, the lowest you can get there, but... Yeah, some, some of the symbols look very similar in this game, so... Oh, come on, seriously? <laughs> it's the second time I've had it, I've, I've drawn a two with a three. Alright, well, let's just reload here, because... We, we lost, like, what, 2,000 tokens?
I'm gonna try the slots. I wonder how the slots probably have a pretty low chance of actually working. Well, I guess we have to go talk to the guy before the casino reopens. Let's go talk to him and come back. And be like, oh, the casino's back. What? <laughs> We just need to go. Probably have to actually see him, and then that kind of triggers the. Uh, and then maybe as soon as you rest, like the the, the thing will be done. <laughs> it's probably pretty much random, anyways. Each each turn. I'm sure there's no decks involved whatsoever in that uh, in that game. It's fun getting a Joker though, except when you get a Joker you usually have a crap for everything else, so... Wait, didn't he...? No, it was the other guys that said, uh... It's one of these two that said the casino was reopened. No, this isn't backtrack though, this is poker. Two totally different games, man. When I mean, you have like two cards to look at versus five cards to look at, it's... And you can't fuse multiple decks together in, in poker, you know what I mean? <laughs> you could just draw like, uh, you know, five aces, so... That would, that would be kind of, uh... <laughs> wouldn't work too well for poker, you know what I mean? There is jokers, mind you, but... Let's try my look at the slots. Best case scenario here, you get like a thousand. That's pretty crappy, actually. It's definitely poker is the way to make money. <laughs> I wonder how much uh, you can bet on the monster fights. It sucks losing with a joker in your hand. Nothing worth keeping. Uh, let's just try to go for a flush, I guess. <laughs> a pair on the drone. Was... Man. As much as I want to keep the uh, pair, better chance of getting a f straight. So need a 2 or a, a 7? 10 is not the one I need. Let's get a straight. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, 2, come on. Pretty much impossible. Well, it's impossible to lose, but I can get a tie with two. Boo. It's 
Personal garbage. Or a flush. Yeah. Flush draw. Ooh, almost. Go for a straight. Come on, queen. Nothing worth keeping. Let's go for a straight. Nope. Get two pairs. I mean, casino's not supposed to make money. Come on, thirty-two thousand. card with a bunch that <laughs> was a fail. Come on, six. Finish a fail there. Could have had the ace, I guess. Almost a straight. It wasn't for that nine. Three of a kind. Come on, five of a kind. Six and a joker. Come on. Ah, full house. I'll take that. I just have to win this twice to get thirty-two thousand. Promotion guaranteed. Oh, come on, game. <laughs> this game just trolled me, man. It's like, come on, like, that's like, that's like three times I got a, a two with a three. No, I didn't throw it away. I, I, I won it, but I wanted to double my money, right? I mean, if you, if you get full house, I mean, you're going to, you're going to try at least double your money there at a sixteen thousand or sixteen hundred, but. <laughs> I lost with the damn three, uh, choosing a two. That was a pain in the ass. Oh, come on. King. Wow. That's a pretty lucky tie there. So really, the only way of making money in this is to double your money. So she kept the first card. This, this is the end of chapter three. <laughs> How's it going, Jogo? It's a totally different chapter, sir. Wow, I got lucky there. I'm pretty much reloading at this point because unless I get really lucky with this one here, I'm not stopping until I make thirty-two thousand. Because otherwise, what's the point, right? Come on, thirty-two thousand. Yes. It's now actually made money. It's... Do we push our luck for one more turn? Yeah, might as well. One more turn. It's a risky one. Yes. Wow. Does that mean like <laughs> you won as much as you can win? Get out of my casino. Uh... No. Oh, we're saving that one. <laughs> well, no, it's uh, we we have to wait for the. <laughs> I just figured I'd try to make some more coins there, get some more. At least now we have enough coins for like pretty much. At least, well, at least one more um, meteorite armband. If I can make a little more coins, I'll have enough for. Meteorite armbands for like three of my party members, which is kind of nice. It's 
In other words, you're extremely bad at bluffing. <laughs> I you need to make 8,000, so that way I'll have enough for two, me two more meteorite armbands. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty lucky, I gotta say. Ugh, it's all complete crap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Again, this is like crap, I mean... Not by keeping these two, the odds of getting a ten and a queen is like negligible. Again, nothing else to really keep with this. Let's hold on to that, hope we get good guards. And we don't. Let's go for the flush, I guess. Oh, close. Come on, queen or ten? Queen or ten? Queen or ten? Not five. Three queens and nothing else. Three in a row. Two more. I will have enough. Uh, well, we didn't lose. <laughs> Unless we get a Joker. Yeah, because of that. Hmm. I got two pair. I oh, don't know, three can. It's right, six. That was not. Yeah, it's bad that wasn't a uh, an actual like flop here. <laughs> be like a flush right there on the flop, but it has to be the over under. Joker and nothing else. I mean, yeah, it's nothing worth keeping. Nothing that's even close. I mean, I can. Well, if I kept the. Let's get back to a nine. No. Never mind. Let's hold on to the Joker and hope for a good drop. No. Almost got a flush. All crap. Even worse crap. <coughs> Total crap again. A whole lot of bunch of crap drops here. Nines. Three of a kind of nines. <laughs> I'm surprised that wasn't reversed there, a three and a two. Two more, and then we're just gonna reload and Thanks. reload and go on our merry way. We'll make money later on. Oh, huh. full house. Come on, big money, big big money. That's not big money. That's slow money. <laughs> All right, go for the flesh draw. Nope. All right. All right. So let's reload, and then we're gonna come back here. At Chapter 5, I'm assuming we'll have access to this. Try to win the last few chips we need to get the, uh, the third uh, meteorite armband. If you get really lucky, we might be able to get a metal babble shield, but yeah. Okay, do we have anything left to pick up here? 
Oh, there we go. I don't understand what it meant. Are you leaving on a journey again? Yes. Alright, I won't say anything. Always chasing dreams. That's what I love about you. Why don't you go? I'll be waiting for your return. What a great waifu. She works her butt off day in, day out. While we go around, like, gallivanting on the, the world. She somehow gets... She, she gets mysterious... Uh, mysteriously gets, like, double the, the, the price of items from the uh, shop across the street. Just... somehow. She's a great waifu. Yes, it is. Alright, so I'm assuming this is the chapter end. Keep us finished. Carry on my dreams and collect as many treasures as possible. So. Lots of people traveling. Traveling the world in search of a legendary sword. If you go through the cave and reach an eastern country, you might find out something about it. There's a casino in Inidri. We can find jobs there. Steve Jobs? He's hanging out in the casino? I'm going to Endor. Many people go through the cave hoping to fulfill their dreams. Talun, I wish you good luck on your journey. <laughs> this life can go to hell. Thus Talun left for East in search of legendary weapons and treasures. To collect every weapon and to become the world's greatest arms merchant was his dream. Chapter 3 completed! <laughs> and I'm kidding, right? <laughs> That'd be funny if that was the case. This has been... Alright, so chapter 4. The sisters of Mon Bar Baraba. Mon Baraba? Story about the witness. It's about two beautiful sisters who travel seeking to avenge their father. Mara, the older sister, is a dancer. Nara, the younger one, is a fortune teller. Story begins in Monta Montabara, a town of song and dance. And fortune telling, apparently. Mara, you're the best! Yahoo! I love you, Mara! Rocket slime. <laughs> Good performance, sis. Did you see him? No, I didn't see a cute guy in the audience today either. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, typical... You know, RPG game. Like, oh yeah, the, the women always have guys on their mind. It's refreshing to actually have uh, a strong woman, like, character in uh, Chapter 2, at least. No, I mean him. A sworn enemy, Balzac. <laughs> Ballsack. Really? A sworn enemy is the Ballsack. Well, uh, I, I think I know what they're. Uh... <laughs> let's just not. Let's just stop there. All right. All right. Oh, I didn't see him either. I see. Don't be so discouraged. If you continue traveling, someday you'll find him. Here, I'll pay you. I'll put you up through today. Thanks for performing with us. Oh, 100 gold? Really? That's it? Do you see the size of the audience? How much are you charging those guys? Like, like 50 gold an entry fee and you're giving us like 10 gold? It's like 2 gold per person? You're so popular. I want you to stay longer, but I don't want to interfere with your pursuit of revenge. Rest well tonight and leave in the morning. Have a safe journey. Good morning, sis. Shall we leave now? Silk robe, copper sword, dancer's costume. I think you're a little bit underdressed there, Mara. It was only for a short time. I enjoyed working with you. Hope you succeed in pursuit of revenge. Wait. I thought you gave us 100 gold each. How come we have 100 gold in total? I guess we went and spent our, uh, one of our 100 golds on that copper sword that uh, Nara has. Oops. It 
medicinal herb. There you go. Or medical. I keep calling it medicinal herb, but you know. Same difference. Yeah, that one looks strange. <laughs> you have uh, hope, dreams, and like. You know, they use different weird terms for like your levels mix and health and magic, that kind of thing. You're searching for the man who murdered your father. But see, the problem with the red dress is it would, it would blend into the, to the background texture, so they can't have that. This is a theater, and the master is in the basement waiting room. Is he the uh, mysterious ball sack? Yeah, from the sounds of it, like I'm not sure if it actually was, but definitely it looks like it's kind of geared towards girls. Just from like the from what I've seen of it, it's got a, a very kind of like let's, let's try to aim this towards like you know women type of feeling to it. <laughs> it's hopes and dreams, and you know you got like a strong female character lead that kind of thing. Strength seed. Who's the strong one out of the two? I'm assuming Nara. Yeah, she's a healer as well. Oops. Mara, she's weaker. She's the like the white wizard and Nara seems to be the like, strong one. Or the other one's the black mage and she's the white mage or something. The red mage, probably. So finally leaving. I think it's a good idea to return the... Uh, return to Kiev's once in a while. Don't forget to visit your father's grave. Take care. I think she's more of a red one. <laughs> she's, she can use weapons like swords. <laughs> that one seems to be more of a black mage. Helen from the eatery ran away. She's so popular. Sorry, the eatery opens at night. That Lynn, where did she go? I'll punish her if I find her. Yeah, you know. I wonder why she left, right? <laughs> Must raid all the pantries. Wait, I can't get this one. Or can I do it from the side? Puts a drawer in front of a table. <laughs> Are you supposed to open those? Not at all. Absolutely unimportant whatsoever. He's sleeping during the day. He's crazy. Crazy, I say. Monbara, Monbara, Monbaraba. There we go. <laughs> Town of music and dance. The village of Kiev is in the north. I wonder where I'm supposed to go next. I wonder who could be hiding over there. I don't know who you're looking for. But there's no one out here but me. Get out. Can I sneak around there or? Go that way, anyways. New music again, yay! How about 
this way. Damn it. Ooh, some fancy music in battle, too. This isn't Dragon Warrior music, what are they doing? You get a weapon for the uh, other sister. They live in the area in a way she's so popular. I think this was the theater, right? Here, Edgar, an alchemist in Kiev, was murdered by his pupil, Balsak. What? You're his daughters? Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Damn Balsak. This boy's sweating up a storm over there. Sword, I wonder. Nope. If only I had some gold from the. <laughs> he couldn't have, like, sent me some gold in the mail or something, no. Uh, let's try to save up 200 gold for the next weapon and. Get her something. Red slime. <laughs> you suck, Mara. Definitely different. New spells. <laughs> she got like no stats. <laughs> like one across the board, and that's pretty crappy. I just love how each kind of chapter, or rather each character again, gets their own theme music in the overworld. It's a nice touch. Listen to the whole thing. Yeah, that was the whole thing. <laughs> That's repeating. That's 
my last place now. <laughs> do I have now? 366. How much does it cost the rest of the inn? Say it's gold pieces. Fine. You do have to come back here at night though. Let's see if I can talk to the other girl there that ran away and I mean, at night times when all the shops open up. <laughs> or not the shops, but the other, the other stuff anyways. She seriously needs more armor. <laughs> a dancer's outfit doesn't do much. This thing is worse than this blue slime. It's the same amount of experience in money as a blue slime. Anything else down here, actually? I'm sure it's a dead end, but let's explore. No fair, they get a free attack. Not fair at all. One more fight should be enough. Two more fights should be enough. Stupid crappy minions. Well, actually, these do, get, these do drop two gold each, so... So let's see if she can use that whip. Oh no, it wasn't the whip. What was the next thing I could buy? I think it's something that she could use. weapon now. Oops. That should help out a bit. Get my time. Caught you. I should just like sprints out of bed. Don't tell anyone I'm here. I want to go to the castle. Heard that a coup broke out at Kelion, and the king was overthrown. New king called himself uh, an alchemist. Is performing horrible experiments. Check this door here. Couldn't access it before. Nothing. Strive to save the injured. You go to the pub. This guy's up now. Hope you find Balsack, the object of your revenge soon. Food after work is the best. Ah, so delicious. Wonder why Edgar was murdered by his pupil Balsack. I made too much fun of his name. Hey, aren't you the Edgar's daughters? Did he succeed in turning iron to gold? If he did, 
You could become a king. Yeah, could be the uh, past tense there. Greetings, eat, sing, forget your problems. <laughs> we just run into a brothel. I think we did. I feel like you shouldn't come here. What? <laughs> it's Puff Puff. <laughs> I can't tell you. I know where we're coming back in Chapter 5. <laughs> we have ourselves a Puff Puff. Good old Dragon Warrior Puff Puffs. This was Lin's room. Where is she now? Did they ever... Did the uh, previous three Dragon Warrior games have Puff Puff? Or was that, like, taken out of the localization? I'm sure that's probably something that showed up in, like, the earlier... Dragon, Warrior, or Dragon Quest in Japan, but I'm sure that was taken out of any localized versions. Since, you know, a little bit uh, untamed for Nintendo standards, Nintendo of America. So I know, isn't the method of turning gold iron into gold? Isn't it lead into gold? Let's dance and enjoy the music. Sage is downstairs. Mona, I thought you left town. You're back. Your front row seat. Yeehaw! Mara, I'm so excited to talk with you. Well, I love watching the show up close. Man behind me is noisy. Can he act like a gentleman? Can't see a thing. The post <laughs> blocks my view. Well, you know, you can stand in this big middle aisle right in the middle here that you, know, you can easily see from anything. No. All right. We all know it's just a pair of slimes. <laughs> Try, don't they have anything better to do? Watching dance makes me relaxes me. What cheapest tickets? I didn't know I'd be stuck in the back. Dance. Yahoo! Shake more! Yahoo! Dance! <laughs> yeah. Well, I prefer the uh, Dragon Quest Eight version. <laughs> Alright, it's you. Heard you quit, but you're back. I'm glad. Castle people are summoning girls to the castle. They say they're having feasts there. Where's the castle? It's far north from here, beyond Kiev's. I'm a new dancer. I'll try to become as popular as Mara, the former star here. I think that's it for this town, day or night. So let's go on to Kiev's. girls are summoned to the feasts held almost every night at the K Kilan Castle. No girl ever returns from there. He has a secret. We have a secret. Back and fell asleep while I was out looking for him. Where was he? There's a cave with a secret somewhere. Can't afford it. So we're gonna fight another couple of fights. But you can't afford the rest of the inn. That's just feels wrong. Hey, Stereo, welcome back. I 
that music is pretty nice. Just started it. <laughs> Luck, MP, sap. But they're not loving at the same time, you think? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if these are twins, but... Sisters would, would love up at the same time, you would expect, but... I guess not. The names like Nara and Mara, you kind of... I don't know, are they supposed to be twins? Let's pull up the manual here. I think they would level up at the same pace. Dragon Warrior 4 manual. Seconds left. Dragon Warrior 4. Oh, it's a lot better quality than the one I had looked at before. Wait, it's missing like. What the hell? Why is this page 3? <laughs> this isn't page 3 on the actual manual. Seems to be missing pages, but luckily the first page it's at is the chapter four. Sisters of one bar one one baraba. Nora, the world known blacksmith, died in mysterious cause, is left behind two daughters. Nara st has studied the magic of fortune telling and acquired great power. Yeah, they they're not said to be twins, but just sisters. Chapter 5, The Chosen Ones. Chapter 5, You Are Hero. Arrive to lead the characters from earlier chapters. <laughs> the hero finally shows up in Chapter 5. It's about time time. Alright, let's go to Kiev. An annoying party to deal with. weapon for Nara. Nara's doing more damage than she is now. Strength 2, agility 1. Well, she was level 3 as well, so that helped a bit. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. <laughs> They're more kind of like an introduction of each character, and then Chapter 5 brings everything together, and then, yeah, the main kind of... Like, everything. <laughs> North to village of Kiev's. <clears throat> it's like chapters one to four is the prologue, <laughs> then the game starts at chapter five. Definitely felt like that. But still, I enjoy the other chapters as much as possible. Oh, excuse me.
And so far they've kind of hinted at like a kind of a like a force that like an evil force that's kind of controlling everything. But I'm sure chapter five is when it actually appears. Is he tougher on in the DS version, or did they buff him up at all, or is he just that tough? <laughs> Burr. It's the Filjukievs. It must be Edgar's daughters. You're back. <laughs> it's like, sorry, your dad died. And it's like, yay, you're back. How's it going? What's up? It's a shame a man like Edgar was betrayed by his pupil. So didn't Edgar have another pupil? Warren, that's his name, I think. He's terribly injured too, where is he now? Oops. <laughs> I can't reach the second drawer! No! That drawer probably has like... That's probably the legendary sword of... Z whatever the hell it's called? Zen... Zen... I don't even know what the hell... Sorry, the Zed. Hey, your starters, I can't accept money from you. You're from this village. There's no charge. You'd like to stay? Sure. Oh, we'll see when I get there. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Next, you know, 40 hours or so. <laughs> this rate. How long has it been since Edgar died? Stray puppy Nara took back, took him back, has been grown up. Hey, it's you, Nara. Isn't it nice to be back in your hometown? Nay. Nay. Some disagreeable horses there. Item shop. Alright. Feather dress, feather hat, chain sickle. I'm hungry for a popsicle now. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. the dog. Oh god, I wish there was infinite inventory space in this game. The spice ball sack became Edgar's pupil to steal his invention. Oh, they had party check in the uh, Japanese version? It's kind of annoying that they got rid of that in the US one. It's like Tales of... It's like a Tales game. <laughs> By the way, this is a secret. Warren, Edgar's other pupil, is hiding in the cave west of this village. Which has a secret in it, apparently. Warren may know Ballsack's whereabout. House of Edgar, Alchemist. Life Force Nuts. <laughs> Ballsack Nuts. Yeah. Uh, let's give that to. Let's give that to, to Mara. Damn puppy. Get away. Treasure chest is empty. There's gotta be something around here. Or they. Must be something here. This is not Erdrick. <laughs> I'm sure it's a subtle nod of the uh, previous series, though. Previous trilogy. Nothing. Oh, well, it's gonna be cozy when you when I go outside. The outside music's pretty cozy. 
I tried, didn't seem to do anything. Unless I have to go from a specific angle or something. So I went from I went from both the bottom and the uh, side here. So you can't go this way. Can't go this way. Can't go this way. Oops. Can't go this way. And when you search, it just searches your feet. So, so you can't go into the well. Why is there a well upstairs, anyways? Or no, this is never mind. This is downstairs. For some reason I thought that was the uh, upper level. Not in three. I, I, mean, I think there was one well. Uh, I forget which chapter it was in, but there was one well I was able to climb, and that's it. I've tried all the wells. <laughs> that's that's one of the typical things we always do in RPGs, right? Check the wells. And no, Not, nothing's been climbable except for that one. Unless the DS version they are, but not in the NES version. Can I talk to Dad? Let's go rest again, heal up from all that poison damage. And we'll do a little bit of grinding around here. Get a some XP. At least we can rest for free here. Oh, sorry. Uh, one th and three? I don't know if they were climbable in 3. I don't remember being able to climb in a well in 3. I'm trying to think. My memory is fuzzy about number 3, but I don't remember going into any wells in 3. Could be wrong, though. I mean, in release uh, six, <laughs> six should have been on PlayStation. They even have an ad in uh, Dragon Warrior Seven. <laughs> it's like a slap in the face. Isn't that again Dragon Warrior Seven on the PlayStation? It's like, all right, Dragon Warrior Six is coming out. Nope. <laughs> I guess. Let me grab my Dragon Warrior Seven copy here. Dragon Warrior 7. Back in the manual. Coming 2002. Dragon Warrior... Actually, Dragon Warrior 4. I thought it was 6. That's Dragon Warrior 4 is advertised uh, as being released on the PlayStation. Apparently that never happened. <laughs> in 2002. Reason I thought it was six. So they were going to release a, uh, like a remake, I guess, on the PlayStation. Probably came out in Japan, just just never got uh, localized for some reason in North America. I don't know why. Been nice playing a remake of this. <laughs> Angel Head. Like a non DS remake, I should say. <laughs> I'm sure in Japan they probably like had they probably had a remake of the of these games on like, every system imaginable. This Dragon Quest is humongous in Japan. Right, 
high time. Let's go to town. Dragolites are tough, aren't they? No, not that tough, I guess. An awful rumor on my way here. The new king of Kelion, of Kelion, Kelion, God, these names, has allied himself with evil ones. Not evil ones. It's a shame a man like Edgar was betrayed by his pupil. Hey, didn't Edgar have another pupil? Orin, that's his name, I think. He was terribly injured, too. Where is he now? Yeah, I already talked to her. Which my dad's at my uh, as at his crypt now. His ghost probably is. Whereas Edgar had failed to make make gold, but he made an extraordinary discovery. Oh, the secret of evolution. That's it. <laughs> He's Darwin. <laughs> God, everything's on mobile phone now. New King of Kilian's taxation is severe. I just, I just can't play RPGs on on mobile. It's just the controls are just ugh. Garbage. I've, I've tried some of the, the Final Fantasy ones, and I just I just can't like them. I work late every day, Gumble. Especially like the ones that were released exclusively on mobile. It's just I just can't do it. <laughs> er, er. It's dead. Or it's the other guy. <laughs> Only had the mirror of raw. It's a slime. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Don't hurt me. I'm not a bad slime. Do you know Orin used to break open? Used to break open locked doors. We gotta find Orin. He'll open up doors that we can't open up normally. <clears throat> All right. So the just realized there's no save point here, is there? So I should go back to the other town. Save. Worth fighting those casco hoppers. The garbage experience in gold. It's a castle. Probably don't want to go there just yet, though. <laughs> Let's go there anyways. Yeah. It's the Great Kelion Castle. Which happens to have all locked doors, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I wonder who can get into these locked doors. Is that... That's not a cave, that's a... Uh... Temple of some kind. Yeah, probably shouldn't be fighting this stuff. I think we're a little too far away from where from our safe zone. It's the House of Prophecy. Many seek revenge upon and is protected by a tremendous evil force. Worry not, as you're protected by radiant lights. They're small and frail now. More lights will join them and fuse together in one powerful voice. Voice. <laughs> Force. Be patient. When you are sunk in the depths of despair, and shall your true journey begin? Our true journey hasn't begun yet. Only 15 hours in. <laughs> this feels like uh, might and magic. 15 hours in, we haven't even started anything. Yeah, I should not be in this area.
can't handle blue slimes though. <laughs> I say that, but can't seem to kill one shot them. Like what the hell? What? Uh oh. No, oh, king slime. <laughs> Run away! It's like, oh, it's only blue slimes. Like, why, why am I not killing these blue slimes in one shot? There's a reason. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Should not have come to this area. Now we're about to lose half our gold. My fault for exploring. <laughs> Angel had it. I think something called Angel Head would have, I don't know, a halo or something. The first thing I'd expect something called Angel Head. Not something with horns, that's kind of the opposite of angels. <laughs> like Devil Head. Looks like it's a mistranslation of some kind. Attack the same thing. Just punch the same thing twice. Dragon Quest Seven. They release it on an Android. I had a lot of issues and he took it off. <laughs> Try to think. I don't know if they released 8. I know they released 9, but. They're just waiting to <laughs> make more money off of it. There's a lot of issues with it, and they removed it in the store. Yeah, it's pretty much all the other Dragon Quests are on there, isn't it? Four, one, two, three, four, five, eight. You know, there's no dragon. There's no Dragon Warrior six or seven on the store. You mean it's like a region exclusive thing? Could be, maybe it was just released in Japan, not outside of Japan or something. For now. <laughs> Give it time. Oh, 
What? It eluded my attack. How dare they? I just searched for Dragon Quest 7, so maybe that's why. And Quest 6. Oh, there it is, yeah. Yeah, 6 comes up. For some reason, it didn't show up when I, when I searched for Dragon Quest 7. Every game except for 6 showed up. <laughs> Search Dragon Quest 7, you only get Dragon Quest uh, 8. Oh, I got the PS version anyway, so... Never played it yet, but it's gonna be fun to play when I eventually get to it. Dragon Warrior 7! save before I attempt taking on that uh, dungeon there. There's nothing that you can't save in your home village. Figures. I knew it was getting close, but come on. Agility, you want to see these crappy rolls? Come on. Four, yeah. I wonder what the Dragon Quest uh, Four box art was on. Like, it's probably a hell of a lot better. They really screw up the. They, they just whenever they bring box art to uh, North America, they always like just get rid of the really awesome looking Japanese box art and just replace it with crap. <laughs> and look it up right now, just for the hell of it. Dragon Quest Four. I'm sure it's much better than the, uh, the, the North American box art. Oh yeah, it's like, it is so much better. Make 
sure it's the same one I'm looking at, but... Yep, that's the one I'm looking at. It's... I mean, it's night and day, like, really, like... <laughs> like, oh my god, we can't have anime on our... on our box art. Let's just put a sword instead. The, Amer the American box art looks like crap. Every time they bring a Japanese game over to the US, like, the box art is horrible. You mean stuff like, uh, you know, the Final Fantasy games. Like, Final Fantasy games have a nice theme throughout, like, all their, uh, their box art in Japan. Just kind of a nice, kind of, uh, simple, uh, like, white background with, like, the, kind of the, the, the Final Fantasy logo on it. Obviously different for each game, but it's nice and uniform, right? And North America, we just get an, like, eclectic kind of mishmash of, of different genres and that. The Japanese ones always look so much better, but we never get any of that. Yeah, probably, but still, I mean, look at the box art we get compared to the box art they get. It's just... it's garbage. Right, back then, I guess, it was still kind of... well, I mean, this, this came out in the early 90s, right? But, like, when did anime really start getting popular in North America? Like, I guess Dragon Dragon Ball, which, you know, happens to be who, uh... uh I forget, I forget the, the name there of the, the person who made Dragon Ball, or who uh, drew Dragon Ball, but he's the same guy who does the Dragon Warrior dra box art, so... Kira, Tori Kira Toriyama, I think, is his name, right? Sounds familiar from Dragon Ball Z had bridged. Yeah, that's it. So he makes the same thing, but I, I don't know when Dragon Ball became popular. It's probably like mid '90s, maybe. So that, that's really the 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 show that brought anime to North America. He made anime popular in North America. <laughs> exactly, but it's it's extremely noticeable when he draws. You know. It's like, you know that he made that art. All the all the character art in this game is, is made by him, too. It's been drawn by him. Oh, come on. Poisoned? Really? I guess we're going back to town. First thing in the dungeon poisons us. Guess I'm bringing some antidote herbs. Oh yeah, he does a lot better monsters than he does humans. If you're humans, you have a hard time of telling like a man and a woman apart half the time. <laughs> Although, well, I guess women usually have like you know, kind of uh, straight, you know, just down, like straight hair down. And guys always have like super spiky hair. That's that's basically the differences between female and male. Styles. That's about it. Faces look identical. There's not that many freezes, there's only like... 30. Fre Frieza was the best, uh... The best enemy on Dragon Ball Z though, I mean... That's why they keep, kind of, they keep bringing him back, he was the best one. That didn't sell. 
So just like evil. Oh, that's right, we can't even heal in this place. Oh, we can buy an antidote herb at least. Wait, is there even a is there an item shop in this town? No, just yeah, there is. Okay. Yeah, but there's like yeah, but the end doesn't get rid of uh, of poison, does it? Frieza, there's like multiple versions of Frieza, right? Isn't there like a metal Frieza? Isn't there like a... Don't they, don't they bring him like back like every every couple movies? Alright. Green. I need to save up for a new weapon. Weapon before armor. Always. I'm definitely no expert in Dragon Ball Z. Also, I've I've watched a lot of the the shows back when I was a kid, but there's so many, so much stuff out there for Dragon Ball. So, like, how many movies is there? Like, fifty? Well, movies, no VAs, anyways. I need to say with this chain sickle. Gold now. Yeah, that sounds about right. Of course. New ultimate god, super god three times mode. Saiyan. They have what? Purple hair now? Or no wait. Trunks had purple hair. About to make their hair like. like a rainbow color now. <laughs> Didn't they already do blue hair? Oh, they, did, they did red hair? I don't know. So many different hair colors they made. I thought they had blue hair though. Unless it's a different shade of blue. <laughs> well, you gotta have evil Goku. What color hair does evil Goku have? Black hair? Shadow Goku. Because you know, regular Goku doesn't have black hair. <laughs> it looks like the regular Goku. Yeah, Dragon Ball is a, is a series that jumped the shark a long time ago. But... Yep. Smug. So he's basically, uh. Right, we have now. 307 gold, and yeah, they're 250. Wanna buy that weapon. Can't do it with these guys. And some stronger monsters. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure he's probably sick of that series now. Like manga artist, I'm sure, just <laughs> he's probably ready to retire now. Just, people just want more of it. I love these crappy things. These things are like worthless in terms of experience from gold. Oh, 
don't think I ever watched Dragon Ball GT. Or really the original Dragon Ball series. Just watched Dragon Ball Z and that's pretty much it. And Dragon Ball Bridge, because Dragon Ball Bridge is just awesome. It's hilarious. <laughs> They should just make that an, an official, like, Dragon Ball series, just <laughs> have the Team Four Star guys just make, uh, make all the new shows from now on. Dragon Ball Super? Yeah. I tried watching it, like, I, I think I watched like two or three episodes of that and was like, meh. Hope not. Like, if anything, that 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 probably made Dragon Ball Z way more popular. Yeah, let me. I've got a subscription to the Team Four Star. Let me take a look. I really suck if that was the case. But I, I can see it like being like an automatic kind of. Uh, System, but if Toei actually officially did it, I mean, that they're shooting themselves in the foot because I'd be extremely surprised if the popularity of uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, wasn't, uh, like, recently, anyways, would <laughs> caused by, in good part, by uh, Team Four Star. Team Four Star. Yeah, the, uh, you're right. Wow. Yeah, there's no Dragon Ball Z bridge on there. What the hell? Maybe they have all the, uh, the Cell games, uh, ones they, they made, but none of the, like, the, the newest one is in there, none of the ones, wow, that's just, wow. <laughs> yeah, they're shooting themselves in the foot of, uh, Like, if anything, that kind of renewed my interest in, like, watching some of the newer Dragon Ball Z stuff. But so I, I think that's always the problem whenever you get a, you know, a series that becomes probably more popular than the original. Because I can almost guarantee you that uh, Dragon Ball Z Bridge was more popular than the original. So it's just so well made. I guess I got to the point where they just decide up you all. <laughs> I'm sure they do, yeah. It's a lot harder to get it off their website than it would be to get it off YouTube, right? All they have to go, all they have to say, like, assuming it wasn't just like bought, assuming like, uh, you know, Toei actually, you know, asked for the copyright strike. Right? I mean, they could just say to YouTube, okay, take these down because, you know, this is our content. And YouTube's like, okay. <laughs> they, they don't have, Google doesn't ask questions, they just kind of do it. <laughs> but man. I'm surprised there hasn't been any video. Well, you said it was today, right? So. If it was only done today, we'll probably get like an update video from Team Four Star about, you know, A, if it was like actually, you know. An intentional copyright strike, or that's gonna suck. I always look forward to the new episodes of that. Scissor me. I think the dancer would be like faster than anything else. Thank you. 
That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I think it's, it's just too easy. Like, YouTube always uh, sides on the, you know, on the big company sides. It's just too easy for, for a company just to say, okay, well, I own this content, and he doesn't ask questions, they just, they just, like, okay, well, we're gonna take the content down, or... And of course, the creator has to fight for, try to fight for it, and good luck trying to fight, uh... To even like get a hold of anybody at YouTube to even do it. So that really sucks, but so like I said, I'm, I'm hoping it is kind of an automatic bot thing, like you were mentioning. That's maybe maybe it was trying to uh, prevent I don't know stuff like uh, Dragon Ball Z Super being. Uploaded by you know by by people and then somehow caught that and automatically put a, a copyright claim on those videos maybe it was something like that so that's all it was and then I mean, they'll come back soon because otherwise uh, Toei's <laughs> crazy stupid because I, I can guarantee you that uh, Dragon Ball Z Bridge reignited. Uh, Interest in Dragon Ball Z uh, series, guarantee you. Seventy-five gold to go before we can buy the weapon. And we'll make our way to the uh, make our way to the cave. So we can survive in there. There yet? <laughs> uh, that was five fifty, right? So another couple gold, more golds, more all the golds.
Angel Head is bewildered. We'll take advantage of that by murdering them all. All they want is a hug, look. Like those little baby... kind of little baby animal things you stick on the side of a windshield, you know. Right, that should be enough uh, gold, yep. Plenty of gold, alright. Let's go buy the uh, chain whip. And go through that dungeon. Damn it. Not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> Alright, should be a pretty good increase in uh, damage here. Well, eight points. Not fantastic, but I'll take what I can get. any armor. <laughs> Alright, let's go save. Again, we have to go down to the other place, because, you know, would have killed them to add a uh, healer at this town. Dragon Warrior 4. Chapter 4. <laughs> Oops. Wrong option. Let's go to that cave and see if we don't get murdered this time. Hope we can do enough damage to get through things easier. These hoppers are just not worth killing. No, I'm doing the games pretty much in chronological order. Uh, I mean, there's some games that are going to be hard to tell because, you know, the, the closest release date we have is like a year. Um, but pretty much in chronological order. The only exceptions are going to be... Let's say there's games, like I think there's, there's a game coming up soon, which is going to be uh, probably 1993, I think. It's going to be Lunar on the second CD. For that one, I'll probably end up playing the, the, the PlayStation version, because that's the only version I own, right? Even though they're a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna, there's no real point in replaying both. So that one I'll probably play the PlayStation version, but that's basically the only time I make kind of exceptions when versions are close enough that I only, only play one, I'm gonna be playing the, the best version. <laughs> well, we, we played as a, uh, we played as a merchant. <laughs> Chapter 3 was kind of interesting, just the way to play, like, you're doing, like, kind of mini-games to sell stuff at your shop, and the whole point in Chapter 3 is making a whole lot of money, which is kind of different, but nothing, nothing like becoming a king. But yeah, I'm doing pretty much everything chronologically, so right now we're, we're finishing off, uh, well, we're halfway through 1992 uh, releases. And we're starting 1993 releases, which gives us a good idea of kind of the the evolution of the RPGs as well. So you can kind of see the how, how the games change over time, and obviously the differences between different generations. Like like right now we're in kind of the the era where we're hopping between you know the 16-bit era and the 8-bit era. We're pretty much at the end of the, uh, the NES games. There's only 
three more games after this, so... Yeah, that's right, Dragon Warrior 3. King for a day, pretty much. This Ogre Battle, like that one was... Is that the SNES version, Ogre Battle, or is that... Uh... Let me see when that came out. Oh, that's the PS1 version. That one came out in 1997, so it'll be a while before we get to that one. Plus oh, SNES? Okay, so, oh, okay, so the PlayStation version was the... was kind of a remake of, of the SNES one, or...? That one came in 1995, so we're still a few years away. I think it's on both. I, I'm not sure if... I'm assuming the, uh... the PlayStation version is probably a, uh remake of the SNES one, because the SNES one came out in 1995. I didn't realize that... I was actually on the PlayStation tab of my list when I looked it up, and... Yeah, it's called the same thing, Ogre Battle, March of the Black Queen. It came out in 1997 in the PlayStation 1, 1995 in the SNES, so... I'm assuming that the, uh, PS1 is kind of a remake of it. I'll have to check when I get to that one. Because, I mean, if, if the PlayStation 1 is basically the same game, but, you know, has things like, uh, you know, well, it's CDs, right? So I probably have CD quality music, you have cutscenes, that kind of stuff. I might as well play the, the PlayStation 1 version. If it's different enough, then I'll play both. That's basically the cases where I'll, uh, I'll replay games. For example, stuff like the... Like Final Fantasy. You know, the Final Fantasy, uh, the original NES version I've already played. But when I get to the... to the, the remakes, for example, I'll, I'll replay those because there's there's enough of a difference. Obviously the story's the same, but the mechanics have changed completely between the uh, the original one and the later ones. Like, you know, magic works in a completely different way. Uh, you know, characters kind of attack in different ways, the combat works different. So even though it's the same game, it's not really. How dare they steal my MP. But I'm going to be running into a lot of games that were re-released. <laughs> in different formats. So, in those cases, I'll play, I'll play the best one. And they often do have some differences. Then. Usually they're not just released just like that. They always have some like new things added, or things removed, and made better. There's Nara's poison now. It's a really bad place to get poisoned, I mean, especially since I don't have antidote. I'm gonna have to bring a whole bunch of antidote herbs in here. It's kind of annoying. Well, stuff like Final Fantasy VI, I'll be playing. I'll definitely be playing the original version. Um, I might think that one's the, the PS1 version is probably not different enough to replay it, but I'll take a look at it when it comes around. But for for, for major ones like that, I'll probably be playing the the original version. It just makes more sense to play the original version, and then I might consider replaying the kind of the uh, the game again uh, when for the remake. I don't mind replaying games, especially good ones. <laughs> oh, come on. Why the hell do they have to keep poisoning us? Thanks for the follow Z bunker. This is a nasty place. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to grab a whole bunch of antidote herbs. Come back here, because... This place is full of those damn poisoning mushrooms, and we have no way of curing... Anti er, of curing uh, poison right now, other than antidote herbs. Unless we get lucky and find one in here. <laughs> Great.
Elevator. <laughs> Fancy elevators. Nah. It's a good thing I saved before coming here. Oh, come on, more elevators. I need an anti poison thing. Reload here and then I'll just come in here with like a whole bunch of antidote herbs because this place is full of those damn poisonous mushrooms. Like everywhere. Really my luck, I'll get poisoned as soon as I hear poison again. Uh, where is the item merchant in here? Not an item merchant in this place. There's one in the other town. Maybe he's only here at night. He's probably here at night or something. Uh, it's basically my quest to to beat like all the console RPGs released in English. For now, I'm on game 73 out of well, my list says like. A, about 900 games right now, but I'm, that's gonna sh well, it's gonna shrink in and increase over time. Right now, I only have up to the PlayStation uh, 3 era kind of in my list. Obviously, I haven't added anything, especially the 3DS alone is gonna be a huge chunk. I haven't added like PlayStation 4 ones. Well, there's nothing on the Xbox One. Um, so it's playing pretty much every RPG ever made on consoles. That's in English, anyways. That also includes releases that were released only in. Uh, in Europe, I am not including any fan translated ones. So, if something was released in, only in Japanese and was fan translated, uh, that that's not added to the list. But uh, other than that, <laughs> it's, it's a pretty big list. And that also includes uh, action RPGs, so JRPGs, uh, CRPGs, like computer RPGs, like uh, the Wizardry series, and. Uh, Stuff like uh, Oblivion, that kind of stuff. So quite a big series of games to go through. <laughs> Pretty much, exactly. Well, I I'm still considering actually uh, throwing... Because the whole discussion <laughs> last... Uh, last stream about, you know, if Sweet Home was similar to Resident Evil. That one I'm probably going to end up playing. Just like as a special add-on. Might do that after this game. I'm, I'm definitely thinking about adding some of the fan-translated ones, but just... Um, I, I won't be putting them onto the main list of, of RPGs. Like, if anything, there's going to be specials. Right now, I'm, I'm only going to be doing retail. Um, that might change down the road, because obviously I'm doing them in chronological order, so uh, digital isn't a, even an option until like much, much later. So by that point, I'm, I might change my I might uh, change my idea, but right now I'm, I'm basically doing retail-only releases. So games that were re physically released on discs. Yeah, I played Wizardry. <laughs> After playing Wizardry, anything's easier. Hopefully, four is enough. <laughs> the problem with a lot of digital releases, too, is that there's. Uh, it could be the difficulty of getting the digital releases down the road. 
Because let's say they, they stop... Uh, by the time you get there, like, if, if they, they stop the, the Xbox... Uh, uh, Xbox Live Store on like, Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3 Store or something like that, which, you know, who knows when they're gonna stop supporting that, then you might not be able to get them digitally anymore, so that's always the issue, is that you know, physical releases are always gonna be available, while digital releases might not be, so... That's another kind of big question mark down the road. That's, that's exactly right. I'll, I'll make sure the developers have more games ready for me. <laughs> yeah. When we get to 2018, yeah. <laughs> Which will be, a, you know, 2030 in our time. <laughs> Although, I, well... Let's see, I've done 73 games in... Uh, mind you, a lot of... Out of those 73 games, I'm already poisoned, like, really? Come on, game. Like, I haven't even gone to the damn cave yet and I'm already poisoned. God. Why can't I have, like, a, a, a poison heal spell? This is ridiculous. Like, why, why do they make me monsters that, that hit us with poison, like, every couple of steps when we can't even heal poison other than items? Yeah, we, yeah, we've gone through 73 games. Like right now, we're kind of hitting a stretch. Like the games are definitely getting longer and longer. You know, like the up to this point has been basically the the older generation, like the uh, NES and that, which is basically over. Now we're getting to the SNES era, which in games are getting definitely significantly longer because there's just more. St they, they can definitely put more stuff on the on the uh, carts, so games are gonna get longer and longer, and it's gonna be easily like many games from here on in, it's probably gonna be 30 plus hours, so... Well, before, I mean, most of the games we played, uh, for the first, let's say, 50 games are probably 10 hour or less, so... So, games are definitely gonna get longer as time goes on. So, I'm definitely gonna be starting to slow down in terms of, uh, games being completed. Now, do we have enough now? Better have enough freaking herbs. Poison. I really hate poison in these games. I wish we get poison right off the bat. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> A whole lot of cutscenes. Unskippable, unskippable cutscenes of all things. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm not sitting in front of the computer. Like my main screen is my TV. I'm sitting in in my uh, like my nice couch here. <laughs> Pretty much after with uh, with these games, they're very chill games. You know, like generally RPGs are you know they're long, kind of it's a lot of grinding, a lot of stuff. So it's very chill games. Fear of silence, haven't you? Come from one, one baraka. Better give up. Just can't find a way downstairs. I'm sure I can find a way. Yeah, poison is nasty. Like <laughs> demon toadstools everywhere. Like normally I concentrate on this on the uh, scissor mage because you know he can cast blaze, but I want to have to deal with poison. I just started the dungeon and I'm already like taking massive damage. <laughs> There's some cozy music in there. Depends on the series. You know you love the uh the Artinelico music. <laughs> like that music can be very very hyper. Oh yeah, yeah. It's gonna be less like hell. A lot of games down the road are gonna be like two-hour tutorials, and uh, most of the games up to this point have been just <laughs> it drop you in, like figure it out yourself. But down the road, that doesn't really become a thing anymore. The worst part is the unskippable cutscenes, especially during a boss fight or something like that. 
that's the that's the worst kind of cutscenes I hate. Like they they they, they force you to watch a cutscene, and you find the boss, which just murders you because you know you haven't learned his pattern yet. And you have to watch, and then you have to reload and watch the damn cutscene again, like without any way of skipping. That those are the worst. Like I hate games that do that. Like let me skip the damn cutscene. Why the hell are you making me rewatch this? Well, that's why he wanted the Sphere of Silence. People kept telling him to shut up, so... He had to find a way to do it. Yeah, the Archinelico soundtrack is, like, I, I really like that. It's it's very, kind of, awesome music. That's It's, it's got, like, a an to totally, like, invented um, language, and... It's, it's very, kind of... It's, it's hard to explain. It's, it's, it's kind of like the, the chorus kind of music, but in a different way. I love that kind of, uh, kind of vocal music like that. That's why my favorite, uh, music of Final Fantasy is One Winged Angel, because it's just the awesome kind of the power of the, you know, the, the, the chorus, and it just sounds epic. <laughs> I've never finished Nino Kuni yet. It's one, one game I'm, I can't wait to, like, replay and actually beat. Can't beat the art style of it, that's for sure. Perfect Studio Ghibli looking game. An amazing one. Now they come out with a new one too. Throne soonish. <laughs> Pretty okay? No, I haven't looked too much into the Persona 5 stuff yet. I definitely want to pick it up, but uh, it's just finding time to play it. I imagine, yeah, I mean, it's, there's always going to be translation issues, right? But at, at least a game in that, in this era, you can easily just patch in fixes. Yeah, that's kind of funny. You can't have English characters. You gotta, you gotta change it to a Japanese name. <laughs> yeah, in ten years, <laughs> it sounds about right. <laughs> you probably did. I didn't realize the translation that bad. I, I don't remember it being that bad in Nino you know, Kuni. So it's been a while since I played it there, but I don't remember being that bad. <laughs> Maybe they originally wanted to call him Philip, and they just couldn't do it because it was hard to say in, in Japanese. Marku versus... How do you even pronounce Philip in... Japanese? <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds like an accurate translation. Poison mushrooms. I just poisoned both of them. God, these things hit hard. And we're like out of magic too. This stuff is hitting like a truck. Should have filled one person with uh, antidote herbs and one person with with uh, medical herbs. Well, that's always the problems with any sort of RPG. RPGs in general just have such huge grips that you know they're they're gonna off shoot. They're gonna. Uh, 
have like multiple teams working on translations and usually have like your gold team working on kind of the the the, the kind of the the main plot line translation while you have like your your, your B teams working on the other translations and the B teams usually aren't that good. So that's why I usually have like some very mixed results with translations in large games like that. Fireball. Hmm. Should be going on the other place, shouldn't I? Damn poison toadstools. Like even if I had like an anti-poison spell, I, I would use up all my all my man mana to actually use it. I'm just trying to keep my guys alive right now. I'm having a hard time doing that. Find this the, the silent sphere thing and get the hell out of here. So we need something else to do a lot of damage. I say this chapter is a lot tougher. <laughs> Is that her last heal? That was her last heal. Uh. Well, I guess we're taking the quick way home. How much money are we going to lose here? I'm going to lose like 300, uh, 200 gold. Supposed to be like a door of the elevator. <laughs> that actually sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know what kind of shops you're running into there, Techno Gnome, but uh. <laughs> Watch me wait before this chest here. So I take less of my less of my mana. I'm fine with that. Oh, there, found it. <laughs> Run. <laughs> I don't know what kind of guys games you guys are playing, but uh Hope you're not playing those on Twitch. <laughs> no pun intended, right? Run! God, this place is tough. We grinded it for like a few levels before coming here and we're still getting our asses kicked. This stuff is way too tough for the uh... Jeez. Mara's dead. <laughs> I don't think I can make it out of here with Mara. Otherwise I lose a lot of gold. Transfer.
Come back here afterwards just to see what the other chests uh, have. That's if I survive out of here, which I really doubt I will after this attack alone. <laughs> Three health. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, there goes all the gold. This is a really tough dungeon. Holy crap! I guess I should have just grinded a whole bunch of money until I was able to buy some better armor. Yeah, the poison, like, holy crap, like, every enemy, every, every second encounter had the uh, poison toadstools who just kept poisoning us. And we had no way of getting rid of poison other than the antidote herbs. And we had a full inventory of antidote herbs, and we're left with one. <laughs> it's a little too strong there. And compared to the stuff on the outside of that uh, place, I mean, that's a really big jump in difficulty in that dungeon. Minor upgrade. <laughs> Two AC, yay. I don't know if there is any such thing as like resistance uh, resistances in this game in terms of like armor that resists certain things or maybe there is but I don't don't think there's anything to resist uh, poison as far as I'm aware. There'd be a poison uh, cure spell, but I didn't have that yet. I don't know what level I get that at. Even then, I was I was totally out of magic by the end because of all the healing I had to do. You think I'd have a tolerance by now? I only got poisoned like a million times. I should be like immune to it by now. What was that silence thing for, anyways? <laughs> I'd eventually be immune to the pain. <laughs> That's how Iron Man got his suit, right? <laughs> He's got shot bullets a lot of times. Is that the true story of Iron Man? path we didn't take. And we gotta go th the other guy that we probably saw down uh, the bottom level was... Uh, what's his name? Omar or whatever it was. Don't know how the hell the Sphere of Silence was for, but like I mentioned it, so it's probably important for something.
I count it as an RPG, yeah. And your character definitely levels up. Uh, you, know, you get experience, you get uh, like new skill increases, that kind of stuff, so... Definitely on my list. Get back here. Where'd he go? He's inside of us. Only the uh, console versions, so so PS1. Trying to keep everything uh, console only, obviously, other than using emulators. I forgot to buy more antidote herbs, didn't I? Darwin claimed another one, right? <laughs> yeah, for survival of the uh, smartest. <laughs> well. <laughs> I thought these guys would be like immune to fire. Not that they've used fire attacks, I don't know what the whole lava doll thing comes from, but... <laughs> yep, and then their visibility just runs off the wrong time. <laughs> Here I didn't go last time. <laughs> exactly. That was the only, that was the main problem. I'm sure no drugs are involved in any of that either. <laughs> in the meantime, the witch doctors are like raking in the cash because <laughs> you can't have a uh, customer come back complaining when they're dead, right? <laughs> Must have doubted just that split second before the uh, the bullet pierced his skin. There, he just doubted that it would uh, it wouldn't work, and that, that spell just wore off. If he didn't, if he, if he had believed all the time, then it would have been fine.
Lamp of Darkness. Yeah, that, that changes day to night, doesn't it? That's handy. Oh, Mara Mara, it's me, Orin. You're after revenge. I've been recovering, dreaming of revenge, too. Balsack allied himself with evil ones, grain great magic powers. The sphere of silence should help you overcome his magic powers. I oh, already have it. <laughs> I'll accompany you. Let's go. Hooray! He's in the party. Doesn't have spells, but what kind of equipment does he have? Oh, nice. Is he comes fully equipped? I guess we can't. I guess Orin is uh, uncontrollable. I really hate how like a lot of times we just miss these guys, or they just split up like that. <laughs> Cheating ghosts. We get some good experience here. Imagine every time they split, we get the experience from the uh, new one as well. Turn, hey, yeah, that'd be handy once we get outside. I mean, outside, though, that would have been a better spell to get. The perfect time to get outside. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> the hell, game! What the hell? What the hell? This game is trolling me. Are you serious? <laughs> Am I ever going to be able to beat this group? I'm not, because, you know, everybody's dead now. Arg. Please, ghosts are pain in the ass. Killed Nara. I have to keep running now. Uh, that was horrible. We have the Wing of Wyvern, I think. Yeah, so at least we can get back to town easily enough. <laughs> now those place goes are really good at trolling us. There's maximum troll there. I know there's one more chest I had seen. I'm trying to find the way there, but of course poison me. Why am I surprised? See it. And now I'm poisoned again, right? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. God, this game, man. This game's really good at trolling the hell out of me. And I'm dead. Can Orin, like, lead the party by himself? For some reason I doubt that's a thing. This better be an antidote herb. 
Uh, gold is nice, except you know we just got 120 gold out of that chest. <sighs> Somehow make it to the exit <laughs> without dying while well poisoned. Fantastic. You've been so unlucky trying to run from these things. Yeah, it was actually pretty enjoyable. Very linear though, but uh, it was a fun game. Especially after Might Magic. It definitely reminded me of East. But, like, the bosses, boss fights were a lot easier in East. But, very similar kind of style. Come on, let's make it to the exit. Seventeen, sixteen, and now we die. Fourteen. Yeah, there's some weird shit in there. <laughs> Overall, this, the bosses were pretty easy, like, in terms of when, once you kind of figure out their pattern. But that final boss is actually really easy. Something usually in this kind of game is, like, the final boss usually requires a lot of luck. Yeah, this is pretty much a joke. Safe. Oh, come on. <laughs> Watch me die right before the exit. Like one step before the exit. <laughs> Slap in the face. Transfer. Sorry, we already went to the other castle, so we can just teleport there. <laughs> that probably is. Oh, nice, we got 788 gold. Well, we did have 788. I have to pay like 50 gold to revive the other person. 70 gold to revive the other person, I stand corrected. I can buy a whole lot of armor, hopefully. Where did the other shop sell? They sold, um... They sold a leather dress and they sold... Uh, I forget what else they sold. Let's go check the other shop first. Pretty much this one here. Dragon Warrior 4 and Dragon Warrior 7 is the next one that was released in North America. Which is a PlayStation 1 game, so... Pretty big gap. Obviously Japan got a lot of other releases, but we didn't see any of those until the DS remakes. Let me take a look here, just uh... And of course, well, between the uh, the Japanese and the North American releases, there's a pretty big gap as well. 
think Dragon Warrior 3 probably had the biggest gap, I think it was over four years between the Japanese release and the North American release. But, uh, let's see, PlayStation 1, Dragon Warrior... Dragon Warrior 7 was released in 2000... no. Sorry, 2001. So, yeah. <laughs> it's basically almost a ten year gap, nine year gap between uh, this game and Dragon Warrior 7. Humongous. <laughs> yep, gotta have the bouncy boot, the bouncy boob physics. That's super important. Feather hat, that's what they sold here. Gold, holy crap. <laughs> and he, uh, I don't know what he's gonna be doing with that uh, costume, but uh, apparently he values it quite a bit. And had I known that uh, <laughs> that was worth a lot, I would have done that a long time ago. Well, games like, um... So what the hell's that, that beach volleyball series there? I forget the name of it, but it's a whole lot of jiggle on those. <laughs> a little bit over-jiggled. DOA, that's it. Dead or alive. So I think we the best armor we can buy at this point. The best weapons we can buy at this point. Okay, so let's go now that we can actually cast return. Let's go save. Alright, so... Orin can pick locks. Was there any locks in this town that needed to be opened? I don't remember. <laughs> You're having too much fun in the pyramid there. It's a pyramid scheme. I love Dragon Warrior hype. Dragon Warrior is the best warrior. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think there was any 
any doors in here that uh, we couldn't open? Nope. Just in the uh, other town. Or in the other castle. <laughs> what can he say? He's, he's getting a little too excited there with the wizardry. Alright, so remember this area had some pretty tough stuff. It was just absolutely murderous the first time we went there. Just went visiting and got like absolutely blasted. There we go. Lit lick lick. Should be a lot easier with Orin around. <laughs> Orin's kicking ass. You basically meant your, your comment came out of left field there. <laughs> the brain! No, it's Pinky. Pinky had the big ears, right? <laughs> brain had the big head. Damn. These things are nasty. Yep. Well, you know, all that talk about Africa. It's locked, but Orin breaks the lock. Go, Orin, go. Where's the King's Chamber? I don't know. The new king is always in the secret chamber. <laughs> it, it came around full circle <laughs> with wizardry. <laughs> doze, doze. Uno, doze, tres. Okay, I guess I gotta get in the secret way down there. Council. This is my room. Leave now or I'll have you put in jail. Let me search your uh, oops. drawers first. Alright, your drawers are clean. I believe only the council knows where the king's room is. Follow him and you might find it, but be careful. Is it night, I'm guessing? Probably at night. that thing rushing towards me. It's like guard. Oh. Hi again. Good food, dance, and song. Isn't this place like paradise? The castle scholar of magic. What type of magic? I wouldn't tell you. Ha ha ha. How dare he. Snobbish magician. It's an edge of something down there. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's the edge. So many places to go. Oh, I'm back down here.
Oh, this castle council is haughty. He's a coward. Try making a big noise by his room. Run screaming into the king's room. Do I have anything to make uh, a lot of noise with? You're right, he does. He looks evil. Evil bastard. I'm gonna make a big noise. I must have to find an item to do that. This castle council is a nervous type. Some time ago, a man who made a big sound was by the council's room. He was thrown into jail by the, in the port town. This, this port town is on shore north of this castle. Well, I guess that's where we're going. Where the hell is that guy going in a hurry? They're just like chasing each other? Get out of my way or else I'll be caught. Eee! Aha, you're caught. Is she a monkey? Wahaha! -ha. I'll catch you! Good luck. <laughs> now you're out of sync and you'll never catch her. Should've just kept him behind until uh, she ran back into him. In the backside. That'd be f funny. <laughs> Strange, you hear voices below. I wonder why. Alright, I guess we're going to the port town to find the uh, man who can make big noises. I think I've gone anywhere I can get. I can go, right? What a great guard. It's very Keelong Castle. We just like break the lock right behind him. He's like, meh. Gotta say, the guards in these games aren't exactly bright. Oh, that's pretty close. <laughs> this is Havil. Port town where ships bound for Endor depart. Enjoy, thanks for coming to see me. We open only at night. Oh, I just so happen to have a way to make it night. So we're not open yet. What? But I want to drink now, during the day. We got wasted. No? Can't do that? Where's my grandpa? He's not in the... This looks like a very decrepit place. <laughs> it's a weapon shop. Great. <laughs> Iron fan, chain sickle, poison needle. I can find... I can afford the iron fan if I say, sell my chain sickle, but... Problem is, who can use it? <laughs> That's the thing I really hate, it's like... They show me who can use it. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, you can change it to daytime easily enough, but... Changing it to nighttime just makes it a little quicker. I mean, it's not like it takes long to, to get to night anyways. You just have to walk around for, like, a minute. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking... The fan is probably going to be usable by the dancer, so... If I sell my chain whip, or my, uh, my f thorn whip, would I have enough? No, nope, definitely not. <laughs> I'd have like 450. Yeah, 
a lot more than that to buy the, uh, the iron fan. I, I think so, I remember that in number three as well. There's a big coliseum in Endor across the sea, but I mean, generally, I mean, if you if you have the uh, the the lamp of darkness, I mean, you can flip it to night. In daytime, you just have to rest at an inn. It's daytime, so don't necessarily need that spell. It just saves you from having to carry on that uh, the orb of uh, darkness. Although, you know, I'm, uh, maybe a chapter five is probably a thing, but there's no uh, bank in this game. I've noticed. Maybe it'll show up in number five. Because, I mean, there was a bank in number three, so that's kind of a downgrade if, if that's the case, right? Kind of hope there's a bank. <laughs> Gonna have a lot of extra items. Well, I'm assuming, like, uh, any key items of that point is, is not going to be on the characters anymore, but... Stuff like the, the, the iron bank and the... Uh, or darkness, that kind of stuff, usually you want to keep, because they're just handy items. It's an item shop. No, there was an iron bank, but that, all that does is keeps you, uh, keeps your money on you if you die. So you don't lose half your money at all. Unless maybe in uh, chapter 5 he might, because <laughs> it would make sense, right? I mean... If anybody's gonna have access to some sort of like uh, storage, I, well, I know in chapter five there's a wagon too. It's that much I, I remember seeing in the manual. So maybe the wagon will, will be able to hold your extra items. That would make sense. A whole bunch of stuff we can't afford. Disobey the king. I just accidentally ignited gunpowder near the room. Of... I just accidentally ignited gunpowder. Yeah. Gunpowder, I got it at at at, at, at temp. God, did these names. Actemto mine. I was working there. That was Actemto blah blah that mine. It's the Yeti. Kill it. It's split in two. It's chill. For those who disobey the king of Kel Keldeon are put here. But I thought we could break open these locks. Yeah, the Sphere of Silence can contain the magic spells of your opponent. Yeah, and there's eight characters in total, right? Well, I'm assuming eight characters. Unless we get some more characters in here. Orin isn't, uh, is obviously not like a, a usable character. So there's, uh, there is two characters in the first chapter, three characters in the second chapter, one character in the third chapter, and two characters in the fourth chapter, so it's eight characters. So I mean nobody dies or something like that. Uh, it's four characters too many. Fell in love with the girl. I'll marry her. Is she? Her name is Joy. Hee haw. Joy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you mentioned the hero. Yeah, was, uh, that's right, because, uh, yeah, I'm, you're, I just remember now, chapter one had the, 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 uh, the slime, which was her, the healer one who wasn't a usable character. Yeah, so that makes sense. Because the, the hero joins you in chapter 5, according to the manual. <laughs> chapter 5. The Chosen Ones. Chapter 5. You, our hero, arrive to lead the characters from earlier chapters. 
A team of experienced and highly trained adventurers, you challenge the enemy. He is a fierce demon who is sick to attract characters through chapters 1 to 4. No, oh, he'll make a dramatic <laughs> appearance. Yeah, nice spoilers right in the middle of the damn manual, but whatever. <laughs> uh, pretty sure it was a boy. Did I have that option at the beginning of the game? I don't remember. Pretty sure it was a boy. Wait, does that make a difference? Can he have, like... Does he have a waifu, depending on who, who joins him? We have, uh... Three female characters joining us, these two sisters and the, and the princess. Do you have a boarding pass? If not, I can't let you aboard. That's probably the end of the chapter when we find a boarding pass. Well, it makes sense, right? Like, stuff like the, uh, silk dress, that kind of stuff. Find that mine that has the uh, gunpowder. Which is probably in a cave nearby. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> Best gear is probably used well by anybody, so. Do a little bit of grinding in this area before I move on. You can barely handle the stuff here, so I can just imagine. Yeah, I forgot to switch it to nighttime. Well, it's nighttime now, so. Let's go to the pub. It's hard to keep up with all the orders. Really? You're on a journey of revenge? The object of your revenge is named Ballsack? <laughs> he sounds... It's like, what? You're trying to find Ballsack? You know, Keelan's new king is also... I think Ballsack. No, it must be someone else. Welcome. Eat and sing. Have a good time. I can't sing, but I can dance. Your princess won the tournament in Endor. Enjoy, let's dance. I'm happy, yes, happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Where's my order? Where is it? These guys are way too hyper. Let's get out of here. Probably why he wants to marry her. He's having too much fun. Just don't leave at night. Come back during the day. <laughs> He's dead! Or he's having a, yeah. Uh, I shouldn't be walking in on this. <laughs> he's just sleeping. My grandpa is here again. Endor must be dear to him, but we can't see Endor from here. Uh, let's look for this place at night. Go upstairs here. <laughs> I 
It is indeed. Oh, there's me, Pippin. It's Pippin! Brother used to work in this country's mine. We came here to see him, but he died before our arrival. What should I tell my little brother, Pippin? Alright, let's rest up. 18 gold. Got the prices in here. Let's do some grinding here. Get ourselves in these another level. Probably two levels before we attempt the uh, stuff outside is pretty damn tough, so need to get at least some money anyways. Get some better weapons and whoops. Wrong option. Well that starts pretty much in uh, well and there's a little bit of anime based uh, RPGs. Especially on the turbo graphics, but uh, that's not really a big thing until the uh, PS1. It's when you really start seeing a lot of anime based uh, RPGs. The anime kind of stuff has been toned down until that point. That's why we, we didn't get too many like anime-based RPGs or just anime-styled RPGs in North America until PS1. Yeah, I don't know about anime-heavy. I mean, it's, it's definitely like JRPG-heavy, but there's not really too much like... You know, the graphic style isn't really yet enough to, to kind of display anime at that point. It's anime-inspired. But it's not, it's not like you can have like anime style cutscenes and stuff like that. <laughs> uh oh, it's the King Slime. <laughs> Kill the King Slime! Kill it fast! The slimes! Was that a fen spell? I heard of that. This guy is tough. Very good experience, though. It's not quite, you know, metal slime quality, but... <laughs> you don't want to know. If I cannibalize a few slimes to make it. Furnos. Well, for one thing, he's not use like he's not an actual usable character. He's uncontrollable, and it wouldn't matter where you put him, anyways. Like this game has no order in terms of you know who uh, who takes damage. Like the, the enemy just randomly attacks whoever the hell they feel like attacking. Oh, I didn't see any metal slimes. Maybe metal slime just showed up in the last second and got absorbed. Furnace beetle. I wonder if he calls if he casts infernal infernals. Oh yeah, yeah, metal slimes are 
Metal Bat Balls weren't in the first one, but Metal Slimes definitely were. Always make sure whenever I play a Dragon Warrior game, I have to kill at least at least one Metal Slime. I've already done it in this game. I've done it in every other game before. It can't be a Dragon Warrior game if you haven't killed a Metal Slime. It can't be complete. Somebody doesn't like anime. Anime is awesome. Well, like I said, he probably showed up like a last second there. Got absorbed into the other slimes and... Yeah, when I've encountered them. Uh, I, I don't know if there was any in... Uh, there's definitely none in 1. I don't know if there... I don't remember if there was any in 2. There definitely was one in 3. Make sure to kill at least one. The problem is just figuring where the hell they are. Let them join! Question or exclamation question, the slimes. Well, I mean, the art style is definitely going to be inspired by, by like, manga and anime, right? I mean, it's kind of hard not to, coming from Japan, but... It's just... You know, compare that to, like, the PS1 era, where, like, anime... It was, like, heavily anime-inspired. There's, like, a lot of anime-style cutscenes. The only kind of games, the only uh, time you really see that in North America at this point is Turbo Graphics. Turbo Graphics does there's a lot of like anime style, not just not just the art style, but the, the entire kind of game style is very anime heavy. <laughs> Spoiling it. I'm sorry, Arctic. <laughs> How's it going? Level 9 shortly with Nara. It's so bright. Doing good, doing good. Slowly making my way through chapter four. <laughs> almost done. Almost done the uh, prequel. Or the prequel, the uh, the prologue of this game. <laughs> Kill them all! Don't let them join! <laughs> I should let them join. 
Not worth any experience unless they join together. Well, there's uh, five different chapters. Uh, the first four chapters are kind of like, you know, you're kind of meeting the characters, you're, you're, you're leveling them up. And chapter five, they're supposed to be all kind of, they meet together, and that's really where the, the main story kind of starts. So right now we're doing chapter four, so it's the last bunch of characters before we uh, start playing the, 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 the real game. It's kind of an interesting way of doing it. And each, and each kind of like chapter is quite different. Like chapter three especially was, was uh, you're playing as a merchant. And the whole point of that chapter is to make a hell of a lot of money. It's kind of cool. Come prices. The slimes look like they have a uh, something up their sleeves. So many slimes! Oh no! They're combining! Now the only only other uh, series I'm aware of that lets you do that is uh, the Atelier series. Set here. Strength, two agility, two vitality, one intelligence, three luck, three HP, three MP. <laughs> yeah, I think I've heard of this for set here game, never tried it, but. Yeah, how dare they make all of you think uh, that they can be mech pilots and magical girls. <laughs> well, that's always fun. gold. Didn't realize we were getting that much gold from the stuff we are killing. Well, these guys aren't, aren't uh, merchants. It was the uh, chapter 3 guy that was merchant. These two are uh, two sisters who are out on a quest to avenge their father's death. the chapter 4 plot. <laughs> Let's look at the best armor we can get right now. <laughs> the merchant chapter you just buy stuff from other shops and resell it for like double the price. <laughs> 
the, the shop across the street. Your wife was just uh, ex extremely good at getting better prices for things. You just, you just never. One of the rules is you just never ask how she does it. That's a pretty good upgrade there. Yep. It's our quest to find the ball sack. Don't ask. That's the best way to, uh, to make a retail career. So that's very similar to the way the Atelier series works out, right? You, you go out, uh, you know, kill stuff for uh, for alchemic uh, components, and then you, you create like a bunch of crazy things with alchemy, and then sell it, and just the whole plot line of those of those games. Fur coat. I'm sure she already has a pretty uh, thick fur coat. This was the uh, early 90s, after all. Alright, so we got some pretty good armor. And uh, upgrade our weapons. Best kind, right? <laughs> Those tails are, are used for different things. God. Stuff that anime comes out with. <laughs> Not all of anime. Anime nowadays is all about goth lollies and fighting demons and Well they ran out of manga, so they have to base everything on light novels. I've already made anime like on every single like like good manga series, so they're running out of ideas. Hey Zunik, doing great. Slogging my way through Dragon Warrior 4. Middle of chapter 4 now. How's an idiot doing? I haven't seen you streaming in a while.
Yeah, that's always the problem, right? <laughs> don't want to, uh... Don't want to get spoilers for upcoming games. At least I'll be able to watch your stream all the time from then on. <laughs> Finally, yeah, congrats. How long did that game take you? In the... Pretty far in when I uh, saw you last. Try to like, watch it just like sparingly there, but... Super Ninja Brothers, oof. That'll be fun. Yeah, I've already watched the first episode of Boruto. I stopped watching Naruto like a long time ago just because, you know, it's just hard to keep up and it's one of those, there's like hundreds and hundreds of episodes, like tons of filler, it's like, ugh, it's, it's not worth watching, but I figured I'd watch Boruto. It's basically like <laughs> Naruto. That's not too bad. Of course, the big series this uh, season is uh, is the is the uh, season two of uh, Attack on Titan. That's the big one. Oh, jeez, Bleach. I don't know, I lost track. It's another series I watched like pretty far into and then just lost interest because of all the damn filler. That's the problem with any of those long running series, just so much filler and then you just get bored of the series. If, you, if they had like an abridged version with all the, the crap taken out, it'd be worth watching, but otherwise, yeah. Of course watch anime. You got a Crunchyroll subscription, I gotta use it. <laughs> well, the problem is figuring out, like, well, I guess there's probably, like, uh, information online on what the filler is, and you can just skip all the filler, and you pretty much have to watch it to figure out where the, where the filler is and go from there. You could probably catch up in a weekend just by watching the non-filler crap. It's just a whole lot of filler. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I kind of figured there'd be like a resource online showing you exactly what's crap and what what isn't. It's like skip episodes like 100 to like 250 probably. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much where I stopped is after the Pain Saga. And that's that's basically what what got me there. It's just. Watch a couple like shows of filler and it's just like ugh. It's like just enough. <laughs> now they should they should do basically what they did Dragon Ball uh, Z Kai or Dragon Ball Kai whatever the hell they call it. Just kind of take get rid of all the the filler stuff and make everything like compress everything and. That's exactly why it's just unwatchable. That's why I stopped watching uh, One Piece after, you know, the first, like, ten shows. It's just, it's just, it'd be impossible to catch up. Absolutely impossible. Exactly right. Chad is triggered. Usually, JRPG fans are anime fans as well. That's that's usually kind of one like kind of goes hand in hand, typically. Is that a Dragon Quest anime? Yeah, I have to watch that. I, I guess it's not a surprise that they have a Dragon Quest anime. It's just I'm surprised I've never seen it. I hope so. <laughs> Leather hat. Back up the thousand bucks. I 
Which, uh, like, was it based on any of the games in any way, or is it just completely separate from the games? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks. It definitely looks like they rushed the the ending of of uh, Blood Earth and Driven. Oh, there's more killer. Okay, so the original trilogy then. I kind of figured. I figured if anything, if, if there's any like trilogy they would uh, do it on, it'd be the original one. So that's basically like super popular one in Japan, but based in the same world though. So I wondered when I was playing three, like, like I, I knew it was part of the the trilogy, but it's like, why is the world completely different? Found out at the end. <laughs> King slime time. King Slime. But but they have their their 2D waifus though. <laughs> it's a little bit of a stretch there. D is best D. Everybody knows that. Uh, how much money do we have now? Uh, I should have enough to buy a good weapon upgrade. the uh, Berserk. Never, mind you, I never watched the original uh, series, just the, the newer one. It was like, ugh. It was meh. I did rewatch, I did watch uh, Hunter, uh, Hunter x Hunter though. Then I never watched the original Hunter x Hunter, but the, uh, obviously the new series. That was pretty good. Yeah, let's buy some shields first. Weapon merchant in this town. On this side. Alright, Chuckle, you have a great night. I 
Well, I'm sure it is, but there's a lot of filler in the original series as well, right? So, it's nice getting kind of an abridged version. that yet. Let's, uh, let's see if we can... How much does the poison yield? 1300? I don't know if the poison needle actually does more damage or just has a chance of paralyzing. Assuming it's like the poison venomous dagger. I can't see just poisoning enemies. That'd be absolutely useless. Waifu is like kind of a, well, it's, it's kind of like Japanese for wife, right? It's usually like kind of a, an anime trope, <laughs> like a kind of a, just a wife. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking you were thinking something much worse. Yep. Just like Seb, just... Japanese scientists are, are, are busy trying to make uh, Gundams. Numb off. If we can kill enough these slimes before they uh, they group together, probably impossible. Well, I'm sure you could if using spells, but if I don't get the same moment experiences you get from killing the, uh, the king. Too many reinforcements. Very very careful. Be careful not to catch that enemy. That enemy virus. It's just, it's just nasty.
Good. Just stick with the etchy virus. <laughs> All you have to worry about is, is, is looking at pantsuits. <laughs> as far as you need to go. I should have enough money to buy. It's gonna save first. I don't know if that poison needle is even worth picking up. It was definitely different, you know, just having to make as much money as possible. Once you find, well, once you get your shop, it's like super easy, but it's just it's definitely different compared to just having to go around and just murder a lot of stuff. It's like, here, make a shop, have a mini game of trying to buy and sell things, and then it's definitely interesting. I figured poison needle. Alright, I'm gonna probably reload here. Let's just see what this thing actually does. Like, it does anything special to the monsters. Like, it seems really weak, so obviously it's gonna have like a super strong effect, right? You young pups. <laughs> I'm 38. <laughs> No, I enjoyed it. It definitely reminds me of the Atelier series. Can't we? I love the Atelier series, so. <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm the old fogey here. Alright, let's reload. <laughs> that poison needle was not worth it. Reload. So we all grew up with these kind of games, right? So. I played a few of them. There's quite a few of them I missed because it's a, it's a pretty big series. I mean, there's about like probably a good 15 games in the series, not including the stuff as Japan only. So it's a pretty large series. Exactly. That's why I like the retro stuff. It's <laughs> you don't have a lot of like just young kids popping on as you usually don't have to worry about, uh, you know, what people just uh, spamming the channel and that kind of stuff in, in the retro channel because it's a lot more mature audiences typically. We typically typically have civilized discussions, although sometimes, you know, discussions kind of go off the rails a little bit, but generally. Got somebody else as old as me, yay! <laughs> ASL Arctic. <laughs> Good. Good old AOL.
Can I be? Well, basically anybody who played these games as kids <laughs> pretty much have to be 30 plus, right? I mean, I, I got my Nintendo when I was was 11, so... And it had been out, obviously, a little bit at that point, but... Uh, kind of gives you an idea of anyways. Most people, like, if, if, you're, if you had this as a kid, you're probably at least, you know... And for me, it was 11, so, it was, you know, some people had, might have had their Nintendos when they were, like, 5. So, you're looking at, you know, maybe a 6-year difference. <laughs> oh, Parrish, basically the same age uh, adversary. 1038 about 3 months ago. Venom's Dagger Iron Fan... I'm assuming the Iron Fan probably has more damage, and Venom's Dagger obviously has the... Uh, that's why I saved again there. Has the, the, the ability of, of uh, paralyzing. Well, the attack still goes up, so let's stick with the Venomous Dagger. Especially since it can paralyze, it's kind of handy. Exactly. For me, it was basically renting video games. I can afford video games as a kid. <laughs> it's all about renting them. Paper routes and everything, yeah. here and there and got a bunch of gifts and birthday and Christmas gifts and that kind of stuff and then the rest is pretty much yeah rentals. <laughs> it's always the problem when you're trying to rent an RPG, you got like trying to finish those <laughs> in the rental period. So the only Dragon Warrior game I, I played as a kid was Dragon Warrior 1. I'd never played 2 to f 2 to uh, 2 to 3 uh, until like Emulators much later. Really? Like they, like somebody stole it. Like you had it on eBay, or you had it up for sale on eBay, and then. It's like no no longer there or <laughs> I pretty much at this point I pretty much take anything that Techno Gnome says is sarcasm. <laughs> kind of expected out of Techno Gnome. Should be enough now to try out that place. Yeah, I'm sure that probably happens a lot in college.
It's one of the rules with, with games, you never lend it out. Because <laughs> good luck trying to see it again after you lend it out. <laughs> yeah, I probably did. So got good weapons, good armors. And we can go kick some ass. Now, where's this mine that we gotta find? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> well, if you already had a copy, like, why would you need a second one, right? <laughs> That's the thing with Game Boys, I mean. <laughs> Games can get passed around, and especially if you're like it's kind of like a like show and tell type thing. <laughs> Look like bees, the best kind of lick licks. Kill all the slimes. Oh yeah, I bought my first PC uh, before going to uh, to university. That was not cheap. <laughs> A new village. I've been here before. I want to fight these things. Oh yeah, the... Uh, The, the original Game Boy, I had that, um, I never played like, I basically played stuff like Tetris on it, like Super Mario World, that kind of stuff. I never played like any big games on it. It's the grave of my wife, Helga. Dear Helga, the time of our reunion seems to be nearing. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, like the, uh, Final Fantasy 7 and 8 I had played on PC, like I, I didn't own a uh, PlayStation at that time, so that's the only the only way I played Final Fantasy 7 and 8. I never played 9 until much later, because again, no, no PlayStation, and uh, eventually I got a uh, PlayStation 2, and of course picked up Final Fantasy 10, continued the Final Fantasy series. Final Fantasy 9 I had played on emulators uh, on the PC, like, way back in the day. But uh, seven and eight were both. I still I still have the PC uh, copies in the in the. Uh... What the hell did it for those copies? I think they're downstairs. A big trapezoidal box of Final Fantasy VII PC version. I don't think you can even play that on Windows anymore. At least on Windows 10, anyways. Got some prohibited gun manufacturing. Manufacturing. If you need gunpowder, take some of what's left in the mine. Cough, cough. My grandpa is an expert in gunpowder manufacturing, but it's prohibited now. <laughs> Somebody needs to get this guy a doctor. Cough, cough, don't enter the mine if you cherish your life. The foul gas began, began welling out of the mine, monsters began appearing. Cough, cough. I feel good, I need to rest, come back tomorrow. Lazy bastard. <laughs> cough, cough, that mine should yield more gold. I won't give up. <laughs> well, these guys seem like they're in a uh, hospital of some kind. I'm sure many of the Castlevania games got re-releases. Curse on those who raid or ruins. Cackle, crackle. Damn it. 
Okay, I'm not going that. No. <laughs> No answer. It seems to be a corpse. The letter is held in one hand. Dear Father, how are you? Are you coming back soon? Little Pippin misses you a lot. We're thinking of visiting you soon. Aw, poor Pippin's dad is dead. <laughs> yes, it does. They would think so, right? <laughs> Poor Pippin's dad. Guess we'll, we'll have to go tell him directly. We'll bring. We'll just rip off his skull and bring it to Pippin as a souvenir. <laughs> hey, kid! Catch! <laughs> this place, once a bustling town, is doomed. My wife died here too. This is Akimeto, Manning Town. It's not safe to live here anymore. Yeah, you think? Oh, he's back. He's alive. He'll revive us. Can we save, actually? <laughs> okay, good. Let's save. <laughs> yeah, Tokyo must be packed as hell. That would not be a fun place to live. Alright. Enough talk. Fairfully, once you'd end up with a person there. Into... The dungeon. Dun dun dun. Taking all your gold. Mystic acorns. What does that do again? Does that increase magic or something? Yeah, magic MP. Watch out, many monsters lurk here. That's right, eh? The, uh... The one where you had to get the Jailer's Key to get one of the orbs. Rogue Whisper. Eh, these could be a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love that, right? Every JRPG, just walk into their house. You just say hi to their family while you're like going through all their uh, drawers and all their their vases and go through their chests while they just stand there and look at you. Hey, what's up? I'm just here to borrow your stuff. I'm sure there's probably some games that uh, kind of, uh, well, I mean, let you do it, but I mean, there's, there's probably some games that, that do it in a comedic way where, you know, the person in the, in the uh, town actually catches you, and I'm sure there's some anime, or some anime, some, some RPGs that do that in some way. Definitely fan-made ones would definitely have that. Of course, Western RPGs just you just you just get 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 caught by the the guards. They see you uh, steal their stuff and they call for the guards and the guards come and arrest you. It's pretty much all the uh, Western RPGs. Oh, it seems to be a corpse.
well enough as the, the you know the, the world's hero. He's the one person who can uh, save the world. You just walk into your house, you'd be like, all right, just don't take my important stuff. Don't take my life savings, please. I'm hiding underneath the uh, the pillow, which of course gonna be the first thing they take. Oh yeah, a any sort of Western RPGs generally you tend to get caught uh, stealing, and you're in trouble. Japanese RPGs, it's always okay. <laughs> Oops. There's no door? Sure there's a door. There's the chest door. Slow tarot cards. What do those do? Silver tarot cards. Sounds kind of familiar from the original ones, I just don't remember what. Eh, hold on to those and try those at, uh, before... Sa I'll save first before trying to use them. That's a lot of pinkies. Oh, let's realize I'm bang now. Where did I get that? One experience points. <laughs> That's exactly right. Looks like that's a Western one, right? So, so Western RPGs generally, it's if you're caught, then you're in trouble. Japanese RPGs, on the other hand, usually it's not a not an issue. I'm sure there's probably some that uh, it's more so, but, but typically Western RPGs, yeah. If you get caught doing that, then you in trouble. Best case scenario, you get like a slap on the hands. Worst case scenario, you get you get the entire uh, town attacking you. All these graves. Many of my buddies died. See a gravekeeper there? Metal Scorpion, you gotta be worth a lot of experience. Ow. Attacked the wrong person. <laughs> Damn it, the Metal Scorpion wasn't worth a thousand experience. Damn non-slime metal things. Oops. <laughs> That'd be a fun game to play. Dog. A vampire dog. It's just weird. I 
gotta say, the best armor that we picked up, which is the best armor we can get, as far as I can tell, doesn't seem to do much in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was in, uh, near the town where you can buy the keys. But still. <laughs> They're the same color as the metal slimes. They just have really, really high breeding rates. These things put bunnies to shame. Gunpowder, I'm assuming. Gunpowder jar, yay. Yep, <laughs> probably. Unless this one takes a lot longer than I expect, but... The gunpowder is in the jar, but it's damp and may not work unless... Have to make a loud noise. That's all I needed to do. Poisonous gas or monsters, I don't care. I'll continue to dig and find some gold. Dig and dig and dig and dig. <laughs> Nightbot broken again? Come on, Nightbot, smarten up. Somebody broke Nightbot. <laughs> Short and Dragon Warrior 3. So I mentioned that Chapter 5 is like the biggest chunk of the game by far, but I don't know when I get there. I feel like we're getting close to the end of this chapter because it seems like chapters typically end around between level 10 and 15. So we're probably not that far from the end of this chapter. <laughs> I know, right? Is Nightbot even in the chat? <laughs> he's in here, I don't know why he's not working. Let me give him a kick here. Give him a kick in the pants. One night, but there we go. He's back with a vengeance. <laughs> Wait, why am I walking out of here? I can just cast out. I forget I had that side now. Okay, so now we got her. Let's go save first of all. Explode this gunpowder. Nothing will go wrong, right? <laughs> uh, 
Herculon. Very cool, Ridge. You see, cat girls aren't furries, though. There's different levels. You, you know, cat girls are usually just like human girls with like cat ears and tails. That's the only kind of cat parts they have. It's definitely not on the level of furries, which is like basically a cat <laughs> with like humanoid features. this room again? Gunpowder jar. Boom! door here. There's clearly a door here. What are you doing in here? Get away! Alright. Damn, he's ugly. He definitely does look like a ball sack. This is King Ball Sack's room. <laughs> Remember, you're Edgar's daughters. Came here to avenge your father. Yes, I'm Ball Sack. Here, tried to destroy the secret evolution she accidentally discovered. What a fool. With it, he would have ruled the world. Look at, the, look at me, my strength, and my superior body. I thought this works, but let's try it anyways. Doesn't work on ball sack. If they're going in, they might as well go all in, right? Ow. Rip Mara. <laughs> he does indeed. Looks like he's sweating a little. Really? He just cast heal all. Seriously, just heal himself to full. Rip. Well, that kind of hurt. <laughs> And 30 gold, holy cramps. I, if I need to level up a little more. I 
this is kind of tough there. And you know, the full heal that he did, uh, that was kind of like... <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. If not, I might have to level a little bit more. Revenge needs to be re-revenged. Re -re I need to get the guy to come back here. I'm guessing this uh, gunpowder thing is multi-use. <laughs> Wait till your eyes start dilating and get turned into the size of saucers. So you know you're really, uh, you're really screwed. <laughs> Wait till your power level goes over nine thousand, and you're, you're, you're just gone at that point. Get some critical hits in here. Ow. It's fireballs, man. Orn get so low in health. Did he not heal up after uh, my party wiped? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Rip Orn. I just need to reload here and re-attempt this. I, th I thought Orn would have been at full health, but I was he was not. Damn, how much magic does this guy have? What should I be doing? Using magic? <laughs> yeah. I should be using magic, shouldn't I? Yes, you are. Horns have 95 health. You definitely wasn't 95. But, but... It's all like AoE spells. I was trying to uh, to paralyze him. Figured maybe eventually it would work. It wasn't working. <laughs> Wanted to see if it was even possible to paralyze him, but honestly, unless it's an extremely low chance of working on him, it's basically not possible. Yeah, Sphere of Silence. I totally forgot about the Sphere of Silence. <laughs> I just saw that in my inventory. It's like, yeah, you know, this thing would probably have been really good against them. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, the first time I used it, like, I tried using it twice, and the second time it, it uh, didn't lower his defense anymore. Right, totally forgot about this uh, damn Sphere of Silence. That's where I had to use that. Going down now, Balzac. I'm gonna sag and... Alright, who has the sphere and she does? Okay. That's probably a lot easier with that. It's probably gonna be like easy mode now. He's still looking to emit fireballs, but he can't cast fireball, and more importantly, he can't heal himself to full. I know, right? I, well, I got it so long ago, I totally forgot about it until like I opened up my inventory to uh, to use a gunpowder and it's like, oh yeah, Sphere of Silence. <laughs> that exists. That's a thing. Come on. Son of a bitch. I expect him to do 28 damage. <sighs> God damn it. He hits a lot harder. It's probably better using the damn magic. Alright, so this time. <laughs> Didn't realize he hit that hard. Used to him doing like 5 12 damage with his uh, fireballs, and suddenly he's doing like 25 damage, like 30 damage with his normal attacks. It's like, <laughs> I don't know which one was better. Just now I know he hits like a truck, so. Let's, uh. Oops. Let's make sure we don't go under 30 health here. Yeah, that'd be funny. I wonder if he ever runs out of magic, because if, if he just heals himself to full, I mean, is it even possible to kill him? You probably have to get a critical hit when he's low on health. It's probably the only way of killing him without him healing up to full again. True, it's just when he, when he does that suddenly, like, big hit that you didn't expect him to do. I didn't, I didn't realize he hit that hard, so... Kinda threw me off on something like, my, my like, 20... What did, she, what did she have, like, 25 health? And she, like, died and was like, what? <laughs> what just happened here? Exactly. It's the best kind of revenge. Just pile up the corpses until uh, he's sick of killing us. That's our revenge. I'm like one shot in our, in our the second uh, round. Alright, let's try bang here. My razor is not strong enough to shave the Balzac. Alright, everybody's kind of enough health to survive at least one more attack. Uh, blaze. Blaze does nothing. Problem is he's faster than us too, so this is dumbass there and tried to cast even though he's uh, out of uh, he's, he's been silenced. Oh, there you go. 
500 experience. That's a lots of experiences. Is. What a failure, Balsack. What can you tell Necrosaro? Keelan, please don't tell this Necrosaro. Don't worry, I, I can't let you die now. You, Edgar's daughters, come, I'll fight you. What? I wasn't ready for another round. Damn it. Damn it. Should have just healed there. <laughs> Rip. What? That's gotta be a guaranteed like kill, right? I mean, you just did so much damage there. I was gonna say like that, that, that had to be like a a scripted like death. Are you awake? You were terribly injured. Cough, cough. Cough, cough. I'm nearing my end. I wanted to escape from this country, but I ran out of strength. You're still young. I'll give you my boarding pass. It's in the chest in the back. Ski for me and live. Just a back of what? Oh, what? I'm no. back here, I guess. Okay. On to chapter three. Five. <laughs> three and five. Whatever. Chapter 35. Oh. A jailbreak. They found us. Hurry. Rip Orin. <laughs> He's gonna, like, stay behind. Yeah, I knew it. Called it. <laughs> Turn to Eka... Wait, no. That was the wrong place. Havel! Run! And that's... Almost guaranteed to be the end of this chapter. Cause you now everybody's gonna be in uh in in the hell's the name of that place? Ewokville. <laughs> On to Endor. Church destination is Endor, I'm excited. It's see Ewoks, yay! Fellow merchant, Taloon, live in a shop in Endor. I'm on way away to congratulate him. Here are some people who tried to destroy the King of Kiloon. King of Kiloon, I don't know. <laughs> These names, I swear. It's really hard to... I'm Captain, we'll sail soon. Wait in your cabin. That's the next town. When will the ship sail? Be patient. Why don't you talk with some of the passengers and the captain? Ship carries with it the memories of many different people. Don't know what they've been through, but cheer up. Good things will come if you live. Oh, Joy, why can't you? Darn, I could marry another girl. We. we Nothing special. Anything in these things? Nope. Where is my cabin? <laughs> Assuming it's this one? I'm Pippin. <laughs> yeah. It's going to see our father, but my sister says we're going back. I don't understand. Yeah, it's probably the, for the best there. I won't tell my brother Pippin what happened to our father, until he's old enough to bear agony and despair. <laughs> Alright, where the hell's our cabin? Through these doors? These, are these considered doors? <laughs> How do we get away? I've talked to all the passengers and the captain. are downstairs. I'm aware. I was down there. I 
to like search the bed or something. Can we see that? Yes. Onwards. How's the ship moving? And sails are furled. Beautiful music. Should arrive at Endor. This is how Mara and Nara, without fulfilling their wish, left their home country. What are the small lights which will help them? Their new journey to search for them has just begun. The end of Chapter 4, Sisters of Monbara. Monbaraba. I think I'm gonna be calling here for tonight. And 11 hour stream. Oh, again, I'm feeling the burn. So let's save here. And we're gonna continue tomorrow, I believe. Let's, uh. Yeah, we're, we're gonna restart this tomorrow. So let me pause the timer here. And. There we go. So, reach chapter 5, which is supposed to be the longest one. So, yeah, well. <laughs> It, the game let uh, the game saved for us there at the beginning of that chapter. So, yeah, this is my first time. It's a completely blind run. I played all the previous games uh, before, like playing them again. Uh, I had never played up uh, Dragon Warrior Four up to this point. Even tried to like you know not watch streams of it or anything like that, just so it's completely blind. So, it's more fun that way. But definitely, I'm calling for tonight. Uh, so, eleven hour stream is a little. I'm kind of feeling a little tired. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, I should be able to play tomorrow. Uh, so we'll, we'll start chapter five. Um, don't know how long a chapter it is. Probably gonna be relatively long though. It's gonna, probably gonna be as long, if not longer, than the other chapters combined, probably. Um, but we'll start that tomorrow. In the meantime, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the uh, beginning of chapter five. So have a great night, everybody, and I'll see you, uh, see you then.